This forehead's not fit for younger audiences. That's what they're trying to tell you. Schmello. Oh, that's a great first line. How you doing? I'm good, dude. This is uh, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Does it? Uh, do you think it's gonna work now? The this this uh website you have me using feels like you're trying to like steal from me. Chat, don't say anything, okay? <laughs> hmm. The only problem is I don't know if I'm getting the audio from the game. True. Are those links think, that well, I, I sent you he... working? Huh? I think I sent you the links. Okay. Yes, I have I have the links now. So we should we'll be able to see Carl in just a second. I just have to Set the only thing over. is that I yep. don't know if you're going to have my audio, the game audio. Right. Okay. Uh, well, that'll at least be on your um, OBS, right? Yeah. Yeah. For. Okay. Turn Carl up a little bit. Then I need to get those links. Uh, this is more technology that I'm used to using. So what, which one's the first <laughs> link? Is that your face or your... I think that's the face. Okay. It is the face. Or we're about to find out. Wait. What the <laughs> heck? No. <laughs> what was it? It was just, um, it was like the starting screen of the thing. Oh, is football manager? Happening. Wait, no, it's no, putting... No. Like it's the it's... share your camera or share your screen thing. That's what oh. I'm Oh. Okay, here's the problem now. Okay. That ninja thing that you have me using won't let me do two at the same time. Oh, I was doing two at the same time earlier, I thought. Here, let's make sure we have one at least. Yeah, the both seem to ID, be you're on publishing like the the like beginning screen where you need to click on like share screen or share webcam i gotcha okay i'm gonna redo it then from the ground up dude my bad no dude i knew this was gonna be it's mildly complex i ran through all of it this morning and made sure the stuff could work then i got it all working like on my end but you were like, this is probably going to be a breeze. Well, what did I say? Like, oh, it'll take two minutes, and then it'll be... Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think I, you literally I said that. You. I did. I typed <laughs> those exact words. I said it would be two minutes, and... Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, okay. Okay. So I have the face cam now. Okay, sweet. So let's... I definitely have that. And now I'm going to, let me just try to, do you want, do you want my face cam now? Yeah. Send that up. Okay. And we can. And then I'm going to start this one from the ground up. Remote screen share, add your camera. I'm going to remote screen share. Select football manager. All right, Chad. I'm going to, I'm going to save up our uh, career here so I can. I will tell you, the game is definitely not detecting audio, but I don't know if you knew it, that already. Yeah, well, there's no audio for it to detect right now. The game has literally no audio except for match sounds, so you're not going to miss out on a lot even if you don't have any audio. Okay, cool. That makes yeah, me feel better. Not, yeah. And then do you want me to record on OBS as well for those these things? Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. I think, I think, I've, I think I've officially done it. I think we're here. You are? Those are the two new links. The top one is okay, my face cool. cam. Got it. All right, chat. The grand unveiling. Here he is. Well. Oh. Yes! Is it, Am I here? Oh, God, wait. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. It's so loud. Hold on. I muted, I muted myself in, in that. Yes. Is that now better? Now it works. Now it works. Okay. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> We're doing it. Yes! We're doing it. Oh my god, this is working. Yeah, Wait, this is like is... 
This is going to end up being professional looking. I oh. look, I tr I try. I'm not known for this, but we're doing our best. Holy. Yeah. I knew. <laughs> I Sorry, I'm I'm trying it. to post that I'm on this. Oh, you're good. I actually I have something to show you that you'll think is really funny, but I want to get your screen up first to make sure that we're. I'm excited to see working. it. Okay, so that's your screen. Yeah. I think so. It says like privacy policies and all that. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Let's go. That's Carl's screen. Let's... We're here. we're doing yes. it. We're so we're here. Doing it. Oh, okay. So the thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to move your screen away for a second. But we, I had somebody specifically, I all in the chat who is particularly gifted with this sort of stuff, made an image that I would like your comment on. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to tweet this out because we're, we're getting going today. Oh yes. I figured you would enjoy that. Uh, if you oh, here we go. <laughs> Wait, I'm almost, I mean, I'm not, but I'm almost kind of wearing that vibe a little bit right now. You are actually, you, Jose Mourinho would wear that. I could see Thank that. You. Yeah. I'm just Thank very glad so I'm, not, I'm not bald anymore. But that's... <laughs> Carl Mourinho, I like it. Oh my gosh. Zep Guardiola and Carl Mourinho. Oh, that's hard to say. Lord. Is that, wait, somebody said, wait, is that real? Yes. We actually posed for this picture. Yeah, when that was, was when bald, we met in uh, New York. Yep. Uh, 11 months ago when I was clean bald, I threw that turtleneck on and uh, went for it. So <laughs> I was going to tweet I was going to tweet that out cuz that's just some brilliant work from uh from I all somehow That's beautiful. That yeah. Yeah, that I mean that's talent. Whoever that, that was. What you what was their name? I all. They're one of the mods in the chat. Talent. Talent. Big, uh... Dude, you are insane for showing that much on your screen. You literally went to your files on stream? Yeah. I, like, accidentally flashed a thumbnail, actually, right there. I was kind of hoping nobody would notice. But I'm really... I'm actually really bad with that sort of thing. I'm glad I brought attention to that. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have, like, a work computer? Well, yeah, or is this like... just it? So, I have a different, um... I have a different Google account for like when I'm searching on That stream. doesn't change like, your <laughs> files. No. Okay, so ideally I wouldn't have gone into my files on stream. But uh No, I've got no comeback for that. No, I I this okay. is my right, this enough. is my fair computer. Enough. Yeah, this is just uh this is just what we use. So yeah, I I just went into my you're, files on I, stream. I like the idea that that was like a one-time fluke and you're like, "Man, I hope nobody noticed and then well, i just I harped on it normally like if i go into files there's nothing there surprising but i literally i, I went into files and it was like at my actual thumbnail folder so I, I guess that was the last thing i was doing before uh before we we started the stream <clears throat> guys video coming out tomorrow by the way should be great uh big manager vibes uh Little with... easter egg Carl, yeah, like, exactly. It's a T. It, uh, some would say that's excellent creator strategy. Like I'm trying to tease the video for tomorrow, right? Yeah. And since I brought it up, that's why we're talking about it still. Mm, yeah. So people are like, "Wow!" They all checked. They clipped it just to make sure that you didn't have like, I don't know, like a bad folder. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> you have like a text document that just says your social security number. <laughs> Yeah, like a folder that's just like addresses. It's like my entire family. <laughs> oh my god! Teaching my boy Carl Jacobs, football manager, on stream right now. I want to tell you something. Okay. And you could check my Steam uh, library. I don't even know if you can, to be fair. But if you could, you'd know that this is true. I bought Football Manager 2023. And then I played zero seconds of it because <laughs> I was about to download it. And I was like, I should wait and play this with Zealand at some point. Wow. That's, that's touching, Carl. And I was like, surely he's going to reach out to me while this game is still relevant. Yeah, totally. And then Football Manager 2024 came out. Well, you're in luck because this one's actually a lot better than the one last year. Is that I've I've heard that, and I don't know yeah. why I've heard that, but I'm like partially on like I don't know if it's actually Football Manager TikTok. It's probably as like shallow as it gets. 
but everybody's talking about everybody's talking about it. Yeah, no, it, it is uh, the match engine in particular. It looks like, in, you know, it looks a little less like a mobile game. Like a PS2 game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it was created in the 21st century, at least. That's this part of not... the charm, in my opinion. I actually like it. It is definitely, it keeps the, well, you know what's happening next year. I think I've told you what's happening next year. Um, the game. Um, is it that they're switching to Unity? Yeah, yeah. They're sw- so the game will actually look really like good. A, like next a video year. game. <laughs> It'll look like a video game. Yeah, this is. Uh, you could have played this on an uh, like a sixty four, probably maybe an Atari. <laughs> well, I, I, they're With very the G- like the people that make Football Manager are married to the idea that. Ugh. But yes, they're married to the yes. idea. That, oh yeah, sorry. July. Right. Ninety eight. Boom. This is Carl's screen, by the way, chat. We are now, we're watching make- Carl's uh, screen. Oh, you can scan your face into the game. You should do it. It's Wait, so- can you do that for real? <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. It's should awful. I do that? Yes. You just need a picture of your face to load up. Wait, it game. just closed the game. What just happened? Oh, well. Oh, it's. Yeah, I think it's because I didn't actually read that. And it was saying, it was saying to like update my graphics driver. Well, it was saying I can or something. I. Uh, I don't know. You don't. You, if you're already accidentally resigning before we even get into the game, we're gonna have a really long. Uh, you know really what? Long term. I'm gonna let you know. My experience is that I've been playing on. Um, what's the easiest difficulty in FIFA? Chat, also, try refreshing know? that. I think it's better now. Yeah, it's back. I can see your game again. Okay, sweet. Beginner is it? Beginner. Yeah, I guess uh, I've right. been playing on the easiest difficulty of FIFA manager career. Nice. I made a team. Oh, here we go. Okay. We're doing this. Look at that. You getting this? Oh, dude. You like that? That's a, you actually be surprised at the number of useless accessories you can get in this game. Carl. Do I just name it Carl or should I name it a mixture of our names? Oh no, this is this is this is I'm the assistant manager here. This is all you. Oh, dude. I'm gonna be a girl. What would that be? Carly? That's why I just changed the I added a yeah. Y right there. Oh yeah. Carly Nationality Dick. American. Place of birth. What? Oh, they've got every uh yeah. Holy shit. The game's a little detailed. Whoa! Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's like doxing me. Yeah, you can dox yourself as much as you want to. Okay, this. favorite team is a loaded question. Oh. And I actually figured, since we're going to be doing Ooh. this for a bit, that we should actually talk a little. And uh, give a little introduction of what I actually know about the sport okay. and whatnot. Totally is that, fair. Does that make yeah. sense? I feel like this that's is, a good... This is a very random collab to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my mom for explaining who you are in the chat repeatedly over the course of the day, because I, I feel like we come from very different worlds. So Carl, uh, Carl's a guy with great hair uh, and good ball knowledge. And I, somebody- I would say my ball knowledge. And I was thinking about this in the shower this morning. I was like, how would I explain it to a, a bunch of to what's 2000 people right now that definitely have better ball knowledge than me? And I don't think say, how I'd don't explain sell yourself it. Short. You have you have good ball knowledge. We bonded over over ball knowledge. I'd say this and tell me if I'm accurate, okay, Zealand? Okay, okay. If I were to walk into like a bodega, I would probably know the most in that building. Oh yeah. Yeah. But probably. then but then if I were to go to like a match in England, I'd probably be on the bottom thirty percent. Right. But is you, that fair? But, but like, you know the offside rule comfortably, obviously. I know like all the know. rules. Yeah. I played, I, so I played a lot growing up. And I was actually all right. I was pretty good. So that was, I played and then I found watching it from that. I mean, you've played into um, two sidemen charity matches. Yeah, yeah. I and used for, to be... Yeah. I used to be all right, and now I play in sideman charity matches whenever they uh, 
need somebody to sub in to play defense whenever they're all tired because it's but a bunch people, of YouTubers. Yeah, people that haven't watched the charity matches, he scored about six goals in the last one. It was really impressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Um, I think the other half of that was you. our goal for this. What are we doing here, Carl? Um. What we're – oh, wait. Oh, this is where you can upload your face, I think. Here, let me move oh, your really? face so I can see you. Uh, how do I There's, head? Um, Wait, oh, I don't no. want. I'm a girl though. Oh yeah. Wait, where's the? Oh, wait, maybe it's this one. <gasps> From my photo. Do you have a photo of me? Yeah, you can generate a 3D model. Just if you have any photo on your in, on a computer anywhere. Just go to the internet. There's like a million photos of you. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't really think that through. Hmm. It does it have to be like a super clean photo of me. Oh, I mean, just like as long as you, your your face is there, just like a headshot you'd use for like an agency, maybe. I feel like a literal. But then you have to make it a girl somehow. And then you I'm gonna to make it like a girl. A, yeah, a girl's hairstyle on it. I feel like when in doubt, and if if you get to choose, oh wait, you... there, I think you can use the webcam. Somebody in chat was saying that you just take. You a can, but face. I'm worried that it's gonna mess up. Uh, oh wait, I know how to fix it if it does mess it up. So let me try it. I don't know. <laughs> I think that, I don't okay, know yeah. Did it did it just freeze my cam? No, no. You're still. Uh, wait. Yeah, it did totally. Yep. But you're back now. Didn't work. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna deactivate my face for a second. Yeah, totally. So it's gonna be a black screen. I'm okay. gonna use webcam. Align yourself s- centrally and look straight into the camera. Okay. One second. Wait, oh, can take you see take me your in headphones this? off. Take your headphones off. I can't hear you, la la la. Wait, actually, I'm gonna. Should I try to like move my hair out of the way? Well, as long as you can see your eyes, you'll be all right. All right. This is gonna go so terribly. I cannot wait. <laughs> I feel like that's good. Yeah, I feel like is. I did good. That's actually a perfect picture for this. And then you have to line. Yeah, you have to frame the face up, and you're gonna have to do. There's like another step after this that's even funnier. But just oh, shit. Frame your face is up. that good? Yeah, that's fine for this. Because in the next point, you have to put What's points the... on your face. So like eye, eye, nose, nose. I mean, this feels like a lot for a game that has PS2 graphics. It is. Don't worry. It's what it's what you have to look forward to after this. That's the real show. Is this like middle of the year? Yeah, middle of the year, and then chin. Generate model. Here we go. I think I could probably turn my face cam back on, but I don't want to. Is I feel like it should have shown something by now. No, it, it look to the right. That's your face in the game now. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Is that it? Yeah, with like the skin color and everything applied from the other thing. Yeah, it is. Oh ew! Wait, I have to like <laughs> fix my because I don't. I... Wait, it's not letting me. First of all, let me turn my camera back on. Because we got to... I'm... Can I remove that? Can I... Ch- <laughs> you, can, you can remove it if you yeah, want. Yeah, that is never going to exist <laughs> again. And I'm sorry. It's so... Dude, my, mine was so cursed, too. What does this do? Uh, that's uh, width. Wait, it literally doesn't that's change anything. Horizontal. I probably have to let go of it. That's the same. That was the same. This to this is the same. Okay. Is that one the same too, Carl? Not the same. We'll be like Malcolm. Right in the middle. That works. Hairstyle. You're you're, going to pick... uh, You're going to get to pick everything now. Hmm. Yo, Nick. You don't have to mute when, when you're... I'm not streaming. Oh, that's so true. You are not streaming. I totally forgot about that. Nick, Billy thank Willie. you for the sub, dude. Appreciate the 30 Dude, months. come on. <laughs> you know what? Mm, I kind of like this as like a manager haircut. That's all business right there. That's like right? leading the conference room. Oh, this is like, yeah, this is pretty good too. Surf I like, it's kind of like, till early it's got like that, uh, the mafia wife hair bump energy right it's there. Like Lady Gaga and whatever that movie was. <laughs> I think this Gucci, is Gucci, Lady Gaga and Gucci. That's that hairstyle. Wow. 
not really uh this is the same face sorry i i don't know if you guys are the same way but i feel like I'm, I'm, oh, I've never I gone it... through the lipstick options. Is there like a club color option for lipstick? That'd be actually awesome. This is what we're looking at. I'm like a, I'm a classic. I'm a classic kind of girl. Understandable. You... Nothing wrong with a little, one of those bad boys. Oh, I don't know eyeshadow. What to... Wow, they've got some ambitious uh, choices in there. I feel like this is good. I can see that being a Sicilian woman that's about to lead a club to glory. That's what I can yeah, see. Yeah, I'm trying to go for like a... Um, oh, eyeliner? While you make your selection. Frosty Feet, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Urban Chaos, thank you for the prime. Boba Fett, thank you for the 17. Gamer Boy, thank you for the prime. Moon, thank you for the seven months. Billy, thank you for the eight. Scoffier, thank you for the big old 29. I had a date night last night, and it was perfect. Tomorrow, I have a fig. Nice. Uh, that's a good dad joke. Alistair, thank you for the three months. I'm so bad at eyebrows. Does that look like a normal human being? Uh, Dude, just look at the camera. I'm she not keeps looking. Moving her... I'm talking to her. Here. Oh. <laughs> look at how much she moves her head when I'm like trying to look at the eyebrow. Like, why would you turn that way? <laughs> It'd be weird if she's like following your mouth. I feel like those are too thin. I don't know. Oh, shoot. You're, You're so talking right. to maybe the only person on the planet that does less about eyebrows than you. <laughs> so that, that really stands up to the hair. You know what I mean? Attire. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Trench coat. 100%. And oh, I'm just okay, going to... Wait. Oh. Wait, what, what are these? What is going oh, on oh, here? Sorry, I thought that was like a scuba outfit in the bottom right. I was just wondering what that was. Like that one? That's I feel like this is not giving manager energy. That, that's giving gym coach energy, like PE. I'd be school. okay with this one, but this one's it, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Pete Pizzo's here. He just said, is this like Madden Sims? Yes, actually. That's kind of the part we're in right now. Oh, Madden. Oh, my God, Pizzo. Yeah, this is Sims and Madden. You know, I actually, I played NBA 2K once. Some people that are here might remember this, but... I played NBA 2K and did a face scan, and it made me black, and I've never bounced back from that. Really? It made you, <laughs> yeah. it like actually thought that you were African American from? Yes, it did. From the face a scan. A face scan? Yes. That's incredible. So I had to close the game Wait, and so never open it again. I'm partially colorblind, so I might need your help for a second. All are right. these pants ridiculous with this outfit? Uh, no, the pants are black, and the, the coat's just like slightly more light. Maybe like gray like very dark gray chat help me here oh they're the pants are exactly black yeah they it, they look exactly black to me yeah they are they might be okay. okay i was just making sure ability aids oh i thought ability for some reason i thought it was like like i would get like a uh, extra points <laughs> in football manager so that no you, you can just get extra acute hearing on the touchline if you want classes Ooh. Well, that uh, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Lapel badge. Oh, just I can't use that. Eat it right out of there. I, you could just tell them, you know. I'm trying to get ringed up. I can't pick multiple. You got to pick gold. Yeah, just we're middle Italian. Finger, middle finger gold ring. Yeah, she she's not married, Power. but she's married to the game. Both. Gold. Gold, just in case, you know, just in case she ever moves that hair. Wrist. Oh, we got to throw a watch. Oh, you can't put a... Yeah. Oh, dude. Gold. Wait. All gold, everything. That's what Yeah, I got third, all gold, uh, everything. That's what a third division manager always looks like, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks sick. All right, cool. We did it. That's, That's it. me, Car Carly Jacobs. <laughs> Carly Jacobs. Actually, I could see that being... Th okay, we're going to lead Sicily to the top of the Italian game and then the top of Europe, and we're going to conquer everything. But first, we have to click start new game. And this, this part's going to be a little unnecessarily complicated, but if we click start new game, we'll get on our way there. I'm just trying to shift. So sorry. You were, right, like, right. doing such a good job introing this, and I was, like, just not ready to do that. Just let me know when you're emotionally prepared. 
<clears throat> Zealand, there's one more thing before we start. I'm scared. Don't look, actually. There's a lot of buttons. One second. Okay. There's a lot of buttons. I came prepared. All right, you can look now. Honest. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Let's go, dude! That's sick. <laughs> okay, so for those that don't, that's the team that we decided to manage a couple weeks ago. That is a Catania kit, and Carl has purchased a Catania kit. He is you ready to go. A club? Uh, career. Yeah, you can make your own club if you want to. We've already decided, though. So we're going to, uh, yeah, go to Europe and Italy and third division. Carl's, Carl's total. Oh, dude, I don't remember which one. I think it was Serie C. It was, well, it was Serie C, but there's like three leagues in the third division. But I think it was like, I thought it was CB, but, or CC. Wait. How about... They're in one of them. I just said, oh, wait, do you want to get like real logos and stuff in the game before we start? Shoot, yeah. Probably should. How do probably. I do that? Uh, well, here, I'll zip up my logo. Oh, this is it. it too. My bad. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I was looking for the logo, to be honest. Okay, so there's three. I totally forgot about this. So are you on like a computer at work right now, right? Yep. Okay. Are you going to But play? it's my computer at my work, so we're okay. Okay, okay cool. We can download anything we want. Sweet. Um. So there's there are three things that people normally like to add to football manager. Now they're not entirely legal, but nobody really cares. Um, that would be like the badges, the real names, and the faces of the players, because football manager doesn't have the rights to the majority of that. They have rights to certain teams and like the Bundesliga and stuff, but uh, most of the teams, especially in like Portugal and Brazil and stuff, will have not made up names but abbreviated names, so you don't really know what's going on. Yeah, so that makes sense. I'm just going to grab my – so the only one that you have to do before the game starts, the rest we can square away, like, after this particular stream because that might take a little longer because, like, the logos and stuff, there's a lot of them, um, is the real name fix. Oh, because, yeah, if we're loading something up, yeah, that makes it, sense. Once when, you, like, open the save for the first time, the real name fix is there and – like, if you don't install the real name fix, like, the German national team will be full of fake players and random things like that that just make the, game, yeah, make the game super weird. So what you need to do... Let me see if I can find the folder. And I'll send you, I'll send you the file, and then I'll explain to you where you need to go. And this is... It's going to sound shit. super weird, but, yeah. All right. I'm here for it. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, why, why did we pick Italy, Zealand? I know, you want to explain it? Um, it's just cause I'm Italian <laughs> and I was like, that'd be fun. I don't know. My favorite, my favorite, um, to watch is, is probably Italian. So I was like, that'd be fun. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I got roots mm -hmm. there and I want an excuse to go there and we've made the declaration. Wait, have you said that? Yeah. Well, wait, yeah, we've I think made... we said it when we were talking about this on stream last time. Oh, yeah, that's right. If we end up winning the Champions League, is that it? Yeah. Then we were going to go to Italy together and watch Catania play in real life. Amen. Which I'm fired up for. If and, it's, it's, it's a win. It's a win. We're going to get the job done. There's no way we don't get the job done. I we see you, it. when you do your career, I see you, like, picking up, like, uh, national teams and shit. Yeah. Fuck that. You know, you none of that. You're just all club all the time. We're running up the club. I'm not nationalistic. Big word. All right, I'm sending you the two files. So you just, they're really small downloads. Uh-uh. All right. Download, download. They're both done. Sweet. Uh, so I will now read the guide to you. <clears throat> How to fix fake competition and club names in FM 2024. Step one, quit Thank the you. game if it's open. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is this all going to save? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It's Once you create that, it's there. 
The manager's like, if this makes sense, the manager is separate from the actual save game. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now, no, wait. I just realized now they can see me just reading the thing. Okay. <clears throat> Extract the contents of the pack you downloaded from here to a temporary location. You'll need them for step six. Okay. I can't wait for step six. Yeah, it's going to be wild. I'm All here right. For go it. to pro. Yeah, I'll just copy and paste this for you. That'll make life easier. No, I want you to read it off. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. Not that hard. <laughs> never mind. Go to that. <laughs> go to that and find the 2400 folder. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Open the ink folder and uh, the INC folder and then enter the all subfolder. You made me ink. All right, I'm there. Okay. Forgot to mention that. Yep. <clears throat> so then you're going to want to delete these four full uh these four files. fake.ink. That's hilarious that they just have it and it's just called fake. Like they want you to change <laughs> They want you to change it. It's a little too obvious sometimes. Licensing uh, club name. Yeah. Uh, and Japanese names. Dot ink. Yeah. And Lickdon Suifra. Dot ink. That's hilarious. And then I just drag these ones in. I'm assuming that's... Yes. that's Move both files into that folder. Yeah. Was that part six? That is part six. Okay. <gasps> that's all finished. Yeah, you're almost done. Uh, go two folders back and find the EDT folder. Done. And then permanent. enter the permanent folder. Done. Delete fake dot edit. Done. Sweet. That's uh, it? And then go two folder. One more. Go two. Well, two more. Go two folders back. And 2400. Find yep. 2400, then DBC and permanent. Done. And then we're deleting a lot of stuff here. My okay. personal favorite is forbidden names dot DBC. Holy shit. That's <laughs> awesome. Japan removed clubs. Brazil kits, okay. Japan fake and Japan loans, and just Japan. There's a lot of Japan stuff. Not the J League one. I uh, know you'd leave that if it's not on the list. I if it's not on the list on screen or that I just DM'd you, then you keep it. And league non player dot DBC. So make sure that none of those are there because that'll just keep a game, part of the game block. Okay, cool. Yeah, just, they just, we're just, we're just they got rid of Japan, Japan yeah. Japan's players, <laughs> the Japanese league, and yeah, yeah and Japan just, uh, loans. Correct. Uh, there's no more mortgages in the entirety of Japan, at least in the game. GG's. Now, now <laughs> enter the language subfolder and yep. delete licensing two and licensing two underscore uh, CHN. CHN. AKA the only two things in that folder. Correct. Now you're good. Now the game works. Well, now, now we'll the never game have to, oh. will have all the stuff. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You'll never have to. Well, you have to do that again if they update the database. So if there's an update for Football Manager, just check to see if it updates the database, and then you'll literally just do the same thing again. You know what? I'm at peace with that. Is that back now? Can you? Uh, yeah, it's, I... it's back. It comes back immediately. This, this whole software is actually I can't really believe convenient. that they have access to the J League. So that just happened this year. They just did a deal with the J League this year, and it's actually really fun. It's the first year the J League's in the game. I played it during the beta. It's the first year the J League's in any game. You know they're not yeah. in FIFA. They're not. Well, you want me to blow your mind? How many? Yep. Okay. How many players do you think are in Football Manager? Like, per, like players that are scouted and put into the game. 5,000. All right, now let's find the actual number. Hit start new game. Okay. Was that a pretty okay guess? Career. We'll see. Just find, you, we just got to find the club. Europe, Italy. So you see, C, C. There are, are, Catania. Sweet. Okay. Catania, choose game mode. Uh, we'll play original. Basically what these options are, uh, oh Lord, this is going to, okay. So original is, uh, so the game comes out in November, but the start date of the game is like June. So when you play original, all of the transfers that happened in the summer window already happened, but it's June. If you play real world, then that means all the transfers that happened will happen on the actual date. So like Harry Kane will go to Bayern, but he'll go to Bayern on that date. And then if you play your world, then it literally just starts in June and whatever happens, happens. So you can try Got your it. world too, but. I'm just down for a. Uh... 
Original. Original. Yeah, it's fine. Be, I, will they, you recommend original? Yeah, I would. All right. We'll we're in a go advanced setup. Uh, we're in a lower league, so it's really not going to matter either way. That's, that's what I. That's what it sounds like. Okay, so if you want to see how many players are in the game, go to the top right. I'm going to change my guess. <laughs> Ten thousand. <laughs> well, the, the so the game as it's set up right now already has thirty one. Oh. So hit the drop down. And go oh, to advanced. That's the, that's the one that says small. Yeah, go to advanced. We're going to okay. add every player that's in the game. Go to continents and hit add. And then, yeah, just add all the continents. Which ones were they not counting? Was it just Europe that was there? Then? So who, what you want to click is players of nationality, because obviously players of nationality from every continent, you'll get every player in the game. So the actual number of players they scout and put in the game is bottom right, 478,960, straight up. I'd like to change my guess. You were close. I did get closer once I switched it to 10K. You did. You, you doubled how close you were. <laughs> Should I switch it to database? Does that matter? So what we so the issue is... I just did that to show you. If we actually run this with 478,000 players, the game will just be slow. So oh, okay. Go, yeah, go uncheck all that. We don't need that. Like, go uncheck oh, what those do, things. What do we need? That's what we're about to discuss and figure out. So click OK. And then just leave there. So here's where you get to decide basically what leagues are going to be playable in the game. Now, the fun thing is that we are going to stay with the same team the whole time. So essentially yep. all this is going to be determining is like what leagues are going to be fully operational while we're playing, essentially. That's what we're going to be determining. Sounds Katanya. good. Katanya. Well, what was the hashtag I got? Forza Katanya? Chat, that's the hashtag we need to use. No, we're Forza not playing Forza. Katanya. We're playing Football Manager. It's going to be a long day. All right. <laughs> so somebody in chat said I never removed continents. That is true. Oh, wait. No, oh, they, I did. I unclicked yeah, them. Yeah. Come on, chat. Would I lead him astray? Let's be honest. All right. The, uh, so bottom right behind my giant head on people's screens at home, there is an add button. Okay. Correct? You click Boom. that. There's every country that has a playable league in the game, mm. uh, including Gibraltar. Now, we're not going to want all of them. But we are. But we gonna are gonna. Want, I feel like we're missing like France. We're missing Portugal. Yes. yes. We're gonna want. Uh, on, how good is this computer you're on right now? Is the question. Like what, it's. It's really good. It's really okay. So the, the we you what you you could run every league if you wanted, but we'll try and streamline it a little bit. So let's get Argentina, Brazil. Just get everybody in South America. Uh, because we have options to like lessen the load that that's gonna. Gotta happen. get the K League. K League. Uh, you can get Japan too. So really gotta better. get the J League. Is it called the K League? Uh, uh, yes, I think. Right. Well, it's I have an FC Seoul jersey. Oh, you know sick. how? It's a fun story, actually. Sure. What What happened? Do you know George Not Found? Do you know who that is? Yeah, I met him. One time he was like, "Oh, we should do a FIFA stream on my stream." I was like, "Dude, I'm just gonna clown you the entire time." And then he was like, "That's not true." Blah blah blah. And then I did so much to the point where I played as FC Seoul. And he played as Argentina, and I said, if if I beat you, you have to buy me an FC Soul jersey. FC Soul being oh, one star, Argentina being Argentina. <laughs> and I think I beat him, like, a lot. We should definitely add Mexico, Liga MX. We should Different. definitely add USA. Carl has this game on FIFA, by the way, because you guys know, famously, I am the reigning EAFC champion of Twitch. Uh, oh, Carl cracked. and I played to a draw when he visited in New York. Oh, I we forgot. Yeah, once. you're good. Yeah. I forgot we played. Yeah, we played. <laughs> See, I'm good, chat. You heard that? He's all, he was actually not bad. The tone of surprise. Always the tone of surprise. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, we played uh, like three games and it was a dead tie. Like each of us won one and then we drew the third. Yep. Yep, that oh. happened. Right, I didn't so even know there was a Canadian league. I'm just going to be completely transparent. You don't need I thought it. that was the MLS. Yeah, you don't need it. They started it like two years ago. Uh, get Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Czechia, Denmark. Uh, 
No love for Bulgaria right there. No, they're just not very good. Chat, uh, we don't need them. We definitely don't need Gibraltar, although mad respect to a country of 30,000 people that had its, its league in the game. Where is that? Uh, it's right below Germany. There is Gibraltar. No, you don't, we, don't, we don't need Gibraltar. Unless you really want a rock. Oh, we definitely need Turkey. Oh, yeah. And Switzerland and Ukraine while you're over there. They've got good players there. And um, we'll grab Serbia, Scotland. Scotland for sure. Yeah. Serbia's Serbia. got ballers. Sweden's got some guys. What do you think, Chet? Uh, do we, need, we need Poland. Yeah. You can get Norway if you want to find the next Erling Holland at some point in the Norway. Summer. I don't know. You, I don't think you could hear that, but I, I have a drum kit on my soundboard. I'm just going to start playing that after every time you. All right. <laughs> Oh, Gibraltar. Obviously. Uh, Greece, probably. They got some guys. That's good. I mean, that's a good number of leagues. Oh, South Africa. Just trust me on this. You're going to want South Africa. Top right corner. It's the only African league in the game. Oh, I was like, hmm, not seeing that continent. <laughs> uh, so that's it. We can click confirm in the bottom No, right. Wales? Is Wales worth? Uh, no, it's probably just... Chat, do, we, chat, do we need Wales? Do we have the... Uh, does anybody have a strong opinion? Perhaps a flag or two. Ireland? No. All right. Uh, here's some uh, the Irish League's not that good, but there are occasionally really high potential Irish players that spawn in. Like, they, the national team isn't bad. Um, that's not may as well add everyone. I guess we could add Australia. Well, what we're going to do is... No, no, we don't need Australia. Do we? No. No love for the Welsh. I, hey, look, you guys know I love Wales. Okay, we have a Welsh flag emote. Don't even... Biggest don't even mammal. Me. What? <laughs> I can't even hear. All right. <coughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to make certain leagues view only. Uh, and we're also going to make... Yeah, I know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get wild. No, d look. Don't... It, it, all, it, it will run fast. Okay, I, pr I promise it. Any, any, ch any save that you ever start is gonna basically have that match speed unless you're starting with like Manchester United and you don't need all of these leagues. That makes sense. So in Argentina, I want you to go to Argentina, which is right under Italy, where we're gonna be managing, and yep. just scroll up. You don't even have to click; you can just scroll, and it'll go. Oh my bad. Yeah, but that's fine. We. But the point is, all we want is the top league basically mm. and so go to austria and scroll actually go to the right and click the drop down to the right of austria the playable thing yeah so like the one next to austria though sorry this is no you're good austria um, so it's alphabetical so like right below australia there'd be austria my bad i can't see it that well you're good yeah right there so playable yeah, and then the drop down. Okay, so what we want to do is on each one, you're going to want to scroll up to the top league and then click playable and view only below. But we can't click that until you scroll up to the top league, basically. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, so what we, no, I hadn't told you to do that. So that's, we, the top Austrian league is playable, which means it's loading like full rosters, full coaching staffs, full youth academy. And I should do that for all of these going down? Uh, unless I tell you otherwise. So Belgium, Belgium, yes. Yeah. And you can just hover over it and scroll up if you wanted to. You're so right. And I up. keep not doing that. Leave Brazil. Brazil, uh, Brazil drop. Uh, actually, just leave it on B and then do the same thing. Yes. All right. This. Yes. Chile. Dude, you keep I'm not. Uh, just, I'm just never going to do that. I'm just never going to do it. Colombia. Do what? The scroll thing. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just leave Colombia. Colombia's produces so many great wonder kids. You just leave them. Don't you don't need to touch that one. Croatia, yes. Scroll up and oh, boom. Just testing your clicking accuracy. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Denmark, yes. Boom, boom. Um, and France, or sorry, this is England. Just yeah. leave it. We'll just actually wait. Chat, we want the English lower leagues to have up available players. So I uh, go to League Two. So that's the sixth division of England. That's actually 
Uh, so below that is the fifth division. That's where Wrexham was when Ryan Reynolds and them bought him. And then below that is the sixth division. That's the team I managed last year. Um, it's a really fun save once you learn how to play football managers. You start in the sixth division and try and win the Premier League. It takes forever. Sorry. Uh, gotcha. League two and then playable and view only under. So right here. Yes. And then playable and view only under. Boom. Okay. France, leave it. Oh, just kidding. That's fine. And then Bundesliga, go uh, playable view only under. There is another league under there, but you don't need it to be playable. I've heard that the uh, second division of the Bundesliga is the best league this year. I've heard it's <laughs> the most fun to watch. Well, it, is it, the, it doesn't have a very tight race. Something like that. Mm. I don't really know. I've just I, heard that. Yeah, I, I think it's a tight race. All right, uh, Greece, yes. And then Japan, yes. Yo, you're not fucking with the J2 League? Well, it'll be in the game. So view only is, it doesn't have full rosters and youth academies, but it keeps a full first team and it still simulates like the league. So you can still Got assign it. players from there. It's just not as, it lessens the simulation load a lot. So Mexico, yes. Yeah, I don't think we need the Mexican Expansion League. No, we don't. I'm going to move you over there so I can, I'm watching. Sorry. Everybody else is watching. No, it's fine. Uh, Eredivisie, yeah, go ahead and pull the trigger on that. Um Norway, yes. Peru, yes. Uh, Poland, yes. I think Peru's, yeah. Peru, Peru, Peru only has one league, so never mind. Yes, and then Portugal, just playable and view only. You don't need to change anything because there is another league below that that we'll just keep. Scotland, um, yes, just go to the top flight and do playable view only. You don't need I it. feel like that's ridiculous. Yeah, Scotland has four leagues, which is... Uh, like in the game, which is a little I feel like wild. that's a lot. It is. Uh, Serbia, yes. And South Africa, yes. So this is just streamlining the game so it'll be able to simulate faster, which everybody likes. And the good news is you can save this so you never have to do it again if you if you want. Uh, and K-League, yeah. Cool. And then we have Oh, scrollers. fuck, there's more. <laughs> so Holy shit, I forgot Spain exists. <laughs> so Spain, you can just keep the top two leagues and do view only under, so playable view only. And then Perfect. we have Sweden. Uh, yes, only need the top league. I think they get semi-pro pretty quickly. Um, what's yes? Swiss. I think it's probably just yes for everybody else. Turkey. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. It just everybody else. Just get the top league playable. Dude, you're league. telling me they don't have the USCL? No, unfortunately, they, the MLS has just cornered the market on all that stuff. Dang it! I can't play as my Charleston Battery. Okay, and then the top right, you're going to want to click large. So that just adds 6,000 more players than it wants. Wait, that was closer to my estimate. What, it changed? Yeah, you're, at, you're way closer now. You're MLS, eight. so we can, we can get people from, what is it? The Metro Stars. Isn't that the old yeah. New York team? Well, you know what the fun, the fun thing is, is, even if the team's not in a playable league, they're still in the game. There's just no league. Like the league is being simulated very easily in the background. Got so it. We've discovered some truly brilliant teams. There is a club in Bermuda called Flanagan's Onions. I've been a lifelong fan. Yeah, as yeah. you can be. There's as far as you can be. Beer Salona in. I mean, where is Beer Salona? Somebody. Disable Beer Salona? No. Yes, Beer Salona. What it's is like Disable a Attribute Sunday. Masking? So that makes scouting not fun. Um, oh, Beer Salona's in Guam, right. Oh, that's Excellent. sick. Excellent club name. Oh, so, so I'm not uh, going to do that. No, because that if you disable attribute masking, the, you, you can essentially see the overall of every player in the game. It makes it way too easy. It would also oh, make, yeah, yeah. Can't have it too easy. <laughs> well, no, it, like, it takes scouting out of the game, basically. So what you want to do is the game set up in the bottom left. You want to click that drop down. And then you want to save so you never have to do all that stuff again. Uh, not that it took too long, but just like. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm allowed to. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, yeah. You just make sure it's. Uh... Wait, you could see that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the football manager experience, honestly. I'm not even joking. So, so just so everybody's aware, um, I don't know how much you've explained, but I will never be playing this without it being on this stream. So you guys will be a part of this forever. Yep. Which is awesome because we also have a live channel where we'll have our editors like edit down every stream that we do so people can watch condensed episodes and catch up with what happened if they miss a stream where we're hanging out and uh, playing. Yep, uh, but and you're you're ready. You're ready to play football manager. So start in the bottom right, and it's holy showtime. shit. We're in 139,000 players. Serious C, and we're about to create the coach next, I believe. Well, we've already created the coach, but you're about to have to select what coaching badge you have and what playing experience you had. We'll try and decide how hard we want to make it. We'll try to get it as close to the truth as possible. Yeah. They actually have an option in the game where you can click expected for level, basically. So, like, whatever level you're at, the expected coaching badge and previous playing experience. Okay. So that's what we'll probably do. Yeah. Disable the... I don't know. I like having the Discord overlay up. You can tell who's talking and when, even though we're literally even both Even though we could, you could see our faces talking. <laughs> yeah, well, when you put it like that. <laughs> I've had, I had the Discord overlay up the entire time. Yeah, I've never, I never thought about it. To be fair, I was like, oh yeah, we should have the Discord overlay. But the oh. fact that you can technically just see both of our faces makes it feel a little silly. Yeah, I actually created Carl through AI. If you were wondering how this happened, so this is. Uh... I just start acting like a robot. <laughs> Is that a Tampa Bay Mutiny jersey you have on? Hell yeah, it is. How did you? That's know fucking that? awesome. Oh. Ugh. Sorry, hey, chat. If you if you, if you just hopped in, there you go. There's nothing on the back. It's just this. That's sick. Ugh. I have a New York Metro Stars jersey, even though they don't exist. Also. R.I.P. in peace. Yep. How did this come to be? Well, I, Carl, and I were born in the same hospital, and. Um, you know, our parents got along really well. Dude, my and face cam just, like, shut down while it was loading this database. I'm sorry. Go on. Sorry. Yeah, it, it, this game is really hard on your processing. That'll happen just every once in a while. Like, Cool. It's just it. So, uh, so we're going to use... Wait, hold on. Use profile. <laughs> Sick moves, by the way. So, <laughs> at the top, it says suggested uh, stuff for database. And so they, you're a per, you're a former professional player with a Continental A license, if if that sounds okay to you. Love that. And those I love having I love having a license. Yes. Now you you are allowed to drive a football club. Perfect. Oh. And those are all of your attributes. You can adjust them if you want. There's really no uh, you can switch your management style, but you know your ability nah. to play. The, yeah, that's fine. Confirm. We're ready. You can get better coaching badges as we, you know, get towards the Premier League as well. So this is the because I've I've clicked. This is now the fifth start playing button that they've given me. <laughs> it's very misleading. We're only <laughs> three away from the actual game. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Oh wait. Right. Oh yeah, I do need to send you the skin. True. Here we go. Look at this. Wait, oh, you have skin? to. You, you, this, this is this is for you to read. You're being welcomed by the media to Catania. Oh, Catania have today confirmed the appointment of Carly Jacobs as the club's new head coach. Eyebrows have been raised in the soccer world at the appointment of an inexperienced 24 year old, <laughs> <laughs> and she is sure to face plenty of questions when she faces the media for the first time. At that, she replaces previous head coach Luca Tabiani. Exhilarating. All right, next. Holy shit. This is awesome. So that's your entire club history. So Catania, like, they used to be in Syria, right? We figured that out? Yes. Yeah, they used to be. And then I think they got in trouble, right? Didn't they get, like... Yeah, they, they, like... They, they, they're match-fixing or something. <laughs> I think it was something like, crazy. Like... New owners. New owners. <laughs> the owner got sent away. Uh, year founded, uh, 1946. Some say a good year to have a, a fresh start, to be fair. Some say. So All right. Real, real bounce back year. Status. Okay. <laughs> that means we're in debt. They just don't want to admit it yet. Okay. 
that's in we, we we can look at our squad on a different screen but that's basically those are the guys that we've got so far once we okay. get the face pack in but that that'll take a while to send over to you but once the face packs in hopefully they'll all have faces too Oh, and these are the goals the board has set for us. So we have to work within the payroll budget. We are definitely in debt. Um, sign players under the age of 20 for the future, but they don't really care about that. Grow no. the club's reputation. Maximum one-year contracts for players over 34. They and need then, us to reach the playoffs this year. Is that what I'm being told? It's required, which means we'll probably get fired if we don't do that. So, so this could be the shortest <laughs> series of all time. <laughs> We shall not fail. Actually, we just joined Serie C, right? Well, yeah, but I think so. They got relegated to Serie D because they fixed matches. Then the new owners bought them, but they probably still had enough decent players and like set up to get back up. We might be good compared to our league. I don't know. Okay, but this club did just get promoted back up. Okay. All right, next, next. And these are our like culture goals. So they high so like if you're Barcelona, this says tiki taka basically. Yeah, yeah, it's got you. Got the you. type of thing that dictates the way they expect to play. So high tempo and make the most of set pieces. The supporters expect to be promoted this year. So this is a this is an ambitious club, or they're really talented, and we just haven't figured it out yet. We picked a really good team. Look, to be clear, before we know how good the team is, I do want to put on record. That we strictly just picked them because... Wait, we picked them on your stream. So we, we have proof. We okay. have proof that we picked it honestly, even if they end up being... Really we good. were like, that's cool. It's in Sicily and the logo is an elephant. So that's cool. Lay All right. Okay, uh, next. And then we are... Th there's all the... These are the tutorials, but I'm your tutorial. So you don't, you don't need to... Oh, so I should just skip all that. To, yeah, you can just skip it. And you have a press conference... And yes. inner squad friendly, and then set your staff meeting to every month. Those can get really annoying if you do them every week. Got it. And That's how I, I feel. I don't, I don't want to alarm you, but after you click this button, you will actually be in the game for the first time. Holy shit. Are you ready? <sighs> no, no, I'm not. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Savers. There we go. Okay, so there's a, a lot of things that you'll need to familiarize yourself with, but we won't jump into all of them at the same time. Oh, my God. Um, I got hired two days before my birthday. Well, that's good. Now you're a 24-year-old legend instead of a 25-year-old legend. It's perfect. That's a good point. Yep. You got to be as impressive as possible. So you have your club vision and expectation meeting. It's the first thing on the docket in your inbox here. Holy um, shit. That, if it has something red next to it, that means you have to address it. Got but it. Basically, you just accept the vision because you have no leg to stand on to negotiate it. You just got hired. And then tactics induction, you're going to want to skip that. It's just trying to get you to make a tactic right now. Uh, so just click create tactic. And we just Somebody's saying, why is everybody saying skins? What does that oh, mean? Oh, um, so we, I, here, I'll, I, I just sent it to you. I forgot about that. So, all right, chat. There's like so many mods to this game. So the skin, I we have a skin like the Zealand skin, which isn't nearly as creepy as it sounds. It reskins the game and makes it look better and like more oh. user, user friendly and stuff. Am I gonna? Should I just restart then? Should I turn it no, off? No, no, no. You can add it while you're in the. Oh, game. perfect. How do I do so that? Just uh, download it to download the file I just sent you to Documents or Documents Sports Interactive Football Manager 2024, and then there's a skins folder. Just download it straight into there. It's a really small file. Oh, I, I go back to the program file thing that you sent me? Yes, yes. Because I did download it already. All right. Yeah. They're, they're Let's like do that. Really quality quick. of life changes, basically. Thank you, chat. It's in the database, DB24. Oh, wait. You're going to have to tell me the pathing. Yeah. Uh, documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2024. Yep. Skins. And skins, Boom. yeah. Nope. Will this stream be available on YouTube? Yes. Yes, it will. Okay, I, I did that. Okay. And then you go into... It's it's not zipped, right? I can't remember. I haven't downloaded one in a long time. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's not. Okay. So then you go to the top right. There's back. that FM thing. And then you click the drop down and go to preferences. 
and then you want to click the drop down where it says most common and go to interface. And then there's like a skin section right at the top. You just drop down and do the Zealand skin. Nice. And then it'll reload. So now there's like a nice Zealand logo in the top right. And it, it, there will be parts of the game that just look better because of that. Okay. But other than the Zealand logo then? Uh, yes. Other than that and the fact that I think there's still like a feature where you could it like, oh yeah, it like links you to all my stuff when you click the drop down <laughs> on the right. <laughs> Absolute, yeah, creator genius move. Um, there's actually a feature in it where if you will go to certain pages, it will. Is there a way I can make these buttons a little bit bigger? Because I have bad eyes. Yes, go to the top right. The uh, sorry, logo? click the Zealand logo that you love so much. Oh, go to here preferences. It is. Which one of these do I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, follow the Instagram, I believe. Uh, but go to preferences, preferences. again. Okay. And then go to advanced at the top. Oh, wait, is it just this? Uh, actually, yes, but there's a whole percentage thing you can use in advanced. Cool. Uh, if you go to interface in the top right, uh, yeah, just click that, and it'll drop down, and then there's interface. And there's a zoom percentage somewhere in here, if you scroll, maybe. Chat, where the hell is the zoom? It's the Let me find it on mine. It's not I feel like I, I'll just do this. Oh, it's in all. Sorry. But yeah, that, that'll work too. You can literally just scale it up and then click confirm and it'll. Let me see what that looks like. That's, I feel like that's a lot, right? That's is that too, too much? But I mean, whatever. The, the thing about this is whatever is comfortable to you is what works. I feel like that's still too much. Maybe one lower than this feels like that's going to be good. That's the one. Yeah, this, this looks Sweet. like. Sweet. Is that good for everybody? Is is yeah. everybody good with that? Zooming in is actually better for people that are watching because then they can like actually see what's going on more. Okay. Somebody said 125 always. Is that what I'm on? I yeah, I usually play on 125, so a lot of other people have gotten used to it. Yeah, that's that is 125. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, sweet. It's, every, it's everybody's ideal zoom, I guess. So let's uh you ready to meet our players that will take I'm us so to the excited. Land? Go to squad on the left. And then we will oh skip. Boo. Uh, we, the, these are the glorious players that will lead our glorious revolution, which maybe I shouldn't be saying given the 1946 founding, but uh, top left, uh, there's the drop down with select info. Click that and go to reports. Beautiful. So this is going to give us the closest thing you're going to get to an actual overall rating in football manager, the stars. You'll see them on the right. There's ability and is this potential. Like in relation to what league they're in? Uh, in relation to your team. So okay. Like, uh, the higher the star rating, the better that player is relative to your team. Two and a half being like an average player for your team. So anybody that's above two and a half is Got better it. than your average. Now, the star ratings are provided by a member of your coaching staff, which means they are not, of course, because this is the way perfect. football manager yeah. always works. They're not perfect. But Got they're it. an excellent guide. That's fucking awesome, by the way. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's always like, I think one thing Football Manager captures better than any other sports game is the idea that it's impossible to know the exact right way to do something. Mm -hmm. It's always okay. just kind of a feel. So go to the top left and go to contract. This is where we're going to find out who the important players are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll click that right now. <laughs> the drop down where it says reports and then... Uh, Oh, drop down to contract. Dude, right? that is crazy that you thought that I was just going to know that for a fact. <laughs> There's sorry. top I, left is like pretty much every single button that's ever existed in a like, video game. If you end up in the wrong place, it's my fault, not yours. I just <laughs> like it, it, this. This is my first time. Uh, sort by agreed playing time, which is kind of where it says fringe player uh, right there and scroll to the top. Should I, should I flop it? Yeah, flop it. Okay, cool. Uh, so the so regular starters. All right, so we've got, if you scroll up a little bit, we probably have like an important player or two. Yeah. We have to These two are up. goats. Oh. There we go. Oh, there these are. two are goats. So let's look at old Cosimo Chirico. I mean. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I know. I know. It's Positive's I, good. Seri B team player? Wait, is it actually, oh, dude? We're gonna destroy this league. I'm so. Oh my! It actually says that. That's okay. Chat. We are. Uh, we're in business. So 
those positives and negatives are assigned by the same person that's providing the stars on your staff. So again, not entirely accurate, but they do help. Uh, what you want to look out for in that is consistency in big matches. So this guy is more consistent than the average uh, average dude, which is nice. All of these attributes oh, are going to be is. yeah. All these attributes are going to be super overwhelming. Uh, the more you play the game, the more comfortable you get. Like understanding. Yeah, I imagine that. It's like jumping into the deep end. It feels like exactly. but... this game. It took me two years to get into like of opening Football Manager and going like I'm overwhelmed by all this information, but. Uh, the thing that can help focus your eye is the highlighting. So like this guy currently on that position map that you see just to the right of his non-existent head, he's an inside forward off the right. So that's like Messi's position basically. And so the highlighted attributes that you see are based off that position. So green being the most important blue being secondary. So if you don't cool. know if a guy's good or not, and you know what position he wants to play, you can just look at those highlighted attributes and be like, Okay, that's so this guy has very high numbers in the things that he needs to have high numbers in to be a good inside forward. He is 31 years old. Uh, so his natural fitness is 13, which means he's old. Cosmo's probably got another year or two before he starts to really get old and slow on us. Okay, but that's exciting. Um, yeah, the the he this guy is for the league that we are in. This guy's nasty. This guy's going to be lighting things up for us. We're, we're I'm excited. Have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of. So fun. I go back to squad. Yeah, you can hit the back arrow in the and, and oh, the, you're uh, right. top left as well. It whatever works. Marcos Carrado is the next important player. Oh, he's an old no nonsense center back. We love to see it. There we go. It's not as Decent good as the other guy, but Serie B player. Serie B level again. Holy shit. Yeah, I I think that our team is oh he's Argentine as well. We've got a we've got a foreigner in the ranks. Okay, and now let's click on the third important player. We're just going to learn who the guys are that, based off their contract, are valued. Super Ooh, highly. our number 10. A little old. 34. <laughs> but he's, is that, okay, he's yeah, like a striker. So he only can, so what that means is he can only play striker. There's no other position on the field that this guy can play. Got it. Um, and this already gives you an idea of how good Cosmo is, because if you look at, like, the highlighted attributes for this guy, they're just lower than yeah what cause what's is. like a number that we should be excited to see right now totally depends on your level like for example if we were in the sixth division of england this guy would win player of the year 100 times out of a 100 right like this guy would Got be it. the best player there for Got the it. third level of italy this guy's definitely competent i don't know like what you what you what does your coach say about him you're kind of behind my head i'm gonna move you he says a uh, decent Serie b player yeah probably not uh, or probably Probably right. Okay. Enjoys big matches. Don't That's, we all? That is a great trait, by the way. The, the enjoys big matches. So there are, okay. because this game's not complex enough, right? There are about 37 attributes that you can see. There are about nine that you can't. Which is what keeps some of the mystery in the game. That's cool. There's pressure. There's adaptability. Now, you get those through scouting reports, but only like the, we know they like big matches or we don't, but it's also on a scale of 1 to 20 like every other attribute in the game. You just can't Oh, he see played it. for Fiorentina. Oh, yeah. This, oh, this dude was a Serie A player. I guess that makes sense if he's 34 and still a professional athlete. But yeah, okay. Every, every player in the game is, has a full biography. So just let me know when you want to stop and kind of... No, nah, I think we're too. we're good. Yeah, we're not going to spend too much time on him. He's 34, which means he's going to die soon. Well, it, it, honestly, for this season, that guy's probably still going to be an important player. So let's look at David. Uh, David Bua. We're going to hopefully have a fullback. There we go. There's a right. Oh, wait. My boy he's has 21. Hey. And that's where the potential comes in place. So this guy could potentially get better as well. You know, Wonder Kids and nice football manager is self-replenishing i've simulated the game about 860 years into the future and all of the teams that you know like they're still world-class players and stuff it like survives um so the, there are always new there's a, the next messy is always somewhere you just have to find him right which is always fun and you and the next messy uh, desperately wants to play in series c you understand the assignment this guy has also a, a long throw which is Where's fun. That? Like so he is it's one of the attributes and it's the one that's 17. Oh. 
So he has 17 long throws. Holy shit. Out of 20. Yeah, this dude's... And then he has, in the bottom right of that area, there's player traits. He possesses a long, flat throw. So this dude's actually a siege weapon when it comes... Like, you could set up a whole long throw play based off of this. He thing. just loves throwing that thing. <laughs> For a game all about your feet, bro. He just loves grabbing that. <laughs> He slams right. that thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Milos. Yeah. How's Milos? Oh, he's, he's not. born in the year 2000. Yep. He's not. Uh, this game will good. make you feel super old, super fast. Yeah. He's not as good, though. You can kind of tell that at this point. Uh, but he plays left wing. All right. Let's go to the next guy. We're just learning who we have. Ricardo Landonetti. Got it. So he's our best midfielder, it looks like. Okay. He's got good uh, mid midfielders. It's about that work rate, the passing. He's fine. Um, very serviceable. Next guy. I forget where I was at. Am I at Roberto? Yeah, now? Roberto, yeah. Oh. He's All like right, more he's, of like an attacking midfielder type play? He's different. Yeah, he's, he's a better passer than the last guy. Um, okay. But he's, he's like well-rounded. He's just fine. You see a lot of those mental attributes at like 11 and 12. He just, he, he's all right. He's going to be an average player for us. Just get the job done. All right. And, and I feel like we're getting, what do the blue ones yes. represent? He's loaned in from another club. Got it. Uh, this is, oh, he's our goalkeeper. Oh, hell yeah. So he's on loan from Pisa. I think they're a second division team in Italy. You can see that uh, under his. He began in AC game. Milan. Hey, he's got the pedigree. He also that's my nice, that's uh, my Italian team. Yeah, well, I mean that's why uh, that's why we signed this guy just for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Even though so, <laughs> failed to make a league appearance during his four years at AC Milan, they did. They but just didn't, they didn't recognize his potential. That's okay. No, he's fine. So you understand loans, right? Like the yeah, you, you know, yeah. Okay. I mean, so. as like a human, I understand. Like, not. I don't know how loans are going to work at all in Football Manager. So the, basically the idea is a club owns a player, but yeah. they want to get that player playing time, so they loan them to you. And you pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, yeah I, okay. I mean, I, I guess I, I understand what loans are and why they exist, but I guess I just don't understand um, them right. in Football Manager. Yeah, that's what I meant. My bad. He do Wait, does it say doesn't like big games? Oh. I, beggars can't be choosers. The guy's a good goalkeeper. If he plays a little worse in big matches, that's just going to have to be something we live with. The idea Bro, is that we're so dominant we don't have to play big matches in the first Yeah, I'm place. done for that. Okay. So let's go to our tactic. Let's just click the tactics on the left uh, side there. Surely. Up from Surely there. Just, uh -huh. And oh. there. There you go. And all right. Tiki the, Taka has a thumbs up. Gen Press. Uh, so that's Gagan Press, which is like the super pressing the other team stuff. Tiki Taka, you know what that is. And then there's yep. wing play as well. So I'll let, uh, which way do you want your team to play, Carly? You know what? You can change all of this after you click on it. This isn't like a massive, this is a decision that can be changed all the time. I feel like wing play is exciting. Okay. Choose formation yep. then. And then you have three options that they think normally work for wing play. And I agree with the game. I think your team looks like it would work in a 4-3-3. Right here. That's right. Couldn't help but agree. A man of culture. All right. And now, if you wanted to, like, if you wanted to just plug and play and start, you could click quick pick in the top right, and it would actually use your assistant coach to pick a team for you. Can we do that and then kind of, like, make any changes we want to make based off like afterwards exactly your brain's working the right way okay dude do not show me that message again dude get out of my face <laughs> so this is your th this is the best 11 based off of the style that you just picked so we've got our boy yeah. massimo on the right side we see him there zamarini and De uh, and delhi are those two midfielders we were looking at the goalkeeper yep. from ac milan's in there uh who's this striker he's not the guy that we saw before uh, Dubikas. You can just you can just click on his name and it'll take him. Uh, oh, well, that's he's alone. Right. No, you you accidentally switched off him first. Unfortunately, just kidding. Yep. So click that drop down and go back to Dubikas. There we go. And now click he's his alone. name. Yes. 
Oh, from Pisa. We might have we have our club might actually have a relationship with Pisa, like as a club. All right. Which would be helpful because then you can get free loans. And uh, if my chat knows anything, there's nothing better than free loans for players. Because in Football Manager, you have full autonomy over your club's finances, which can be utterly disastrous or really wonderful. Uh, so we have our basic tactic. We kind of understand how we want to play. Wait, I feel like this guy is way better than the guy that we were looking at earlier. Though. Well, if you want to, the if if we want to compare them directly, go to the comparison thing, because this is a very smart thing to go. Sorry, it's uh, there's yep. like the top bar right there, and you compare with when you hover over comparison, or you can do that. That also works totally. Let's let's do it the way that you're telling me. My bad. No, you're good. Comparison, and then there, and then uh, D Carmine, I believe, was his name. So he's down. Oh, uh, you got it. Oop. there he is. Boom. So now they have this beautiful graph, which kind of breaks the attributes down for you. So okay. D Carmine's smarter, better in the air. Dubikas is faster. Um, but here's the here's like a real and maybe tell me if I'm get, getting ahead of myself. Okay. Okay. Dubikas clearly slightly worse, right? Is that safe to say? Except his uh, speed, I guess, is better. Maybe. Yeah. But since he's 25 compared to the 34 year old, wouldn't it make more sense to lean into him more to like try to develop him more? Or is yes. that what it would is that what it would be like? You're on the right. Yeah, that's the right thought. The only issue okay. with the thought is that Dubigas is a lone player. So even if he is developing, oh, I forgot more, that. Then he'll we just don't... go back to Pisa. Like he's not under contract with us unless we okay. want to buy him at some point, which we might. But you know, we might sign a few players to make our team better too. So just before decide, we start, yeah. What? Oh yeah. Before. Oh, oh, we'll hit the transfer market today, Carl. We're going into the transfer oh, market. Oh fuck yes! <laughs> We're getting the best player that's ever played. Oh yeah. We're gonna scour African national teams for star players. That's what we're gonna do. But oh yeah. The the what what I what I do want you to do is to figure out who you want to start at each position first. So are you good with Dubikas or do you want the other guy? Um. Let's give the other guy. Let's give the other guy his last two rides. Uh. Okay. And right wing, we have our boy Chirico. Now there's Love one him. issue with so there are two things in football manager when it yep. comes to tactic. There's the position, which is where the player starts in the field, and then the role, which is what they're going to do while they're there. Yeah. So Chirico's position is the right wing, and his role is winger which is not the role that we want him playing because he likes Where to cut it. Where are you seeing in. that? Are you seeing that over here? So that's the W. Yep. You see how it says like AML or AMR and yeah, yeah, W? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So click drop down on that. Those are the different roles in that position that you Got can it. ask them to do. And so if what should... If you're ever like wondering what a role means, the instructions that that role provides are the next level. So like a winger's cross more often cross from the byline, dribble more, get further forward, stay wider. That's what they're going to do. Cool. But what we want is inside forward because this dude's left-footed. So we want him cutting in. So he'll cross less often. He'll take more risks. He's going to dribble more, kind of attack more, and cut inside with the ball. And you'll he's see He's technically that better in a support role than an attack role. So support just means he's going to get a little less forward. It doesn't mean he's not going to score or not make a difference, but... That is your assistant coach's opinion that he's better as a support inside forward than an attacking inside forward. And surely we agree with our assistant coach. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Until, until we happen to fire them, but we can take care of that some other time. I can't wait, dude. I hate that piece of shit. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Okay. So, your left wing. I have no idea who this Davide Marsura guy is, but he looks fine. Yep. Uh, I love so, him. Uh, we, we, we do. Let's click on him real quick. Just to make sure he's like, oh yeah, he's fine. He's a good player. He's very cheap. This guy's getting paid absolutely nothing. He's making thirty two thousand a year. Love that. Which we 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 are a big fan of people willing to work for that. He, he is right footed though, so we're gonna want to change his role because a winger's keeps it on their outside foot usually. The good news is there's a role called inverted winger. You can just pop him on real quick and boom. You, you do and basically you know what? the same thing. Yeah, oh, we'll you feeling 
Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck it, right? <laughs> Are we feeling a little fuck it about it? Yeah, send it. Perfect. And our midfield trio, probably fine. I would assume. Who's the, our, yeah. our, this, this boy, Deli. I think he's okay. Uh, Deli is, I mean, with a name like that, I he's just, literally an Italian Deli. And if it's anything like Boar's Head, we're going to be fine. You're Boar's Head, man? I mean, I, yeah. I, say, I say that not knowing what any of the other options are, actually. I feel like Boar's Head is like industry standard. I'm actually kind of concerned. Does Boar has does like Boar's Head have a monopoly? Kinda. On, on I'll tell you this. When I when I walk past the deli and I see it has that Boar's Head logo, I feel comfortable. You do. You're getting a sandwich. Yeah. Oh. I feel like you're gonna antagonize any Italian here with that kind of philosophy. But if you've never had Boar's Head, okay, it's it, it's above average. That's not it's, the ringing endorsement. Pays the bills. It, well, I mean, not every deli meat you have is going to be the best deli meat you ever have. Something um, has to be like. I can't help but agree. But I'm also going to say this really quick. Before everybody keeps asking, wait, what were the things, what were the packs that I added? Wasn't it logos and, oh, it was just names, it, right? It was, it was, so the players already have their real names. Cool. We added real names for leagues, tournaments, clubs, all that. Got it. And, and then, and then by the time we do this next time, we will have added the real logos, kits, and faces. Yes, we can add cool. all of those. So those okay. will all be in the game. They're just larger files, and I wanted to just kind of get started. Yeah, no, I don't believe it. Yeah, it would have taken like another hour to kind of get that stuff squared away, but I'll yeah. send that over to you, and we can have it up by next time. So the, okay. So <clears throat> we kind of dove into the squad because I wanted to see what we were working with out of pure interest, but... Football manager probably requires a bit of a broader explanation. This is my first time explaining this sort of thing on stream. So bear with me. But every part of the game you don't want to deal with, we can hand to our staff and then unpack over time. There's a ton of information in football manager that like there's a whole data hub. There are tons of analytics. Like I've made videos about how to play money ball type saves and stuff. But the good thing is you don't need to access all of that to be able to succeed. We have our team. We have our tactic. We could just go ahead straight to the first game, and we would probably be fine. The team we've selected just happens to actually be very good relative to the team we're playing against. Okay. But there are a but few section of the – yeah, what? We wanted to scout. We do. Right? We do. And that's one of the sections of the game we're going to. So go to scouting, and we can skip that. We don't need that nonsense. Uh, assigning scouts, we'll take that over. Head coach, easy. Finish in the top right. Boom. Perfect. All right, you have a staff in the game that you have complete control over. This is your assistant coach that if you find them annoying, you can yeet them into the sun, you can banish them, you can mutually terminate their contract, whatever, they're gone. You have Ruin their life. Staff. Yeah, you can. Actually, I've been known to do that on occasion if they disagree with me but if they agree with me then the dictatorship survives spread uh, lies about them if, oh, it's easy i mean this game actually is sims when you break it down <laughs> that way uh you have a scouting department so you i have, hit that then uh go to click on staff on the left i don't know if there's a way on this screen to see how many scouts you have there's so Skip. many tutorials yep that's fine. We'll leave the recruiting the staff to the coaching staff. That's okay. Cool. We don't need to do that right now. So we have two scouts of the four that we would be allowed to have. And we also have a spot for a chief scout. Your your cursor's kind of right over that. Uh, it's in the recruiting oh, here we team. Are. There's like the range of what you're allowed to have, basically. Cool. And so your board sets that. That's budget. So you have two scouts, which means we... Premier League clubs will have anywhere from 18 to 30 scouts. So we don't have a lot of ability to scout anything really but we can manually scout so go to scouting again now that we can dive into this yep go to player search so there'd be players at the top there just players in range so Boom. this will present us a list of every player that we are aware of on the planet because there's a knowledge mechanic in the game, which means even though we know there's 139 play, 109. Th her, That's awesome. You know what I mean? It's like Fog of War, but in Football Manager. It is. 
So cool. even though there's 139,000 players in the game, we know about 4,164. And that's still a lot. That's cl- actually, yes. dare I say that that's close to what I was guessing. <laughs> and that's what I thought you were talking about when I made that guess. Of, of course. Yes. Uh, then in the top right, there's transfer. You see a little checkbox. Yep. That is for people that are interested in transfers. So if you uncheck that, there will be even more. So we are aware totally of almost 10,000 players. We know who Kylian Mbappe is. Hallelujah. We do. And we're going to buy him. Let's from- try it. Make an offer. Catania's making moves. Next. Yeah, click the little exit thing under it. There you go. See you later. We don't I care. Guess. We're getting Mbappe. Yep. Let's give him 50K. That's a good starting point. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's, <laughs> we'll get to our Mbappes soon enough. <laughs> we will. So check transfer. <laughs> We'll we'll be buying Mbappe in a few years. I, he'll play he'll play for us at some point. So now let's just let's just have some fun and see if we can find somebody that we think would be good. Go to new search on the right. This is essentially the equivalent of just googling late into the night in real life. So there's a way to look for guys that don't have a contract, basically that are the you know free players that would want to sign for us. Now they oh, might okay. they might be really old dudes, so we might want to raise the age back <laughs> if we can. I mean, if we find a 45-year-old who's good enough to play for us, that'd be kind of wild. Non-contract. Uh, look for expired. So it's unnecessarily complicated, Boom. but non-contract is technically a different type of contract. <laughs> like, I, it just, I don't know. This game's unnecessarily painful sometimes. But oh, there's 1,100 players right now that don't have a team that we could That's... sign. Do we, we edit more then? Yeah, exactly. But we need a way to narrow that down more. So my favorite way to do this is to go to additional conditions and add a condition in the bottom right of this screen. Of course, yep. Yep. And then there's international, if you scroll down. This is a very this is a deep cut. This is a deep track. And you want international caps. So these are players that have made an international appearance for their country. And then you just add a plus one. Now there's twenty eight. But that's Crazy. So these people have played for their international teams. Yes. Now some of and them and they're like, free to us now. They are, and they're interested in playing for us. And this guy's name is Zaza. Okay, hold on. Is he is he Italian? He's Italian. Click on him. He has eighteen caps for Italy and two goals for Italy. Okay. And his so- last name is Zaza. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I want to scream, serve up some Zaza. When and he, he played Atalanta. Yes. So this guy. I think. Chat knows who he is. I actually don't know who this guy is. My ball knowledge has been exposed. But this is like a known. Oh, he took a. Oh, he's like a, the... he's like a real human. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this is like a real. Well, I mean, he has 18 appearances for Italy. That's no joke. That's yeah, that's for real, I guess. But the issue is we don't know his attributes entirely because of the whole fog of war thing. So wait, like, he played in don't wait. He was at Torino the last what was that, last four five years? Wow. And now he's down to play in Serie C? He's so strong too. I said that a little too meekly, but Yeah, he, that was <laughs> I mean, I just kinda got a little you know, something came in the air, you know, I may need to uh, anyway, <clears throat> anyways, uh, so there's two options when you're looking at a guy that's free, you can offer him a trial, which means he comes and practices with the team. And then we figure out what his attributes are. Or if we're like, this dude's just so good. We already want him, which I think is kind of where we are. Yeah. We can just offer him a contract. But before we do that, go yep. to finances. Cause I don't want to accidentally bankrupt us on the first day. Finances oh, on, this is side? on the left. Yeah. So cool. we have, so our wage budgets on the right. And so is our transfer budget. So we have almost no wage budget available. So go to make budget adjustment under the wage budget. And then slide some of that transfer budget over to the payroll. Oh, hell yeah. How much? Tell me when to stop. Uh, that's probably good. We cool. can work with that. So let's hit the back arrow in the top left and we'll go back to Zaza. And now contract. And we Let's say like, so this is something in FIFA. Okay. 
Is like, let's say we're like, oh, we kind of like Zaza. Can we like favorite him and then come back later? Yes. So you would do that by going to transfer in the top and don't click on it. Just like we're, we're and then there's a thing called shortlist. Add to shortlist. All right, yeah. perfect. That's what I, th okay. Yeah, that's what it's, okay. And we're here. The cool thing is you can create multiple shortlists. So say you want to keep track of one person because their contract's expiring, but another person because they have high potential and you might want them eventually, you can add them to different shortlists. Cool. Um, but for Simone Zaza, I think we just want to sign this guy right away. Yes. Uh, but chat is really on me about checking the league rules, and so I'm going to do that because I think they're trying to tell me something. They usually are. So if you want to check the league rules, go to competitions on the left. This is where we're, we're getting granular, but we're trying to save ourselves. Uh, click on Sirius C, now, Hirone C, whatever that name is. Overview uh, at the top left. Sorry, I this has got to be, like, absolutely hard to watch. No, it's not, th this game, I promise Rules? you, by the time we finish our first season, this will feel very comfortable, but this game is... Mountains of information. Yes, rules. So what we're looking for is the like contract, the registration rules. So we have to scroll down a little bit, a little bit more. Here we are. And yes, those are registration rules. So these rules will dictate what we have to do. So we have to have at least one U19 player. I guess it's just some development rule. We can have 25 players on our team. Okay. Uh, so if we, uh, I would assume we already have 25. We can check that later. So this game would let you go against the rules, then you get in trouble? Yes. Because teams That's do that. That's fucking hilarious. Teams do that in real life, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot that <laughs> Manchester City exists. Yeah. So, like, you can totally break FFP and get suspended and go into administration in this game if you want to. Okay. Some people will do that on purpose and then create a Wait, new coach it, to try and save the team. Would it be this this section, then? Uh, that would be transfer rules. So teams are not allowed to sign non-EU players from abroad. That rule sucks. That means that we can only sign players that are EU-based, basically. It, is that until we get to, like, probably Serie B, I imagine? Yeah. I mean, you can look at the uh, the rules in Serie B if we want, but, you know, what's the point of, like... When we get there, we'll get there. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, teams are not... Uh, so. Actually, in Syria B, they're not allowed to either. And then in Syria, the rules are convoluted, to put it mildly, but you are able to sign players from abroad. If they can get Pulisic over there, then they I'm can. fine with whatever the rules are, to be honest. They can. But he has a Croatian. And at some point, it's like, you know how we have, like, stretch goals? Like, you know how, like, the staff is like, hey, we want you to hit these goals? Yeah. It is a stretch goal of mine at some point in our Catania career okay. to have son play for us that's not a bad stretch goal I, we might he's my be favorite active that. player yeah we might be able to make that happen <laughs> I, at the very least i can promise you we will scout hard for korean wonder kids if we're not able to get son okay we will find ourselves a, a wonderful the korean next son the next son exactly <laughs> all right i'm Oops. done for that Okay, but uh, so the rules are we basically can only sign guys from the eu which zaza fits and he's Italian. A, we, yeah, he is. He's Italian, so it works totally fine. Uh, the rest of the rules are Grand registrations song. open. Uh, clubs can replace a goalkeeper outside the window, can replace a play. Okay. The rest of the rules are really convoluted, and we won't really need. So we can go we're back. We're fine, then. Yeah, we, we were signing Zaza. We're completely fine. So we can go to contract. Unless we have 25 players already, I guess. That would be the one thing. We, there, I'm sure there'll be a player on our team that we think's not good enough that we can. We just we flick can right out. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's do this. Eat him out of there. Zaza. Zaza. How do we contract? Boom. Uh, Approach to sign. Hell yeah, dude! If you ever show me this message again, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> the hell out of here! All right, so exit out of that. There are two screens to this. I want to do the coaching discussions yeah, yeah, yeah. or contract discussions. Cool. Uh, so there are two screens. The first is promises and playing time. So Zaza cool. clearly is way too good to be playing for us. We know that. He yep. also knows that. So his his expectation is he's going to be a star player and play like literally every game. So this is what he came to us with? Yes. Okay, got it. And he wants us to improve our coaching staff and improve our midfielders. We're not going to do that because that's scary and we don't know how to meet that promise. So I remove that? 
remove yeah don't click remove and exclude just remove because that can get a little perilous if you remove and exclude and then he decides the deal breaker is that he needed new midfielders so remove cool. those we're okay with star player at least i am because this guy seems like a baller yeah his last name is zaza exactly so suggest promises on the bottom all right his agent's okay with that we move to the next phase but oh, should i just walk away probably oh no, dear god finalized promises <laughs> yes <laughs> and negotiate contract we're ready cool so this is the financial business end there are a million things you can do here to try to negotiate this contract you have your base salary at the top you have the signing on fee which is basically paid out over the length of the contract you have cool. the agent fee which is a lump sum that goes to the agent and then you have the duration which is how long the contract is so my idea here is he wants about four hundred thousand dollars a year that would put us if you look in the bottom left over our payroll budget limit so we probably don't want to do that what, but and maybe i'm wrong okay that feels like not the craziest thing for him to ask of us no it's not not at all this okay. is entirely reasonable but we're going to try and negotiate in a way that he will take less money got you it always should negotiate so we yeah 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 but i'm saying yeah. like this is a he's not like trying to rail us are there people no. that will just be like are there like more people like people that are just sticklers for no reason yes and the, okay like, cool let's say it's a person that is willing to entertain the offer with you, but they don't really want to play for you. They'll ask for crazy money. And then if you have to give it to them, they'll be like, oh yeah. But this guy clearly does actually want to play for us. This isn't ridiculous. Um, cool. But click the minus next to the salary. We'll just click it a few times. Get it down to like 280. 273 is fine. Uh, it, it, that's a good starting point. Uh, there are a few different things we can add, like performance bonuses at the bottom. So he's asking for a bonus every time he scores a goal. Those season landmark bonuses are like... Wait. Least... That's okay. We already have one. Oh, we're good. Currently yeah. one. Okay. They just had the red thing, so I was like, maybe they are mad at us. It's, all right. It's worth looking at that because that will update you on all your roster rules. But so you, cool. end, like, you have all the bonuses at the bottom. Every time he appears, he gets 3K, whatever. Uh, let's just suggest this offer and see if his agent's a real stickler about it. Okay. See, he went down. So let's just go back to 273 again. Let's try and sauce this guy up a little bit. We're like, bit. you might not have heard us the first time. <laughs> and we just suggested it again? Suggest again, yeah. Okay, now it's orange, which means this is our last go. So oh, go shit. to... If I mess this up, I'm sorry, but let's go to 300-ish, and then that should work. Like, go down to about 300. That, And then go up to the top left where it says negotiable. Click that. And now it's non-negotiable. So this is our final offer. Like he flexed on us and we're flexing on him. There you go. Okay. 300,000 a year for my boy Zaza. Here we go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Simone Zaza. It's not over, but that's a good start. Oh, it's over. It's over. Because we're right. going to walk away. <laughs> This is our Could great you open story, dude. Yeah, what a hot start we'd be off to. I've actually finalized clicked deal it before. Yes, finalized deal. So we've got a an Italian international on the way in. Dang, he kind of made it seem like we were mean to him. Forcing me into making a final decision was a good piece of negotiating on your behalf. Why would he give me a tip like that? <laughs> You're just already a pro. You actually exit talks. Yes, you actually form relationships with agents over over the course of the game too. So like, oh, that's pretty cool. Certain agents will hate you, so they'll give you worse contract offers, and then certain agents like love you. And if you become really famous, then certain agents will be in awe of you, which is the best. Uh, that's amazing. You can exit talks. Yes. Okay, sweet. We did it. We did. Look at him. Look at this handsome man. Simone with Zaza. the black silhouette. <laughs> He'll have his face soon. So do we want to sign any more players? We can try. I don't know if there's I mean, any. do you want do you want to? Do we have more budget? Uh we don't, but we can push our budget over and then try and balance it out. What I would do is go to squad and look at contracts and see who maybe is on a big contract that we could get rid of that's like not cool. so just sort by salary. Boom. Oops. And so it looks like our highest paid players are all our best players. 
Except for Silvestri. I don't know who the Silvestri guy is. Tommaso. Oh, uh, let me. He's uh. Oh, but he's not bad though. He's a he's a good old center back, thirty one year old dude. Hard headed. Yeah, kind of. Well, actually, he only has six aggression. The dude's kind of, kind of soft. Oh, but he is uh, certainly got two left feet and not very technically skilled at all. He's just a defensive guy. I, he's getting a little overpaid, but Zaza is about to be the highest paid player on our team, which I think we're okay with. But it's going to be interesting. Okay, so now I should go to. Well, if you, okay, this is your this is your thing for the for the sake of this argument. Okay, boom. I'm Zealand now. Are yeah. you bringing on more people, or are you just working with what we got now? I'm bringing on more people. Okay, let's do it. How let's do I it. change the budget again? Uh, we don't need to change because you can go over a little bit right now. Got it. Uh, the way it is. Scouting. So go to scouting because right, we're signing free players. So go to players at the top. But players we want to range. at least look at these other dudes. Sort by Got age. It. I'd sort by age. There, yeah, that column right there. Ooh, look at Korich. Yeah. Isn't he playing that midfield that we need to yes. strengthen? Yeah, he is. Now I can hear the wheels turning. That's and yeah, so click on anti Korich. Where was he oh he was uh he was on Roma's team last year. This guy's uh, would probably be an excellent pickup. Zero appearances, but he did he was on the was on the team. He was there. He has four appearances for Croatia, which, as far as we're concerned, in the third division of Italy, this guy's probably a god. That means that he is, as a center mid, played alongside Modric. Correct. That's he, crazy. He has Modric's phone number, which that's good enough to get in our team. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, all it takes to be a Catanian. So what do I do again? Should, I mean, are we into him? Is it just that simple? It can be, but let's trial him. Let's make sure that he doesn't actually suck. So go to transfer and go to offer trial. And what you want to do is two weeks. Because if he's if he's with us for two weeks, then we'll know everything about him by the time the trial's done. Okay. So we do that and get rid of all them fancy messages. Oh, I forgot to click don't show again. They're fine. Oh, he has 18 to 20 flair. This dude's a creative genius. He's a Michelangelo on the pitch. Mm. Tasty. That, that just means he'll do a couple of absolutely nuts things every year, and he's going to be really fun to watch, which I'm down. So let's go back and see if there's anybody else that we should trial. So we can't sign the Ecuadorian guy or the Gambian because they're not EU. As much mm -hmm. as I'm down for any Gambian. It's not even a gamble. It was kind of a stretch. Sorry. I've uh this is silly. This. I, every time you say something like that, I do this like full face zoom on the <laughs> stream. Just look at the camera. I guess they might have second nationality. It's worth checking. You can click oh, on like true. Brian and then go to overview and then there's a drop down to information in the top uh top Holy left shit. of the player screen. Overview. And then information. Information. Uh so no, he's just Ecuadorian. Uh nations eligible for is what you're looking at. So we we can't get Mr. Brian Cabezas. Got, Got it. But this Gambian, I just know. Watch this. Oh hell yeah. Information. England. Oh. Well. It was worth was a try, kidding. you know. Just kidding. What about this Danish guy? We've got Riza Dermisi. That D Denmark's in the EU. My geopolitical tutorial. He played as Lazio. Uh, oh, he played I, in Syria a bit. Yeah, so the reason we probably know these guys is because they've played in Italy at some point. And that's why I we know keep them. forgetting that. Yeah, but I, I that's more that's you know, he has twenty three appearances for Denmark. Let's trial him too, if you remember how. Dude, of course can, I do. Wait, don't tell me. Transfer. Nope. All for trial. Two weeks. Yes. Cook. Do not ever show me that again. Cook. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. I'm learning. Let's go. You're natural. Go to schedule so we can start to continue on the left there. Boom. All right, so we have our friendlies all set up at the beginning of the season because we're like a month out from the start of the year. Cool. Um, we don't need to do anything with that. I just wanted to make sure you had friendlies. Now go to training. It's going to be a scary screen, but I only want you to do one thing here. We can skip that. Skip, right? Yep. That's fine. Now go to calendar at the top. 
<laughs> there's this thing called a uh, match review. So after every match, I just want you to right click on an empty space that says rest and just go to match prep and match review. So cool. like you have a match. So like right bottom, here, for right? instance. Yes, right. And then you Wait. would click like where it says physical, just right click it. Go match preparation. Match review. Cool. So what that does is build like team cohesion. It builds vibes, essentially. You build oh, perfect. team cohesion. So after every match, you just want to have a nice So then right review. here, I'm hitting yep. the match review type thing. Boom. Match preparation. Cook. Match review. Okay, is there no, there's no scrolling. There's, oh, wait. Uh, arrowing. Boom. Yeah. So we can just match review. We're just going to do this for all our preseason friendlies, and then we can actually start to continue if we want. Almost missed that bad boy. Boom. All right. The training the game gives you is like, okay. It, it, it's not, you, you can win the Champions League without changing the training, is what I'll say. You can leave it there. As long as you're adding match reviews. You don't have to really, do the entire season. We're already. Oh, my bad. Uh, you're, uh, we're here. It'll, it'll pop up like in your inbox and be like, hey, do you want to change training? And then you can just do it there. It's like much more convenient, much easier. Um, okay. Somebody says, I beg you to trial Zuccolini. So. Best thing about playing football manager on stream. Oh, we're Some, gonna have a lot of backseat. Yes. So well, nothing wrong with it, but there's always gonna be somebody shouting a player that they're like, yo, this dude was sick in my save. You should okay. try this. So since since they did just bring it up. We can uh yeah. You uh, the fun thing is you just go to the top bar where it says scouting, like all the way at the top, and you can actually type in that bar, even above that. Just type his name in. Zuccolini. No, you're good, Mamba. I was just saying. So that's, I mean, the dude's sick. He's pretty. He is Argentinian, though. We can't do it. Does he have a second nationality? He Ooh. might. Um, overview, information. Yes, he's Italian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trial him. Trial I that lost man. Him. All right. Now I won't read those out loud anymore. That way, Zealand stops texting me all upset. Because he's, he's spamming me right now. Pretty upset. Yeah, no, it's it's getting ugly, but that's okay. I mean, it, we, we were, it, it, our friendship was bound to fall apart at some point. Uh, it's okay that it happened now. Almost. Okay, now. we did it. <laughs> he's, he's coming in on trial. All right, I'm going to ask you two things. Do you want to do your staff or not? I don't even know. Uh, what does just, that mean? Just a question. Uh, so, like, we can set up your coaching staff so that you have uh, coaching, like, you have your full coaching staff and everything. Or, I know, chat, this is very un-me. We can just leave it. What do you? What would you do right now? I would set up the coaching staff. But I also want you to get into the game, and I'm very aware that the first day on Football Manager is always just, like, you have to do a million things, and it kind of... You know what, though? It's... Ex I, I don't know... If that's like an insecurity of yours, hundred percent. But that's exciting to me. I love this stuff so far. I'm actually genuinely loving it. But I'd be down to play a game and then do the staff. Okay, we can try and get to the first game of the season, and then we can set up staff and stuff. But we have more than a month to go before we get to the first game of the season. And you oh, have an important uh, you have an important press conference that you have to do with the local media before then. So is that what can, this must respond thing is? Yeah, click that. Uh, and it'll take you to whatever you need. Oh, it's your squad selection. Oh, that's just the 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 rules that we already looked up because we're geniuses. Oh, duh. Yeah. So we can con you can just hit space bar. It'll continue. It'll make life easier. So then everything that you need will come in through this inbox, which is great. So your social feed, it's just subscribed you to like the Ballon d'Or stuff and whatever. That's fine. You don't need to change it. Um, this is your monthly staff meeting. So you you can attend this. It's in the bottom right. Oh, there you go. So this Yo, is your, up, your coaching staff that we haven't changed yet, but you can see like your assistant coach has come to you and said that Francesco Rapasarda, um, although it could cause unrest, he is a better choice as captain. Uh, click move on. We'll decide the captain once we know who's actually on our team. 
no sense in pissing everybody off if we don't know who's going to be there. Uh, yeah. So this is some recommended training. Um, we can go ahead and click do it on the right side if you want to. Uh... This? Yeah. There's also accept all suggestions on the bottom if you feel like. So we should just do all these? Uh, yeah, because we don't really know our players, which means the coaching staff's going to know them better than we do. Got it. So we accept all suggestions? Uh, this one is oh, wait. for traits. Traits are a little more. Uh, traits are a little. Traits are tricky because there's attributes, which is like how good players are at stuff. And then traits are like what they tend to do. And what Got players it. tend to do can be a little trickier. So the first one they're saying Landonetti wants to play one twos. I, who doesn't love that? So you can click start training on the top one. Um, and Landonetti, I think, is one of our midfielders, and everybody loves a one two. Where something like stick to the middle of the pitch when dribbling, that can actually hurt you if you do that on a player that you don't want to do that. And I don't really know what Milos Bocic is, like what we're going to want him to do, so I would just leave mm. it. To move um, on. The third oh, one's a fullback that the trait is get forward whenever possible. That's sick on fullbacks. So go ahead and click start training on that one. And then move cool. on. Most of these aren't that detailed. So this is, yeah, we don't care about this. It's coaching assignments, but we're going to overhaul our staff eventually. So just so he's, accept? Uh, sure, accept. Oh, develop weaker foot. Want to do that on both these guys? Yeah. So, you know, just. You can, either way, it's fine. Uh, cool. Oh, Gabriel Popovich doesn't speak Italian, so we need to send him on a language course so he can learn yeah, Italian. Yeah, we should do that. Communicate with everybody. 19. Yes. That costs $25,000. It's a very expensive Duolingo. Um, <laughs> so, if you do it on a ton of players when you're a really small club, you can. And this happens to people that like just start football manager. You bankrupt your club, sending them on language courses. That's hilarious. Yes. And that you is, turn into a college uh, instead of a. <laughs> yeah. And they like miss certain training because they're at the language course too. It's a whole mess. What is it's not even suggesting anything. It's oh, just move giving, on. Yeah. So it's just giving you a uh, update on his potential, like how good they think he could be. And this is potential hirees for your staff, but we're going to do that later. So just move on. And then it's the same thing on this page. And this is medical team vacancies, so move on. We'll do that eventually, and we'll do that eventually as well. So we're done. So you have, a, you have a staff meeting once a month where they just recommend things. It helps you stay on top of stuff. That's basically yeah, it. Yeah, you were 100% correct. If that happened weekly, I'd shoot myself in the head. I've gotten close. That's um, that, that's your like weekly update on training that it gives you. But Okay. Do you I have to do my um Your what? My uh meeting or something? Don't I have like a It'll come up tomorrow. So these are our trialists. You just have to accept them in the bottom right if you still want them to join us. Oh, you're so right. So the good thing is you could like hit accept and then hit space and it'll take you to the next unanswered inbox message. Oh my bad. If you ever want to No, bad. I'm just trying to help you. Dude, I'm sorry. Okay. I well, I'll never forgive you, but it's okay. So z th this is giving you the beginning star rating on all three of those guys, by the way. Oh, got it. So Zuccolini's looking okay. Shout out to the person that recommended him. <laughs> Next person was Cor Corich, looking a little better. What about Distermisi? Oh, he looks. What are you seeing in the difference between them? Oh, Look just the, these stars. The stars. Yeah. It looks like so Riza Dermisi is either an important player or like a superstar for us. Based off our coaching staff's ability to judge players, which might be terrible. I don't know. We haven't looked at it yet. Uh set pieces induction. Let's do that. Cool. This got just overhauled in yeah. This got overhauled in the game this year. It's so much easier. You literally just click the way you want to play. And it'll set it all up for you. We should just listen to staff preference for now. Uh, sure, yeah. Zonal marking's fine. This is pure philosophy. Do you want to put people on the posts on corners or not? Near post. Yeah. It saved us enough. Um, all efforts will be focused on defending the box. A counterattack's fun, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. Spicy. Living on the edge. 
And Carly Jacobs lives on the edge. Should have known. Where's the ball going? Okay. How many players do you want to leave back defending during attacking set pieces? Yeah. Oh. Okay. A man, a man of culture selecting the end swinger. Respect. That's, yeah. I feel like that's the way to go. So okay. you, th this screen gets really detailed and you can make adjustments, but it will set up, it set up your set pieces exactly the way you wanted. Okay. Uh, already. Sweet. We did it. We did it. I'm a uh, genius. And you can actually make multiple routines and change the frequency that each routine happens. You can get as Got gran it. granular as you want. But we do have that beast that loves to do throw-ins. So I kind of want to set up our throw-ins. Because we have that one okay, guy so who can chuck the ball. So, so I should so exit this, though, yeah, and just listen to you? Th th those are just tutorials. And then just take control of it, since we're cool. domineering. Uh, set pieces there where it says corners, right underneath where you are right now. There's like a oh. drop down. And then we Got should it. be able throw -ins. to throw-ins attacking third. Long throw, Hell baby. Hell yeah, brother! Yes, sir. We got our. Uh, is, is that it, is, is it that me? the guy? That's uh, our goat. Oh no, it's uh, David Bush. Yeah, but he's on the bench right now. He's got the sub thing on. But oh, it's all right. Just when he's in the because this is like a tier thing. So Oops. when he's in the game, he'll be taking them first. Oh, so this is final already. This is already set up correctly. Yeah. Uh, you have okay? Cool. Uh, actually. I don't know if we're big enough as a club. We will be soon, but I don't know if we're big enough as a club to have a set piece coach, but you can actually have a set piece coach who their That's ability, sick. their ability level determines how well they organize the stuff. Uh, so this Perfect. is set up a basic long throw. I don't think we need to change this. He's going to chuck it towards the two tallest dudes on your team on the near post. And they're just going to try and <laughs> they're just going to cross their fingers and throw themselves in the air. Yes. All right. We are, uh, set. You're gonna have your press conference in a day, but after that, we'll be moving towards our first match of the season. Sweet. Do I just do this now? Oh uh, yeah. That's uh how you continue, and that's we already press did space. that. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Oh, we do need to do one thing because we don't want to manage friendlies unless you want to manage friendlies, but that's usually. Of course not. Yeah. What uh, the <laughs> hell? <laughs> how? Do, what do we do? You go to staff. Uh, there and then responsibilities and then it's a drop down to match. Uh, it's near the bottom and then uh, delegate the friendly matches. Boom. Now Michelle Capola, who I guess is our assistant coach, whatever. We should Confirm. Re whenever we hire an actual assistant coach, we're gonna rename him Zealand, and it's gonna be great. I'm down for that. Yes. We could you could change somebody's name. Oh yeah, I that's. Amazing. I've made the picture of my assistant coach a horse before because they, I mean, look, 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 oh, they, they earned it. They earned it. But you okay. can, you can, <laughs> the game is very modable. Uh, um, one more thing though. Right. Don't we have to change the starter for Z like, doesn't Zaza need to be on the squad? Correct. But he hasn't signed yet. Oh, my bad. I thought so. They, well, he agreed. He said the contract looked agreeable. Now he's deciding whether he wants to play for us. Okay, so this is code of conduct. Cool. Fairly self-explanatory how much you find people for getting sent off, missing training, so on. Did Player, they kind of set it up in a way where this is like, right? Totally fine. You can hit confirm and not worry about it, yeah. Uh, but you, okay. it is possible for players to miss training uh, and like go clubbing the night before a game and get in trouble and stuff. Like that is... Uh, Neymar. A contributing, yeah. I, I've been I, I've had some wars with some players who've also turned into horses, but that's just it's just something that happens. It's part of the part of the competition. So this is your squad dynamics. This is a part of the game that you usually don't have to pay attention to, but if you mess it up, it will actually destroy your entire team, which, you know, it's nice, fun, and not ominous at all. This is the vibe. The vibe meter. So right now your vibe is very good, which is actually fortunate. Sometimes you inherit a club, the vibe is not very good. <clears throat> well, they um, did just promote, so maybe that's yes, why. Yes, that is 100% why. And you have your leadership I'm just skip support. This? Uh, yeah, you can skip it. There's a dynamic section on the left that if you click on, uh, you can see like all the dynamics detail. Uh, cool. you, in, there's cohesion, support, the hierarchy. There are even social groups. 
So like when you sign a player, they're not in a social group for a while, and sometimes their personality is too different, and they don't mesh with the team, and so they don't play as well. Like it's as granular as you would expect. Uh, players' targets and promises is the next inbox message, which is something that also could be tricky. Okay, I'm locked in. So Should I introduce inch. myself to the squad? Uh, oh yes, do that. Yes. I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself as the new Catania manager. I'd like to introduce myself as your new head coach and answer any questions that you may have, particularly if you're not familiar with me. I feel like that's the... I'm just going to go with my gut on these unless it's, like, super important. No, you got this one. You just tell me when I fuck up. Uh, it'll be obvious, but you, you, you got it. Your reputation is sure to increase if you meet expectations. I look forward to playing under your leadership. <laughs> 2000s text based game like <laughs> so you can sidestep this stuff um i have nothing else to talk about actually so yeah you can just <laughs> if, should, I, should I, I just do that you you can because the end the, the, the thing you could do here is like oh i want to talk about what we're going to do in serious e but then if you set the wrong expectation they're all going to be like wow you're not being ambitious enough or wow you're being too ambitious and then they all get mad got it so yeah. sidestepping is never the wrong choice then you're done you've introduced yourself they know who you are you'll get a minor <laughs> boost to their and we're all encouraged frankly yep. Huge. all right nice little increase to the morale across the board w Huge. now get out of my sight you fucks all right, you have no promises. That's actually great. Perfect. So that's your first... Oh. Oh. Was that Mbappe moving? No, he's renegotiating with PSG. Uh, here's your press conference. I'm going to let you just sail away with this one. <laughs> At attend a press conference. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do this. You don't even say a word. No, you got it. <clears throat> How does it feel to be the new Catania head coach? I don't wish to discuss this. Oh, gestures? Smile warmly. I'm pleased to be given the chance to manage this club. I want to get down to business as quickly as possible. To be a new head coach, and I know that while I'll need to be patient, I can bring success to this club. There's no escaping the scale of the challenge here. No, definitely not that. I don't think I can hide my excitement. I'm so happy right now. That feels like not what I'd want my coach to say. <clears throat> I'm pleased to be given the chance to manage this club. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Boom. Yeah! Was there something about Catania in particular that made you sit and sit up and pay attention? Oh, this club is absolutely dripping with potential. I can't to see, wait to see what's possible. Open arms. <laughs> was there was there anything that gave you reason to think this job might not have been the right one for you? Um I'm going to shake my head while oh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile warmly while saying this. <clears throat> I thought shaking my head would be like a fun, like, nah, dude, this is it. You've taken this job without being able to speak Italian. <laughs> Wouldn't it be tough to coach the side until you get grips with the language? Look, soccer is a universal language. Wait, if I call it soccer, are they going to make fun of me? I don't think it's as much of an issue as some people will have you believe. Nah, I'm just going to. I'm going to op open arms this one. You've taken a step into the role of head coach despite ju being just 24 years of age. Critics have suggested that you will struggle to command respect in a locker room that contains players older than you are. What do you say to that? Look, I'm not going to agree with them. I'm going to shake my head. I don't think age is important. The best way to earn the respect of players is winning games, and I'm confident I can do that. Boom! What made you take this job? 
Am I doing good so far? Yeah, you're you're on you're on fire. This press conference is dripping with potential. <laughs> that was that was crazy to me. Um, what made you take this job? I feel like I already answered that. Uh, we all want to keep making progress towards the very highest levels, and this is the perfect environment for you, for me to further myself personally and professionally. Just to work here and further my professional. I'm a naturally ambitious person, so find a club like that. Dream come true. I feel like that's it. What's outward outstretched? Yeah, I'll just do that. Boom. Boom. Catania clearly have lofty ambitions, and hiring you is said to be the latest step in meeting them. Are you the right person to deliver on the apparent promise, especially in the short term? Look. No? Open arms? Yeah, I'm confident. Do you think the squad has enough quality? Oh, how do I tell them? Now that I got my boy Zaza, can I type that one in? I don't. You, you can add additional comments. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> talk. Some people talk mad trash to the media. Really? The Wait, how do they pick up? Say, like, if I were to like, say, I, I The funny thing is, they they totally can't. You can just say something heinous, and then they'll report you saying something just absolutely off the wall. They'll be like, "Yeah, he was uh, upset about." <laughs> Zaza will be the key to love, life, and the pursuit, the prostit, the, the pursuit of happiness. Yes. Do you have any good sense yet of how the Catania players feel about your appointment? I feel like they already like me, right? Yeah, they do. Sweet, we did it. Was just fine? Wow. What the fuck? Wow. I feel like I did so good. You should go to war with the Italian media after that. You should never be. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I did so good. That was a good, it was a good press conference. Now the press conferences can get a little laborious at times. So you can pass certain ones off to your staff if you ever want to. Uh, we can just do that. But you also can... You can handle them. There, there, there honestly won't be too many because we're in the third division of Serie C. There just aren't a lot of press conferences going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, they'll just let your assistant coach handle that. Your Perfect. reserve team is playing your senior team right now. Where are we? Should be in your inbox if you wanted to go. Because there's oh. usually a million friendlies every day. You beat Pretty your game. reserves by four. That would it, like do we just like reset? We're like, all right, let's pick a new team if we lost to our reserves. <laughs> you just promote your reserves and demote your first team to be. That's actually a good point. Easy. So now you just kind of continue until something hits your inbox, or we get to like match day. Everything's in place now. Oh, you have okay. a training camp. Yeah. So this is all the information that I'm talking about. You can get as granular as you want. That's all the info from that friendly match. If you wanted to break it down. Like nah. passing patterns and everything. Yeah, you do. Uh, it's a it's the first friendly, and we're still learning the players, so no need. Is what, this a big deal? Nope. One of your mem one of the members of your coaching staff is pursuing a bigger coaching license. Is what that is. And nice that's a training update on one of the players in your team, which we can just kind of leave. And then this is a training camp. So you guys are going on vacation. Well, we're going on vacation to Italy, somewhere else in Italy. Where is this? Uh. It just says Italy. I okay. We're <laughs> maybe we're just going right. to the Italian mainland or something. So we have to pick a squad uh, to go attend the training camp. So let's respond. Okay. And then so the training camp is usually it's clubs with more money than us, but the club is essentially paying for us to go somewhere and train for two weeks. And you know, like clubs do this in real life; they'll go to like the UAE and just play mm -hmm. for a couple weeks. Uh, and so you usually want to include all of your starters and then a few of your talented youth players. So let's go with reports so that we know who's good. Um, the, of, course, the selection. of course, I go to reports. Yes, of course. Yeah, obviously. Where you know, as you know, where selection info is in the drop down arrow. Uh, the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Yeah, like you already you knew that. Uh, you yeah. can sort by ability then, and then just kind of add everybody that you that that's good. 
Uh, so he's on trial, which is why he's green. But we can go ahead and bring him because we're probably going to want to sign him at some point. Uh, cool. And then just start bringing everybody else. You can highlight multiple and check over as well, but this is. Should I bring these two also? Yeah, why not? 40 is a lot. Remember, our team's only going to be 25 guys by the time we kind of boil it down. Oh, so why don't I just bring everybody? You count it, you can. You really can just bring everybody. But you also have youth teams, which we haven't even talked about or looked at yet. So there's going to be some young. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be some young players. If you want to see them, go to the filtered thing in the top right. Uh, and then you just add the U21 and U18 teams. Oh, you only. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Can I bring them? <laughs> yeah, you might as well, but you only have five players in both of your U teams combined. combined, which is wild. Actually, I guess That's I don't insane. have. They're all U18, I imagine, right? Yeah. Um... Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you're working with. All right. Okay. Confirm. Uh, yes. Now we're bringing everybody. Do do never show me that message again. Life is not complete until you get rid of all of those tutorial pop-ups <laughs> that continuously bombard you in this game. So just hammer the space bar. We're gonna. We'll see if we can get to the first match today. I think we might be able to. I'd love that. Match. Yeah, and just see if we see if we can pick up a win to start our our career. Now this. Oh no! What? Zaza. We're not the only. What happened? We're not the only team that's offered Zaza a contract. I can see it. Birmingham City. Isn't that fucking uh, Tom Brady? <laughs> That's the second division of England, yeah. Tom Brady. Tom Brady just offered Simone Zaza a contract. We're, we're in trouble. We, okay, we could try to renegotiate with him, so click on him. Because I'm assuming they're going to offer him more money than we are. So we go to contract, and then we can change the contract offer. We're like, look, bro, we're back. Uh... So suggest this offer again, and he might change it to what he would expect. Oh, he's still, we still might win. Okay. We'll finalize and just go ahead. Exit I, talks. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if we'll win, but the, he basically is just going to have to decide which team he wants to play for. The other team that offered guy? him was, uh, so your, we have your staff responsibilities set up to just sign your youth team staff. Oh, automatically. Got it. So they, oh, just, so he's in. Yeah. They just brought in a physio for your youth team. Cool. But yeah, we don't. We, those messages will come in, but we're not going to handle signing members of our youth staff. That's it's for the true maniacs. Old groin. Didn't Ow. ask, bro. Keep that to yourself. Uh, that is your okay. weekly training update. So it gives you the guys that trained the best and the guys that trained the worst. It's just a little information to tuck away. Nothing you need to react on, really. Perfect. Uh, recruitment meeting. Great. Attend. Attend that? Yeah. Here we go. Meetings. Every meeting. All at the beginning of a save. Uh, so this you can just kind of skip. This is just a squad planner screen that I don't even really use. Skip to expiring contracts? Yes. So these are the guys whose contracts are running out at the end of this season. Now, if you were Manchester United... This would be super alarming, but since we're a smaller club, basically everybody's going to turn over every year. So it's mm -hmm. not super weird that all these guys are on the last year of their contract. We can just kind of continue right now because we'll decide who we want to keep and who we want to get rid of. And then this is a, something called recruitment focuses, uh, which this is the scouting that you set up for your scouts to do. They're recommending stuff to you, but mm -hmm. we can actually go do it better than that. Cool. If, we, if and, we're feeling it. So end meeting. And yeah, all right. Re recruitment meetings are usually quick. We'll set up the scouting after we play our uh, our first match because it's really going to be stuff that helps us down the road, not right now. Got it. So that guy's signing new youth team staff members. Right. Now I get the space bar. Yes, I'm here uh, with the space bar. Now, now. Now, now you start to hammer the space bar. All right. I'm like lightheaded. I feel like I've been explaining stuff nonstop for like two hours. How are you finding it? Like, actually, I'm loving this, dude. I like this is my shit. I'm so excited. You're vibing. All right. Whoa. I feel like that's a lot of 
season tickets. That's for a his... ton for the third division. Yeah. This club's got great support. Like, if we actually go to a game and win the Champions League, it's probably going to be a banging atmosphere when we go there. Yeah, I saw the stadium that they have. It's, like, actually, like, crazy. Yeah. All right, do I skip this? Uh, yes, this is an induction to something that I you don't really need to care about. It's your youth academy stuff, but since you have mm. five youth academy players, none of whom have very high potential, it's just not, not something we need to deal with right now. Someone said check media odds. Oh, like does the media oh, have like opinions yeah. on yeah. how good we're going to do? Good thought. That's fucking cool. Uh, competition. I always forget to do this. Go to this, click Sirius C. And then overview, and it drops down, and there's like a season preview, uh, right under profile at the top. My bad. Yeah, you're good. We're project. Oh, we're third in the betting odds to win the league. So basically, these people are morons. Yeah, they they have no idea what kind of game we have. They don't Absolutely even know. Done. Oh, it's because they don't know that we have Zaza. Yeah. Well, Z oh. dude, if, if Zaza just needs to pick us, and then we're on the move. Whoa! What is all this? That's the news screen. It's just stuff happening around the world. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's actually kind of sick. So you can you know, you know, can just keep track of the Premier League table on what the, the right fuck? or whatever. La Liga. Um, oh, okay. It just yeah. threw me off. But you can just hammer a uh, hammer space bar. Sorry, chat. I've been so into explaining. I haven't, I haven't been paying enough attention to you. How, chat, how are you finding this so far? No. What? No. Oh. No. Damn it. Tom. Tom Brady stole our uh, Tom Brady stole our striker. He's gone. God damn it, Tom Brady! I thought we were cool. It's. I think I know what it is. What, 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 what was it? Wait a second! It just saved. Should we go back? <laughs> and offer him a little bit more money. You've just you've just uncovered. The it's called save scumming, and it is like the controversy in football managers. Like before a big match, sometimes people will save, and then sometimes if they happen to lose that big match on penalties or something, their computer just happens to accidentally get turned off, and then they're able to kind of replay the match from that point. Um. Well, why did he say no? Let's read that. We've been informed that he, no hesitation. It was straightforward for him because they offered an impressive salary compared to us. Well, that's insulting. I mean, are we giving up on this? Yeah. Save scumming to me always ruins it a little bit because it like it. There's no permanent. Yeah, because like anything. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the point then? Okay. Yeah. But that, it sucks that we didn't get that guy because he looked like he was going to be really good. Oh, that's well, but we could go back to the player search and see if we can find another guy. That's we good. need to find our Zaza, to we be need honest. To find our Zaza. So I, I feel like we should just do that really quick. Yeah. So really quick, by the way, players uh, in range. Oh, of course. You could uh, go to edit search in the top right and just look for strikers too. Look at that position map. You could just click striker, like the the position on the map. There you go. Cool. And then we can click OK. So there's four guys. Um, <laughs> they're all a little older, but I think Montenegro's at least signable for us. So maybe we can try the 30-year-old, Rajevic. He's not as good. He's it, uh, Look, we can't force a Zaza. <laughs> we can't but force a Zaza. Check out uh, Prajevic, the Serbian. Oh, he's a... Uh, He's a large lad, you know. He's a uh, he's six three, hundred eighty pounds. Ooh. All right, you're only two inches shorter than me. <laughs> Lord, and then there's the other option on that list is Shane Long, who is thirty seven but used to play in the Prem. So, holy shit, tremendous meme potential. He has like a million caps for Ireland. Bro's a whole city legend. We can offer him Just a kidding. trial. He only made 15 appearances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, okay. I'll offer him a trial. Let's see what Shane Long's got in those 36-year-old legs. 
Can we let, let's offer Pryovich and the um, Montenegro guy a trial too? Just see if we can find a free star striker who happens to exist. Um, and we're allowed to do all these dudes. Yeah, you can do up to thirty trials at a time. It really. I'm in like within own. like hi hiring them and stuff. Oh yeah, I think. Sir, the, the, the Balkans is always a little weird with EU stuff because they're not technically in the EU, but certain leagues allow them to be signed anyways. Um, we'll really, like, if we go to a contract offer, it'll tell Dude, us. Dude, Jesus what Christ, what are these dudes doing over here? Uh, well, Bro hurt his PP. Bro <laughs> hurt his PP. Maybe they are going clubbing. They were having a good time in the locker room. Oh, wait. I'm just going to skip this, right? They have one-day injuries. I feel like... Uh... Wait, I just heard what you said, by the way. That was awesome. Uh, yes, he's going to be here. He's going to be here. And Shane Long. Easy. Screw them. I. They are our new direct rivals. We should schedule. <laughs> Next year, we'll schedule a friendly against Birmingham City. We'll just run them over. Okay, so oh, wait, Long, we should look at these dudes. Actually, somehow Shane Long is still the best one of the three. Okay. According to the initial report that we got. Another guy sure. got hurt, by the way. Surely a groin injury. Oh, calf. Brother got a, a tight calf. Happens. The preseason training is usually pretty intense. Little team bonding exercise. I feel like they already did that with all that <laughs> groin injury. How do you think they this got is hurt? ridiculous? Uh, yeah, this is. You guys are just out of shape. They'll get in. They'll, they'll get in shape. They'll be. Well, they'll I saw be. all of them had like low sharpness. I don't know what that would. Yeah, that's what the preseason is uh, designed to to correct. So there's like actual fitness. Oh, dude, our trials are coming fitness. to an end. That's okay. That means we'll find out how good they are exactly. Like, all of their attributes will just be clear immediately, you know what I mean? Okay. Wow, good job. We love that. Yeah. My boy's training. It's usually, like, the training's usually important when you're looking at young players that are developing. You're like, okay, we need you to be better or something. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, how long was he hurt? Oh, one to three days. I don't care. Yeah. All those muscle injuries were really small. Like all those groin injuries, they're bouncing back. With I feel like that's that shit I wouldn't even uh -huh. tell my <laughs> my coach. Like, why do we need to know about, hey, hey, Carly Jacobs, I actually hurt my groin a little. Like, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, do we like the zucchini? Well, click on him. We know exactly how good he is now. Uh, so if we... Oh. Okay. A lot of red going on over here. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. He, I, I've got to move your head to be able to see that. But he has... Uh, oh, he didn't train well. He's not a good scorer, which is fine. Competitive streak just means this. Uh, our, our boy's going to pick up a few more cards than maybe he needs to. He's weak. Oh, he's unathletic. Oh, he's injury real risk high. Yeah. All right, well, that's because his sharpness is low. He just needs to go oh. through like a preseason of training and stuff. Um, gotcha. This dude has, how does this dude have an appearance for Argentina? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> the team missed their flight, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, they like they picked a local dude up off the street. They're like, "Hey, can you help out with this? Just one game, be fine." Anybody? Is there anybody here that owns cleats? He didn't even meet that requirement. They had to, they had to give him some. Yeah. Uh, Is anybody fit a size ten and a half? <laughs> 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 he, he was an eleven, but he just made it work. Uh, yeah. Anti Koric. Uh, oh, he's better. This is the guy that we were excited about, I think. Yes. This is the okay. guy we were excited about. So he is, uh, if you look at his attributes, which this whole game A good Serie B around, player. Yes. He is clearly a stud. Um, cool. And if you get comfortable looking at the attributes, you can see his dribbling and his first touch are sublime. 
That's, you know, top level stuff. His flair is 18 out of 20. And if you ever end oh. up with some free time or just want to click through stuff, you can hover over each of the attributes and it will read out to you what that affects. Yeah. Okay. Like how that happens. If it's not self-explanatory, like if you're looking at concentration and you're like, well, what's that going to have to do with anything? It'll kind of just tell you. Um, this dude's a little dumb for a midfielder, but he's also a good, he's a pretty good athlete who's got, he's got, he's got skills. He's like, uh, one of those guys that dribbles the ball in the street for money, but he doesn't actually know how to play. Like, but this works. Let's off from a contract. As much as, as, much as I design. dumped on this guy, he'll, he'll be a really good player. If we he's like him. a fucking moron, like a pretty much an ape. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sign him. The wor the wor the worst one that happened to me was I um so I'll like start a save of the new team. Important Ooh. player is fine. I don't know if we want to make him the vice captain though. Yeah. It's just one of those. I was kind of thinking that. I know. am I crazy or like maybe I'm thinking uh that would be bad for the rest of the team. They'd be upset. You are not crazy at all. That would be an issue for the rest of the team. Okay. I'm gonna remove and then I'm just gonna walk away. I I shouldn't because I know you're joking, but I have a heart attack every time you say that. So I feel like I'm not going to stop you fast enough. Like, just uh, uh, wait. So I suggest uh, this. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Finalize yeah. promises. And to the contract. Okay, so he, he already is feral if he thinks we're paying him that. He is. And so, what do we say to people that ask for a certain amount of money? We're giving we say, you how about this much? <laughs> yeah. We're giving you a lot less. So here, you want to you want to really fleece this guy? Because there's a way that we can do that. Yeah. We're not going to get relegated, right? Because we're too talented. There's no way we get relegated. Mm -hmm. So go to add clause. And there's a thing called a relegation release clause towards the bottom. Zero dollars. If we get relegated, he can leave for free. Cool. That's awesome. And but... What that does is it makes them feel a lot more comfortable, so they'll accept the lower amount of salary because they That's know awesome. he, he knows if we go down, he can just leave. That's um, perfect. So let's we lower the salary even more. We you know we th also this agent has a ton of patience, so we can negotiate all day with this person. Two hundred. Uh, one ninety eight is fine. Just give it a shot. It looks better with the one starting it. Two years. Yeah, if we do one year, we can't do the relegation release clause, and the dude's 26, so he's probably not going to get worse while he's with us. He's right in the prime of his career. 286 is crazy, and yeah. this guy needs to be put down. Like the rabid animal he is if he thinks we're going to give his client 280. I just realized I can't say this agent's name if my life depended on it. Lots of Zs I going on. He got two uh, double Zs. <laughs> Bro fell asleep, they fell asleep what? while they were writing his name. <laughs> what in the Italy is going on here? Bro, that was the worst <laughs> joke, dude. I... That was bad. I'm sorry. They fell asleep while writing his name. Was it, was a, it was a sleepy day at the name. hospital. Um, oh all right. God. Okay. Oh, I almost <clears> clicked. <throat> I actually almost clicked walk away. Uh, we're doing 208 then. Yeah, it's, you know? it's good. Easing back and forth. Uh, they're I going mean, down, but slowly. Just go to 208 again. Just strong arm them. What's up? Oh, they're going down? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What the hell is up? Birmingham's like, hmm. Yeah. We like Croatians, too. That's what they're doing. Okay. Uh, we're good. You can exit talks. And hopefully nobody else offers our boy Korich a contract in the meantime. And Croatia counts towards what we're allowed to do. Yes, it would have popped up at the bottom of the contract if it didn't, so we are okay. Cool. But it's good that you're thinking about that because it will let you sign players that suck. Oh, this guy might be good, too. Let's check out this kitten. Yeah. <gasps> so his attributes are, are very, very good. Um He's 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 quite a quite a speedy boy with the acceleration, the pace. Um mm. for a defender, like for a guy that plays left back, uh yep. he has a lot of technical skill. As chat chat, this this is a good player, right? Chat the way chat's reacted. Um they're endorsing this guy. Now the issue yeah. is that this guy's obviously good. 
Um, and he's probably going to be expensive, but we can feel that out. Well, he's played in the top of France, the top of Italy. That's crazy. Okay. And he's uh, making appearances. Damn. This right. is the type of guy we could sign, and he plays with us for a long time. So he is on trial with us, so we can just go to contract and offer him a uh, contract. We can approach. All right, so he wants important player. There is one thing I want us to check. Who is our left back right now? Because I have no idea. <laughs> how do I, so do I? just click. Uh, how I would do this is just click the back button once cool. and then go to squad. And the, it's Antonio Mazzotta. He's the DL on our quick pick team. 33. So, oh, he's actually pretty freaking good, too. Chat, that's a little awkward. Our left back is already pretty good. And he played in Catania back in the day, and then we brought him back. Oh, so he's a homeboy. Yeah. For, well, he played for one season in Catania, to be said. <laughs> he's old as hell. He's 33, all right? Yeah, somebody, we can compare. Uh, if we go to comparison, we can actually look at both the guys together. Um, He should be there. Where is he? Oh, because we went back. He's not. That's such a stupid. I mean, I could probably just, like, do the type ski, right? Oh, wait, I can't type? Dermisi. Riza Dermisi, that's his name. It's a little lower. There he is. Oh, Dermisi's still better, Chad. I mean, he is. And younger, and we can grow with him. And yeah, Dermisi could be starting at left back in this in Syria for us if if things go according to plan. He's got that kind of game. Cool. I feel um, like that's the truth then. Yeah, and I, I. All right, let's let's see what Dermisi. Uh, let's see what Dermisi's got. Where are we? <laughs> Joseph, Sorry, I'm we 33. Go. Can confirm. I'm ancient. You are. Congratulations. I can't say that anymore. I turned 28 two days ago. Really? I know. So that that's was my, it. That was my reaction. Um. Oh, wait, it's in the inbox, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. There he is. Right, Contract. Approach to sign. Wants. Important Finalize player. That. Which he, he, that's okay. Uh, he's going to be the starter. I think he's... Right? Oh, yeah, he'll totally accept that. Yeah, 100%. Cool. He wants to get it done as quick. Oh, so when it's red, that means we're over what the board would allow us to pay. If you hit the minus on salary, we'll see by how much. Not that bad. We 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 can we we can get him. Should we hit three ten? <sighs> Wasn't it four days ago? Yeah, I forgot what my own birthday was. It happens. Um. So what, the way we want to do this is we'll pro, we'll try and work our way to 310 where, like, we'll start below 310 and then they'll negotiate towards They don't that. have much patience, though. So no, 286, you think? You're right. So we also need to lower the appearance fee because the appearance fee they're asking for is higher than our board will accept. And then, we, But we can add the clause of the relegation thing. You're right. Relegation release clause. There's also a different clause which is essentially gambling on yourself, which is a non-promotion release clause, which means if you don't get promoted, the guy can leave. We Let's not add it initially Oh, because we would prefer not to have that, right? We might take two years to get out of this league or three. We're or not taking two years. We're getting out this year. But let's see if we can just get this deal without that. You know what I mean? Well, what uh, minimum fee release clause. Yeah, he's including that because he wants to be able to move to a bigger club if a bigger club offers for him, basically. I think we just set, launch this? Yeah. Okay. That's not terrible. He didn't immediately say it was a terrible idea or anything. But if you if you put the non-promotion release clause in there, he would yeah. say yes to this contract right now. I'm fairly certain. We like this? Yeah, it would. it should work. At least get us close. Easy. Fuck Zaza. <laughs> but you'll do it without Zaza. Tom Brady's going down. We need to get to Serie A before Birmingham City gets to the Prem. We need to get to Serie A before Birmingham City gets to Serie A. Couldn't have said it better myself. So now we have offers out for two dudes. 
Uh, we'll wait to see if they accept or if they get any other offers. Um, Dermisi just got another offer, so we might not get him, which sucks. But the other guy, we're fine. So who's Reggiana? Oh, they're in the league above us. We're Ooh, we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. Um, that's okay. That happens. That's how it works. But Korich, who honestly, Korich is really good, and he's still interested in us. So scouting update. These are six guys that we might be interested in signing. Uh, this dude's from Liechtenstein, so I'm fully torqued just looking at that. Um, he's also a good player, but the problem is he's at a club right now. Hover mm -hmm. over, uh, you see, you have his name, and then you have, like, defensive midfielder, midfielder center. Uh, like, and then keep going right. There's a thing that says bid. Oh, he's free. He's actually a free agent. So um, who are the teams that are offering for him? I'll, I'll Dynamo is Dynamo. kind of a good club, to be fair, if it's the one I'm thinking of, right? Uh, it's, not, it's not the one you're thinking of. I think that one's in... Seska, I, I don't know where that, that... That's not the main Dynamo. That's a different one. Um, we are... <laughs> should be bigger than all of those clubs. So let's 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 check this guy out. Let's click on him. He is, and I know this doesn't matter that much. He is 32. Yeah, which means we wouldn't want to do like a three-year contract or anything because then he'd be pretty, he'd be getting a lot slower by the end of it, his attributes. He does have there. experience in Serie A. Which is kind of wild for a dude who plays for Liechtenstein. Uh, I, li I kind of like him. Yeah, who is the main down? I'd say like Dinamo Zagreb maybe. Or like, no, the one in uh, Russia. Isn't there a Dinamo Moscow or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's what okay. I was thinking of. Yeah, because they're in yep. FIFA, I think, or they were. Um, okay. The this guy's a good passer. He's like a Sergio Busquets type. He's actually really smart. Like, if you look at his mental section of his attributes, the lowest one is twelve. Got it. Which is really, really good. Which is nice so for his center mid. So you're yeah. saying we should offer a trial? Uh, do we? Or wait, have... we already wait. We already have full knowledge of him. But yeah. a, tri a trial works. I honestly use trials to like stash players. I'm like, I don't know if I want to sign you right now, but I might want to sign you in a couple of weeks so you can start training with us. Because a trial, they're actually practicing with you. Um, so they get to know the players and they, you know, they, so when you sign So them, I say we jarring. offer a trial. Okay. See what's going on with those other ones that we were working on already. Yes, that works. Cool. Oh, no. God, I'm an idiot. What? Um, no, because he already has contract offers. He'll never accept a trial. I forgot. Uh, but the reason we found this dude is he has contract offers. For withdraw like trial teams. offer then, right? Go to, just go to contract. I hopefully, okay, you have to withdraw the trial offer. Yeah. Dude. There's so many screens, I know. No, he's gone. Oh. They're, they're literally, just for some reason, the way the game works, if you offer a trial to a dude who has contract offers already, he will instantly accept his favorite contract offer because he feels he's been forced to do it. So oh, okay. we are now, forget this so guy. So he ever does existed. not like me. No, no, he does not like us. Didn't um, they have more to scout them? Fault. So uh, I'm just not interested in him anyway. So, so that's if you good. click that, they'll never pop up in your scouting thing again, which he's 32, which fine. Yeah, we're never, like, you can just click not interested. I don't even in. like him. Yeah, so. we, we, he, he's not even cool. Oh, mama. Sorry, I just saw his dribblings, 12 to 19. So we don't really know anything about this guy, but he's a free agent. I can see that mm. on the status. So we can just trial him. And he's got 14 to 19 vision. This guy can see your soul. So this is a trial. Yes, 100%. Cool. Okay. Should I just click fully scout player? Uh, no, because that will deploy one of our scouts to scout him until then. So I'll just acknowledge trial. him. Yeah, exactly. Acknowledge. And on to the next one. So this guy's free, and we already know how good he is. He's a midfielder who's got a real nice big brain. And he's a pretty good player. Not tremendous with the ball. Oh, but he's super cheap. Add him to our short list. We might want to pick this guy up. And just do like a month or three months or something. Do not show me that ever again. Oh. 
So these guys are just the two players we added to the shortlist, and people that are on trial also go on your shortlist, but that's it. You're just <laughs> looking at your... <laughs> so wait, did I add him? <laughs> yeah, he's there. All right, sweet. Mirko Aramo, because he's... So his estimated salary is only forty to fifty thousand a year. Which oh, means, that's why it's a superb signing. Yeah, got it. Because he'd be like a one-off, one year, and then get out of my face. Yeah, you old, cool. crusty, useless loser. But for this I don't year, like he you. Be... Die. Yeah, basically. Cool. Uh, oh, he's even older. Let's go. And even cheaper? Question mark. But we already have a good goalkeeper. We do. I don't know who our backup is, so you can add this guy to the shortlist. You can just right click on his name and do an add to shortlist real quick if you want to not have to That's load up the awesome. other screen. Yeah. And so just That's awesome. on, on to the next one. Lorenzo Grassi. Uh, this dude is some He has ass. no interest in signing uh, to us, though. He, he's ass, too. So we are also not interested in him. He's right click not interested or just acknowledge? He's not interested. He's just not good. This guy, on the other hand, is a right back. So we tried to sign that left back, but we already have a good left back. This guy's a right back who looks, at least the initial report's very good. So what do we do in that situation? We are going to offer a trial. Hell Wait. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wanted? Wait, but he yeah. already is. So the, oh, but that's not offers. Yeah, that's different than a bid. So he will, although you, <laughs> that would have been really dumb if I'd done that twice, but no, he... uh he should go with the trial, but we will need to move quickly if we like him because clearly we're not the only team that knows he exists. That's amazing. All right, so see, there's Buchel. Uh, that's the trial. Okay. That See, he immediately accepted the other contract, and then we just need to accept these two trials in the bottom right. Oh, my bad. Oh, accept. Good. So those guys are joining Muhammad us. Muhammad Salah <laughs> just changed... Both his first and last name. Uh, that's Sala from Wish. This guy, this guy looks really good. That's four full stars according to our staff right there. This is superstar level, even for the quality of our team. Um, okay. So that's yeah, and the other, so if you hit space, it'll just go up to the next inbox message immediately. And he's also good. And we have a question from Luca Bevilacqua from some something. Do I have to respond? Yeah. Feel free. Let's do this thing. Oh, many people want to know what the chances are of him earning a permanent stay. Bro. <laughs> that is the entire point of taking him on trial. I feel like, honestly. I feel like he doesn't understand the point of a trial. Yeah, I, that was ridiculous. I'm not even going to. I'm going to stop taking everybody's bullshit. As you, as you should. It's been far too long of taking people's bullshit. Already. You were cagey with the media. Great. We're off. Is that what I said? <laughs> Good. Uh, all right. You have the under 18s. The whole point of this from a senior team perspective is you can make players available that aren't fully match sharp. Um, you don't really need to worry about that right now. It's preseason. Nobody's match sharp. Uh, and that's just your dates. Okay. So, so we can manage a match. Let's go back to staff responsibilities. Okay. Whenever. Once. Yeah. Once it's done getting wherever it's going. Whoa. Are you trying to get rid of me soon? Oh, no. I just want, like, I, based off all the stuff that we've done, I don't think we're going to be able to get to a match today, necessarily. These fucking zilches. They really snaked it. They oh, they got him. To be fair, out. there was no planet where I was ever going to even consider... <laughs> Yeah, that was more than he even asked for from us. So the one guy we let go without offering a contract to was Zuccolini. And I think we're okay with not doing that. He's old we're and at peace slow. With that, and, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, whoever recommended Zuccolini. Okay. What was I supposed to do? Staff. Responsibilities. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Match. match. And then just take control of the friendly match. Take control. Hell yeah. Confirm. Holy shit. So we're, we're, basically what's going to happen is we're going to manage this match in a couple of days. Well, this friendly against whoever the hell that is. I have no idea. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get to this match. And then before. Oh. Well, we have three people. Wait, how did we even do a game? So what that, the, the way the game processes that is it basically 
in real life, what your youth team would be filled with is amateur youth players. But since this the game doesn't want to have to generate that many players, they give you grayed out players, mm. uh, like just random names to fill the list, basically. That's hilarious. Yep. Once we get to the day of the match, I have to go to the bathroom, and then we will start. Brilliant. <gasps> yeah, let's go, dude. We're doing it. We've signed Auntie Courage. So I click accept, right? Yep. Or delay. No, we want to accept because the delay would open up an opportunity for another team to swoop in. But we've got our boy, Anti Courage. Big sign. Just in time. Um, dude. That's okay. That's not bad. Yeah, that's an agent fee of $16,000. That dude can buy himself a new Rolex and we got a new player. That's a good deal. <laughs> oh, look at this. His work permit application was rejected. Hmm. <laughs> so we'll have to appeal that. Oh, so this is your signing player screen. Welcome. Cool. Uh, Thank at the you. bottom, you can register the player for your team, which you're going to want to do. Uh, you also can send him on an intensive language course, because unfortunately, Mr. Anti Chorich doesn't speak, or sorry, Chorich doesn't speak any Italian at all. So, so how would I do about that? Uh, just go click send on language course and then click team registration. Assign squad number, you mean? You can do that too. You pick whatever number you want. <laughs> Welcome aboard. How did I know that was exactly where we were headed? The first sign, I mean, like, like what else am I supposed to? What was it? What was my other choice? Oh, uh, well, don't worry. You can go right back to it in the inbox. It's not going to go anywhere. All right. So there's Korich sign or Catania sign Korich. Uh, Chorich. You want to go down one inbox message? Cool. And you want to set him training a position. So the way the football manager works, like mm -hmm. in training right below the B minus thing, kind of higher up uh, in the middle of the message. Got there it. you go. Uh, if you don't set them to train a specific position, they do the general team training, but then they sit out like the specific role based training. Like they don't, you know, so right go here. out with the midfielders. Yeah, we want him playing central midfield. We'll have him work as a uh, advanced playmaker. That sounds great. Either one is just fine. Okay. Cool. Team registration. Do I just click this? Yeah. Make sure he's registered. So you see how he's got the X next to his name up near the top. We'll just click over. Ready? Cool. Zin, at the top, you see we have 24 players. So we actually have room for one more if that other guy happens to sign. Good Amazing. News. Yep. So basically, it's the best day of my life. Uh, yes. You signed Anti George, which is exact. You woke up this morning hoping that would happen. I put on my. What if. What would you do? Like, actually, what would you do if I turned around and showed you that that was the last name that I had on this jersey? Would, like, would you lose I your would, mind? I, I feel like that's... Yeah, I would actually realize that I'd been getting played the whole time. Like, you're a football <laughs> manager pro. And then I'm like, yeah. come on in! And then he walks in, and he's just here. And it's, just um, anti, it's just anti George. Someone oh, yeah. says I should welcome him. Does that matter? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, bottom right, you can have a member of your... Club, Ask Rizzo like, to welcome. welcome him to the team. Yeah. Bro, my my standing desk literally just broke while you do this. Jeez. Come on. What? Oh, your your desk. <laughs> I have a standing desk that I just tried to put up, but it's like not going up past a certain point. There we go. <laughs> I just absolutely borked it. All, All right. right. So now we have team selection advice, which is where he gives you advice about who to put into the team. Uh, we don't need to take that because we've already set our team up. And then we go up and you have a press conference if you want to do it, where you can unveil uh, Chorich to the, Italian, to the assembled Sicilian media. Can I do that? Sure. Okay. And then we'll do it. Yes. And then it's match time. New signing. Are you pleased to have got your man? That felt, that felt like they wouldn't have said that if I was a, if I was a man, to be fair, to have got your man. That felt, that felt like a, is that targeted? That felt targeted to me. You should it's a good day a, for the club and I'm delighted to have added. You should start oh, real a quality. sexism debate in Italian football. That sounds like a, Good way to start the first month. 
I think this is good. The sort of player who can make the difference when Catania needs it most. That's the aim. We certainly hope he'll make contributions when it matters most. I feel like that makes sense. What are you? Are you confident that he can produce when it matters in big games? That's why I signed him. He lives for the big occasions and will have a huge addition to the squad in that regard. I feel like that's... Is that like... Is that like <laughs> setting him up for failure a little bit? No, well, so the balancing act that you're doing here basically is how much you want to flatter him. So he's at this press conference with you. You can see him at the bottom. Right now he's pleased. Mm -hmm. um, you can accidentally put too much pressure on him or you can just basically gas him up. So you're kind of just balancing that. Yo, Revy, thank you for the 11 months, my dude. Midnight, thank you for the three months. And thank you for all the other subs that I haven't seen while I've been breathlessly giving Carl a tutorial for the last three like three hours. Concerned of the risk of the club's financial future by continually stretching the payroll budget in that way, what would you say to those critics? I would never do anything to risk this club's future. God That's, damn it. Wow. Sounds like you're running for office. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Are you hopeful of being able to help finally realize his potential? Yeah. Right environment for the potential to flourish, and I hope we can give that to him here. Hell yeah. You think we'll go down in Catania history with the likes of... Oh, of course. We should look into that motherfucker. I have no idea who that is. I mean, obviously. The best part is when you get far enough into a save that the person that they say in that kind of press conference question is somebody that you coached in the past. Am I crazy to ease expectations right here? No, it's not insane. Oh, he's uh, not one in that. He's still pleased. I uh, don't promise to sign another player. You just kind of neutral your way out of this, I think. No, I think... Is that what they're saying? Uh, I guess not exactly. This is a different question than I thought it was. Uh, does he have friends already within the group at Catania? Um, yeah, you could say that. It'd be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure he knows somebody here. I think he played in Italy before, which raises the question, how does he not speak Italian? But whatever. Holy shit. Are you nervous? I am. But we're about to run this up right after I go to the bathroom. Do it. I'll be right back. Dude, it is hard to explain football manager to somebody. It is, hard. it is hard to explain football, man. I, that's what I'm realizing. I realize basically my entire YouTube livelihood has been explaining, like explaining football manager to people. It is hard to explain football manager. The game, yeah, dude, the game doesn't make it easy. Is there anything you guys feel like I've missed? Is there anything you feel like I've missed? Like, what is the number one thing I've overlooked? Scouting and recruitment focuses, yeah. We haven't done staff yet, and I know. Well, scouting and recruitment focuses, I promise you we're going to get to loans. We're going to get to loans. I need to sing the loan song, yes. Does Carl have fan mail? You're going to work on a lost tapes painting? I'd be surprised if he didn't, to be honest. I know he's super into the lost tapes. That's his passion project right now. Training screen? Yeah, we haven't gone over that, have we? I should teach Carl the loan suck. I don't know if I could do that to him. Get him into a game so you can show him the tactics work and adjustments he can make. Yeah, I agree. There's just so many, like... It's also weird because I'm not playing, right? I'm not, like... I'm almost ready. You are? Oh, <laughs> of course. You gotta get suited up. Shit. 
Showtime. Showtime. Catania, Forza Catania, and we ride into a mostly meaningless friendly that we will dominate, surely. We're going to fucking crush them. What? Who is this team? Arzigano? Our closest rivals. For all I know, maybe. Just have to hit continue again. We're on match day, but we got to get up to the actual time. And then we got to make sure we get our boy Anti Chorich on the field because. Okay, now it's match time. Cool. Sure, Fitness tests. Yeah. Uh, everybody's dealing with a little weird muscle injury. A lot of pulled groins going around, but. So I just space bar through this? Yeah. Space bar through it. Just information, sometimes useful, not in this case. That's all the friendlies happening today. We can exit out of that. Um, is our new kitten playing? No, we'll get him in there. I just meant that they're about to try and give you a tutorial of the whole screen, but I got you. Got it. So Wait, so what should we do? Top right, and there's that exit thing. Oh, there my bad. Go. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, sweet. Uh, Chorich will be at the bottom here, so if we scroll down, there he, there is. he is. So we'll, what we want to do is drag him in in whatever spot we want. You can drag him straight onto the tactics screen on the left, but we have to decide who we want to get rid of in like our starting lineup. So let's go to Zamorini and Deli because he's replacing one of those two guys. We just have to decide which one he's replacing. You know, looking at a lot of potential with this one. Uh, thanks for asking. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, so he, this guy is obviously mid. worse than Chorich. Yeah, so like Chorich, Chorich is definitely a full-time starter on this team. This guy seems to be better than that last he guy. Yes, you're right. Okay. So what we're going to do is replace Zamorini with Chorich. Now, we're also going to change Chorich's role. Got but it. first, we're going to move him to the left side. Because Chorich is a really offensive player. So, like, if we click on him, he doesn't have very good defensive stuff, which would be tackling, marking. Um, he's an attacking midfielder. He's somebody that gets forward. Think like um, like a Kai Havertz or something. This guy gets up the field. He involves himself in the attack. He doesn't do a lot of the defending. Yep. So we're going to want him in a role kind of like center mid on attack or advanced playmaker. And we want him on the left because you have an inside forward on the right. And that's going to get in the way. Advanced playmaker, attack. That works. And then Delhi is also on a playmaking role, and we don't want two playmakers next to each other. So you can decide for yourself kind of what type of midfield role you like here. But anything but a playmaker, because if you have two playmakers next to each other, they'll run into each other trying to get to the ball. Because the playmaker, they have like a gravity. Ball winning them. midfielder defend. That's what you want. He's. I don't think he's very good at that skill set wise. I was just kidding. <laughs> ball winning midfielders, you need like high work rate and high tackling and aggression and bravery. What is this one? Uh, Metzala is a. Well, I tell you, it has a little wide and operate in half spaces. Central half winger. Oh, likes to do defending slightly further up. We don't want that, right? It's not the worst thing. You do have a midfielder behind him. So this guy's not Got like it. the last line of defense. So if you want a Metzala, you can have one. Cool. And then your midfielder behind them is an anchor. Let's just look at how good Ladinetti is because I don't really remember. Oh, this guy sucks at defense too, which is interesting. So what I might, what we should do is go get that other midfielder we just yeeted into the sun and bring him back to play that position. Wait, but this guy... Isn't this guy good, though? It's going through your brain. Uh, he's not bad, but the problem is his defense is not... Um, well, I guess it's his tackling. So he's not good at winning the ball away, but he actually has good positioning and marking, and he's kind of smart. So you're kind of right. I was kind of wrong. Well, they only... To be fair, I'm not right, right? Like, it wasn't because I was like, oh, he's good. It was because I was like, but he said it says that he's a good Serie B player. And then I'm, like, looking at a lot of green and blue. And I didn't get further than that. So it's not like Sorry, a Carl's so Wright thing. For, first off, the uh, the green and blue stuff will highlight the same for every role. So, like, everybody that you – so right now you have roaming playmakers selected just to kind of the left. Got of it. Your oh, okay. And it's yeah, showing yeah, what yeah, parts yeah, yeah. are actually important. Yeah. So I have yes, to look yes, at yes. these numbers. Okay, I'm 
catching on. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, I didn't explain that well enough. But that. No, so no, no. no if, if you want a roaming playmaker in that position, those are the numbers you need to look at, basically. And I'm seeing a lot of 11s and 12s, which isn't perfect. At the level we're at, this guy's definitely good. My concern is that he's playing defensive midfield and he has six tackling. But I think he'll work for today. So, like, if you want to see what role he's actually playing in your tactic, that's Anchorman. So you can Got it. you can click on him uh, if you wanted to change the role. You can obviously change it right here. And if you want to see what attributes you need for that role, you can click on the player and then select that role on the player itself. Wait, so that's deep lying playmaker. Um, he does. He has the skills to do that, but then you'd have two playmakers in the midfield, which. We hate that. It can work sometimes, but it's a little overcomplicated sometimes. Halfback is like, uh, you know those defensive midfielders that drop behind the center backs to like get the ball? Mm -hmm. Basically play point guard for the whole team. That's what a halfback is. Got it. Um, anchor is exactly what it sounds like. Dude staples himself in front of the back line, which can be really helpful, especially considering you have two pretty aggressive midfielders in front of him. I say they'll just... Let's let him prove us wrong. That's not in, in a friendly in particular. That's like not a bad philosophy. Okay, okay. So just so you're familiar with what's on the left there, that's yep. where all your instructions are. There's those three boxes all the way to the left. Yep. Um, and so a lot of those have been selected based off the style you said you wanted to play, which was the focus on the wings, but let's click on, Oh, there you go. That <laughs> you want to send it. You can, if you Bug want it. to, honestly, I we're think good we're, right i feel like what do you think try positive i think we're playing a team that's worse than us today so try positive and then click in possession so these are all of the instructions in possession they have a lot on what i would do is um we have a we have pretty good midfielders so i don't think we need to focus play down the wings we can leave the overlaps on but so like pull this back. That's width. So that's oh that's probably oh you're fine. right. Sorry. Yeah, like over here, in approach to play, you could probably actually hit that one. You could hit that and then unclick it, and it would all go away. Oh, so, I see what's happening. Yeah. Cool. So and then there's a bunch of options here, like uh, work the ball in the box, dribble more, dribble less, time wasting all the way up, which means you're just taking the park ball the right bus. The yes, that's. That's your Jose Mourinho down to nine men with two minutes left. That's what you're going to get if you do that. Love them. So then there's in transition instructions, which is just below that on the far left. And then there's out of possession instructions. All of those are part of your tactic. Just all like on the far left. Oh, got it. All right. So th those will give you like different instruction screens that you can add and remove stuff. Okay. I, we can, do we feel good? Yeah, we feel I for a friendly, we've got our guys on the field that we think are the best, that your coaching staff thinks are the best, and we can see what they're capable of. Let's do it. That guy that we pulled off, is he in the subs? Uh actually Zamarini is not. You can see him on the right there. He's with all the trialists, not in the subs. So just we throw find, him onto the subs? Uh the yeah, let's find the sub we hate the most. So let's go to the selection info at the top. There's like that uh drop down. Uh, top, middle, yep, and then reports because that'll tell us who they think is good and who's not. So Popovich, this guy's a joker. He's one and a half stars. Let's swap him out for Zamorini. We don't need him on the bench today. See you later. Perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. So All right. sub uh, submit team, you're ready to go. Holy shit. We're doing this. Never show me that message again. Yeet. We did it. Roused? Pause. <laughs> that's that's the great leadership of Carly Jacobs right there. Rousing. Team sheets are in. I Arzignano Valciampo, of course. Fuck them. Yeah. Let's go to we're the dressing actually, room. Uh, the, we're on the Oh yeah, so there are team talks in the game. So you have all sorts of different animations you can undertake and then things you can say. <sighs> yeah, the goalkeeper injury is not major, Chad, so we're just going to ride with it, try and get the match sharpness up anyways. 
Uh, get out there and give them fans their money's worth. That's crazy. Uh, there's still places up for grabs. Impress me. I mean, there aren't, but why not? <laughs> Absolutely fired the team up there. <laughs> I don't think it ha did anybody change at all. Nope. It's a friendly also, so it's just not going to be. They're like. They, they all just have really their care. earbuds in. Yeah, they're, they're, this is just this is uh, this is a day at the office that they're going through. Holy shit! This is about to be the best day of my life. Do you hear? Wait, no, the match sounds are about to hit you like a dump truck if you have them on. Which I, I think hear them do. on right now. Yeah. Oh, the now whistle. they're silent. Oh, it's yeah. There's so sort of exit a tutorial. This? You can exit that. The giant Woo! whistle goes off. Yep, showtime, baby, showtime. So you are in the blue. Holy, get in there! Oh, he's offside. I, he was like way offside. Right. So I, they just kept letting it roll. The yeah, ref didn't blow the whistle for quite some time. So pause it, hit spacebar, because you can actually change the way this looks. So go to the top right. There's like a settings wheel. Um, my personal favorite camera is sideline. Um, I want to do it the exact pick. same way you do it. Okay, so sideline. Yep. And then put the height all the way down because it makes you feel like. You're more in the match there. And then you exactly. can zoom in. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in if you want later. Oh, got it. Uh, but the most important thing, because this will drive everybody crazy, yep. is move the match speed during highlights up one. I don't know why Football Manager does this, but the match speeds are just like, they look like normal match speeds when you tick it up one. The normal match speed just isn't. It feels super slow. Okay. So now enough? the now the game will feel good. Ex there's different highlight styles. We'll play on extended. Um, that basically means the game simulates until there's at least like a half chance coming somewhere. Okay. So you're good. Boom. And you can zoom in if you want, and then the game's gonna feel like it's as zoomed as I can be. Yep. Is that good? Okay, that sweet. Is, yeah, because you can you feel like you're in the game, but you can also kind of see the tactic developing. So they're in a really weird tactic, which means this is going to be a bit of a strange game. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So that was, uh, if you're counting, their first possession. That was their <clears throat> first possession, I think. Hmm. <clears throat> Carl, if and, we, um, uh, Carl, I, I, I tell you what, even though we conceded on that first goal, I'm going to make a promise to you right now. If we don't get promoted this first season, I will stream for a week in a banana suit with no explanation. If we don't get promoted this first season. Wait, was will. he offsides? No, he was on. They were just showing a oh. replay of the goal. They showed the lines. I was confused. What is this? All right, so you can change this screen. Just pause real quick. Um, you can get more information <laughs> available if you yep, go, of course. you can like drag this over, but you have to go to the left of where the names are, like where the line is, like it's some sort of browser window and then pull it. You can pull it all the way over because it's not going to hide anything. And then there's a ton of different information you can get. So while the game's simulating, you can like try and figure out what the hell is happening. It is yeah. entirely overwhelming. <clears throat> Um, but the dugout is what your assistant manager, me in disguise, will be telling you throughout the game. You have your shots last five minutes, average position of the players, where the game's being played. Their formation, which is weird. Uh, they're playing a super narrow 4-4-2, which is complex. Uh, but we should be fine. You can hit play again. Now that we've got all this information, oh. and once a highlight hits, it'll pop up and make all this go away. Like that. Got it. Oh, come on. All right, that's Marcel. Get in there! Deli. Come on. Rapasarda. Deli. Oh, he's got Boom. him! It's George! Boom. It's George! Oh my god! <laughs> this man, he's a he's a god. This man is a god. They make people that good at the sport? Delhi from downtown. That's actually, One touch. It's kind of a dime right there. Holy shit. That was a really pretty goal. Oh, is I, I thought he might actually be off, but he's definitely on. Okay. Upon review, goal approved. 1-1. One, one. Catania doing its thing. Oh, 
I'm in, bro. That's it. That's all I needed. Oh, get in there. Oh, this is the guy. I really like Chirico. The, uh, the right wing we've got. Corrado. Oh, come on. Take your time. Oh, there's Chorich. Take your Deli. time. Jesus! <laughs> Yeah, they there is a in, an instruction to work the ball in the box, but that will also rob you of some like intelligent long shots that get taken. Oh fuck! Easy, clear it. Uh oh, that's not good. Easy, easy. What a zilch! Take your time. I actually kind of like him oh, on anchor. That, look at that, that space. Thing. Just take it. Look at all that wing play. Chorich. My, oh, look at that. Oy, I... Goal kick. Hey, big issue we've got is we don't have a lot of the ball. They have 71% possession right now. Look, but they only have 50% of the goals. <laughs> Very true, honestly. But there, I, I think our defense might be a little low, but we can fix that at halftime. Oh, oh, but he missed it though. Oh, but oh, I don't think he did though. Fuck. Do you have cursing uh, on your stream? A little, but okay. You, you I'll you, be better. You do, you do whatever you want. It's it's okay. <laughs> I, I, cause may, usually it's like, <laughs> oh, no, it, usually it's like, I, I, I try not to, but when I, I've played in like the Rust tournament and stuff before, or like <laughs> in the EAFC tournament or like, you know, with, oh, come on. Now. Yeah. Like, oh, I, get in there. Oh, oh. Why? Why? Why are we shooting back there? He had space. All right. Halftime. Okay. So first thing is a team talk. Uh, that's the XG graph. So that shows the expected goals throughout the half. Got it. Uh, Got so it. they're tap-ins, like a ton of XG, obviously. But Yep. Down to so one. Um, where am I supposed to go? Dressing room? Yeah. And then you have a team talk, which is... It's a water bottle. <laughs> sort it out. I'd yell about the possession. We need more possession. Uh, teams giving the ball away. Super easy. Where is that? Oh, two, wait. We need more position. There, yeah. Did yeah, I just click that? Yeah. Okay. We fired a few guys up. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and then go to tactics in the bottom left. Yep. Kick them all fuckers off. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna get better, though. Uh, I'll Colin, tell you that. Dude, Carl, it's, it's fine. It's the, way we, it's the way we talk, and it's all right. But it... Yeah. I... If you are watching on a TV in the house with your six-year-old, as was the original reason four years ago that I stopped cursing on my stream as somebody said they were doing that, then you probably want to mute it up. Uh, other than that, we're fine. <laughs> no, dude, you don't have to mute a thing. Barnacles. Is he still injured? Yeah, but it's an in it, when it's orange, they can kind of play through it. Depends on the injury. And we want him to get sharp for the season. So here's what yep. I... Um, what I think we should do. Let's go to out of possession on the left. Of course. Uh, we need to get more aggressive with our defense. Uh, so let's raise the line of, yeah, back line. Much higher is Manchester City, sort of like standing at the halfway line, but higher is probably a good bet. And then cool. we can go higher with the line of engagement too. That front line, go up to high. And then let's turn on get stuck in. Let's 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 hit these fools. Harder. Um, couple of other options there. Nothing I'm thinking that we need. I will go to tactics though. Uh, like that thing that will there with the arrow, it'll pop. It'll pop out a whole tactic looking screen. There. Um, chat. What do you think we need? I'm thinking lower passing directness. So go to in possession. So the thought process here being we don't have a lot of the ball. Maybe we're hoofing it a little too much. I also don't think, like, our striker isn't particularly fast or huge. 
And those are usually the two reasons you want to play direct because you want to use his speed or his size. So let's lower our passing directness so that we are kind of building things up. Let's go one below middle. We can still play with the wings and everything. We can play with the high tempo because I think we actually have good passers on our team. We just cool. aren't, uh, yeah. I'm feeling oh, good. One oh. more little thing, out of possession. Yep. In the, in the out of possession section. Um, let's trap outside because they have a really narrow formation. So we want to force them outside and then in, Perfect. in the transition section, dude, my brain's a million miles an hour, right? You're now. good. Go for Turn it. Turn off the flanks because our wings aren't particularly tall. So the goalkeeper's trying to distribute it to the flanks. It's in the Where middle, right? Uh, there's like a, yeah, that thing. And then just have him roll it out in distribution type. It's right below here. Oh, roll it up. There you go. And then just click full backs and center backs on that thing you were just looking at. So he's just going to roll it out to our back line and we'll pass up. Because I like our midfield. I think our dudes can get it done. They, they're then, uh, playing a heck of a game. I'll say that. Yeah. Chorich, I'll say that. Chorich and Delhi and them lads. <laughs> I think they can get it done. So let's, uh, let's Absolutely. go back to the dressing room and start up the second half then. Okay. Start second half. So... Indeed. What's up? Is this because usually when I watch you, I feel like it's not just highlights. Is it different settings? <laughs> no, I, I play on extended. Extended's my preferred Got way it. to play. Um, but when you're on extended, the start of each half is a highlight. So like, oh okay, this isn't necessarily a highlight. The next one is. Do you Ext hear the crowd just cheering each time somebody touches the ball? <laughs> oh wait, you don't have the sound. No, I, I don't. I don't have the sound. But I'm sure we can figure out a way for me to get this out at some point from your. You will figure yeah, it out before the next. And also, I, yeah, I'm recording on my side, Which so is you'll cool. be able to. Yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I wasn't even worried for a second. No, I mean, I was fine. That was never an issue. The worst thing about set pieces is that largely during the game, you just feel like they're out of your control. Like somebody just heads the ball in, and you're like, oh, I guess. You know, we're screwed. We're starting to take over a little possession. Am I crazy? No, we are. We're up to Get six. in there. <laughs> Chorich is actually that dude. We were offside, though. He's him. So there's something we can do if we want to pause real quick. I know they're on a highlight. Of course we want to pause. There's uh, shouts at the bottom. So there's that whole little bottom bar. We yep. can shout things to our team. So I'm trying to encourage the lads right now. Just do an entire team shout. Fire them boys up. Yep. Good. Yep. Hit play. That'll go through at the next dead ball. We'll start screaming at him. Hey. Oh, was not worried. Was not worried. <sighs> All right. We had 18 minutes left. Maybe we want to think about a sub. The problem is I don't really know who's on our bench, but we can pause. Let's just get into that. Cool. And we go to we tactics bottom left. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Somebody, I all in chat said this front line is struggling right now. So we need, um, let's go. You know where it says condition at the top by match day squad there? Uh, up and to the right from where you are now. Above the, yep. yeah, there yep. we go. And then re we, we, oh, we can't go to report. Mm. Is it stuff? Oh, we, we, we customize the current. The problem is, this always happens at the beginning of a save. We don't really know how good a lot of these guys are yet. Relative, yeah. You know, so, like, we don't know when we look at our bench, like, oh, we want to go for that guy. But we do know that one striker, that other striker we were considering. Remember him? What yep. was his name? Dubikos? Let's go get him. Yeah, of course I know Dubikos. Oh, of course. Drag him in there. Cool. Get that, get that lad out there. Do we have do any? Do we want him advanced forward? Yeah. He's actually better cool. at being an advanced forward than the other guy. Um, cool. Who else plays wing? Oh, a tree. You can click a drop down on each position. Right. Okay. So go to like Chirico, for example. Click that drop down. So that's everybody else that can play that position. So let's try Milos Bocic. We'll just uh, bring Bocic in. And we can see the match ratings on the right. So like Marsura's on a 6.32. He's been trashed. So let's get him off. Uh, like. Cool. There we go. We have six subs today. So Giuseppe De Luca. 
That is, uh, I don't think Love he's Italian, Luca. though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, and then Filippo Loren- uh, Lorenzini. He's also on a 6.3 if I'm looking over here on the right. So well, let's try and let's go Tommaso Silvestri. That's the guy that's getting all that money that we aren't playing right now. Why aren't we playing him? Oh, well, we might be if he ends up playing better than the other guy. And then we oh, want to... Cool. We want to just click confirm subs if we're done. If you want to sub anybody else, we can. I guess we could. Hate the idea of subbing somebody else. Yeah, let's hate the idea of subbing somebody else. We would never do that. Okay. We are getting a little more possession, though. We played our way into the game a little bit. Hmm. Um, Let's get a little quick little. Only five minutes. uh, All right, pause. So what we wanted. Oh, well. That's game. Stoppage time is probably game. But just for future reference, fortunately, this is a friendly as the game gets later, we'll want to up our mentality from positive to like attacking and very attacking to try and that chase, makes a lot of sense. Try and chase the game, but that's cool. okay. we're get, we're getting in our managerial flow right now, so it's okay. You know, we wanted some would say we wanted to lose this game is just like uh, that's what I was hoping that you were thinking as well. because yeah, exactly. I, I was I was like I forgot to bring that up to you, but I wasn't sure if we were on the same page. Oh, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was exactly what I was thinking because now everybody thinks that we're not that good and that works to our advantage. So uh, there are, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get in, we'll get into our groove. Great effort. Good games, laddies. That is perfectly said. You uh, <laughs> lower the speed. Yes. Okay. We're fine. We are uh, we are gaslighting the rest of the league into thinking we're bad, and we will win the league, and we'll be fine. Uh, the players don't know the tactic yet, which is a contributing factor to that. You just need to decide what kind of manager you want to be in this situation. Um, this that seems positive. Yeah, much improvements needed. Oh, you've inspired them. Hmm. Nice work, uh, Carly. Late to be fired up. <laughs> late to be fired up there. Surely we get another game before we end at some point. Oh, of right? course, yeah. Let's let's do that. Okay. Uh, do want to do a couple things before then, though. Um, uh, yeah, like fire the entire <laughs> team. <laughs> Who do we have contract offers out to? We just have that left back, right? He hasn't decided on leaving. I us. think so. Is there a way to check that? Yeah, go to transfers, and it'll show you like active deals. So Riza Dermisi is, yeah. We probably won't get him, but it'd be awesome if we did. But I also think that I think we'll Should be. We start fine scouting a little bit more. We that's that's like the staff stuff. But here, let's click on scouting. We can start to do something because there's one magical thing, and recruitment focuses on that top bar up there that we can we can get after. Boom! Create recruitment focus. Uh, there's this big old button. There we go. And what we want to do is try and find players that we can loan in. Because, oh, let me check it on my computer. But they're, the loan rules here, I think, are very lax, which is unusual, but also super cool. Like, I'm pretty sure we could just loan in an entire team if we wanted to, which is really, really useful. Okay. Because... Loans can be free a lot of the time. Uh, That's amazing. So you just get this free little grayed out for me. Teams. Uh, yeah. So what you want to do is click the drop down with the tactic. So like it says any position from tactic, they in, any. So that's like every position on the grid. And then click the check box that says any position from tactic. So that's like every position on that grid we'd be into. Then you're yep. on the right track. Click loan. And then up the current ability to three and a half stars. But you have to up the potential ability before that. Yeah. No, you want to. So that's like the minimum requirement. So we want to go lower than that. Yeah, that's good. So what we're going to do then with this scouting report is look for players from 45 to 50 years old, which is exactly <laughs> what we want. And uh, areas we definitely have to. Does that matter? The, can, can we only do Europe or is that only for transfers? Uh, this is good to refine but you don't need to here because your scouts will only recommend viable players for loan and that means they'll that only recommend sense. like eu guys but it's not a bad thing to be thinking about that uh so standard priority because we literally only have two scouts you can't like get more than two scouts to look at it and then just click confirm and they're going to be worse so they're already they've already come up with a few recommendations 
and they're going Jeez. to continuously work on that. Ronaldo? Uh, <laughs> yes! We did it! We're so in! Dude, that's, I think we just won the game, actually. Uh, oh, he's uh, 33. This is all working he in, perfectly. He played at Lazio. Completed it, mate. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, he's playing at Vicente. I'm assuming he has second nationality, or they wouldn't have recommended him to us, but... Uh, overview information. Go. Yeah, he's Italian Italy. also. So uh, Brazilian also... and Italian. That dude was born to play. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> and actually... his name's Ronaldo. This... So you know who Lucas Mora is, right? Of We're getting debated so hard by the scouting report. This is Luca Mora. That's crazy. Do you think they did that on purpose? Yeah, he's a perfectionist. That's actually one of the best personalities in the game is interesting about that he's a yeah, great yeah that's why i brought that up oh 100 yeah you, you have a you've got a nose for i don't even know what that would be football manager personalities you're just a natural football manager carl i don't know what to tell you it's okay you know what comes with it well, this guy's very aggressive actually in a good way or is that like in a red card way like a sergio ramos way no it's in a good way the bad way okay. is when they get that thing in their scouting report that says they have a competitive streak. This just means he's willing to throw himself into everything. Got so it. He's just kind of a maniac when it comes to chucking himself at tackles and headers and whatever. Um, he's not amazing, though. So let's look at the other two guys that they threw our way. Hate him, actually. I really Gabriel him. Charpentier and Gabriel Angela. So this guy's one of those this is a center back that's actually good with the ball. Those guys are fun they're fun types of players. Um played at Watford. Oh really? He has four uh, youth caps with the Italian team. He's no Zaza. Rest of beast, but Perugia. I want Zaza. I want the Birmingham team, of course, in football manager, not the real one. To uh like while they're traveling to their next game, can get in a crash. <laughs> and not let anybody get seriously injured, oh, but enough yeah, to course. scare them away from playing oh. ever again. I mean, it's a video game. Wishing injuries on players, they're not real, technically. I've been there. Well, you could buy Oh, dude, it, it's a striker. We need this. Asking price is very low. It is. Well, this is the... Remember, the, remember what this scouting report is for. This is for loans. So that they think this guy is... Available for a loan, should we should we want to loan him in? Uh he is a target forward, which means he's a big, big lad, six two, 180 pounds. He's also that's from awesome. the Republic of Congo, which is just independently, that's just cool. But he um, understands Italian. I'm assuming, yeah. Well, he, that's what he, it says. He's, he's French. He's also French. So I'm in like a oh shoot. Oh, it says like that he understands Latin. Italian. Yeah, okay, cool. So he speaks Italian. Yeah. You can see the languages they speak on that information screen, too. There's like a ton oh. of languages in the game, yeah. That's cool. So, like, the, well, what is the longer we stay at Catania, our character will learn Italian. That's sick. And become fluent in Italian. And like if you manage somewhere else, then you'll learn that language. And if you do, like, a journeyman where you take a bunch of jobs all over the place, you can learn a bunch of languages, and then... You, you just became and... <laughs> a multilingual god. Yeah, what, what are they, like, a polyglot? Isn't that what they call those? I'm gonna have a oh, giant, god, I have no a idea. Giant TikTok so, career, just speaking 27 languages to women outside of nightclubs. I've seen that. Yep. I've seen that. So we are good on all of these people, I feel like. Am I crazy? Uh, Yeah, none of them are superstars. Although, you know... We are in the market for a star striker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, it's a team in the league above us. He's gone. GG's. Unfortunately. But that does scare me into thinking maybe we want to offer a contract to one of the other guys on trial with us before. So go to How squad. Do we do that? Squad. And if we. Generally, just for my eyes, I'll sort by the thing on the left where it's like where they're playing. The, mm. the thing on the far left and then. That's what the team looks like in the tactics screen. We could scroll all the way down. We'll see the guys on trial because they're not in our team right now. Got it. They're the green guys. Shane Long we really wanted, didn't we? Uh, click on him. Let's. He should have been around for a week. He's so weird. Okay, so he's very old, but right now he's still not a bad athlete. Technically, he's not very good, but his wor he works so hard. Got to respect the hustle. 
18 out of 20 work rate. That's legit. This dude never stops running. But he's so old that he's going to start to wear himself out while he's running around. Oh. Ugh. He's brave. He's an excellent team player. He has a resolute personality. I just don't think he's actually good enough for us anymore. Correct I hit me him. if I'm wrong. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right for that. Check out a few of the other guys. Though. Like I remember Pryovich was one of the guys that we were thinking maybe. Oh, this guy might be our striker. We love him. So hear me out here. He's got good finishing in front. Like if you see the stuff that's highlighted, right? He's got good yep. finishing in first touch. Oh, but he's so slow. Oh, my God. Ew. Yeah. Wait. He's very slow. I feel like that's such a deal breaker to me. <laughs> you want a fast guy up there? I feel like I do. Is that crazy? No, that's fine. That, I, the way you play with the wing play, that works perfectly. Because they'll just try and sprint at the wing and then... You look at this guy. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Uh, he's just bad. So we can end his trial, go to contract, and then just terminate trial. And just meet him at the airport and send him back. Who's the, is this guy not on trial? What is this guy doing? Uh, if they're Why not is he green, in this if they're not great green, out section? I got gotcha. you. So we looked at everybody. I got, Wait, did we look at this guy? Stefano Beltrame. Okay, this guy. The thing is, we already have a really... This is always the way this freaking works. We already have a really good midfield, and now we are once again finding another excellent midfielder. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can't really play anything else, so I don't think we should make a move on him right now, but he is a good guy to keep around if we have the extra money and we want to sign another talented midfielder. So you're saying we should look to get more people? Always. <laughs> well, we have one more spot. And then we're at 25. And then we'll have to remove guys to add guys. But I can't wait to remove guys. Yeah. <laughs> just going to unlock that dark side of you. It's like Anakin in episode <laughs> three. You're just walking through. So is it a academy. striker that we're looking for, or what are we looking for? Yeah. yeah let's mess around with this. Didn't uh, we need like a center defensive mid, kind of? Yeah, we need a ball winner, actually. Because we have those two guys that we really like, uh, Chorich and Deli, who... They put together our only goal in the last match. Yep. So unclick striker. Let's just look for like a ball winning type dude. And there should be, I mean, there's immediately I'm skeptical. I don't think that guy has, uh, go back. How on earth search. do we have this many 18 yeah, year olds? There's, I don't I don't know what's going on. So this is international caps of at least one defensive midfit. What am I missing? Oh, it says, or on the, on the left here. We need to change that to. And there we go. There we go. So, dude's last name is Bob. We have to check him out. <laughs> no, he's Gambian, though. He's not a U, unless uh, he has second. No, trust me. Watch this. Uh, that's okay. that, 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 that's sad, though. Let's check out um, Andre Martins. He's Portuguese. We get oh, we Ooh, somebody's bidding on him. It. Whole city. GG's. <sighs> Wait, Franco about, Signorelli, tell me that doesn't sound, uh, sound Italian. Tell me this dude isn't Italian right now. What? Freaking God. Yes! <laughs> All right, we can trial him. Nobody offered him. So we can just send that guy a trial. <laughs> Franco Signorelli. Oh, he's played in Italy. We should have known. He's played a lot in Italy. We really should have known. Yeah, we're just gonna play, uh, We're just going to play seven in the midfield. It's going to be perfect. But Can't don't we wait. need a center defensive mid? Yeah, we do. But I, yeah. I think I might be a similar type of player to the guy we played there in the last match. But he was good. It's okay. Did you want to look at Halfordson? The dude's 39, but I won't stop you. Tottenham? Hey, he came up at Tottenham. He's a young 39, you know? Oh... We'll leave him for uh, Birmingham. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's. Um, Do we edit, search, find more things or think. what? Yeah, there, there's another fancy way to look for guys that are like high reputation. Let's. You see that little red minus? Oh, uh, next. My bad. Yeah, no, you're fine. That That's totally cool. Uh, the red minus next to international caps. We want to yeah. hit that. 
and then go to cool. add condition. And you yep. can actually scroll down to international. There's a more granular one that you can use, which is youth appearances. <laughs> so just add like two, one or two. And then now we're looking at defensive midfielders that made one youth appearance for their country. And there's a couple of Italians there. Those guys might be good. Look at the 25-year-old. Oh, my gosh. This guy's a legend. Simone Moratore. It was just playing at Tondela. Works for me. Well, it's been a couple of years. We're, we're, he's just been a free agent since then? For a year, yeah. He hasn't played. Oh. Which is, he's a diamond in the rough. You know, actually, he, he looks okay. He doesn't look amazing. But this dude did make a youth appearance for Italy, which is why he popped up on a radar. Andrea, Wait, why do we already know about this guy? I don't know. One of the guys of our, oh, we just completely already know how good he is. Have we seen him before? Like, have I seen him before? I don't think so. Sometimes it's just a member on your staff just, like, coach the guy previously or just knows. It's like knowledge mechanic. It, the fog of war is not on Scavoni for whatever reason. But the Got problem it. is he already has a job offer, and I don't think uh -huh. he's so good that we're like, we need to trip over ourselves to spend the little money we have left to sign him. That dude's 37, Let's... so if he's able to play for us, he's a god. But How about a broken lower leg? You good with that? <laughs> he's great in the wheelchair league, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try a different position. Let's try strikers with the youth. Uh... Oh. Oh. What happened? Yeah, you're, you're good. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's a lot more of boom. these guys now. Good. So we're Estonian. looking We're looking for, so what you got to think about is the way we're searching is youth national team appearances. Estonia is a hell of a lot easier to play for than like Italy. Yeah, so, you're so right. We should up this probably also, right? Yeah, or we no. can. If somebody that made a few youth team appearances, they're a little less flukish. More likely to be good. So Here's how about, one. like, Adrian? That dude's Brazilian. Please add some more. Because Brazil is not an easy country to play a couple of matches for. Well, it's also not easy to... That was weird. <laughs> Portuguese, so we can work with them, right? Yep, 100%. Okay. Oops, where'd he go? Adrian. Uh, okay, looking at the highlighted attributes, he's, like... He's okay. Not a yep. standout player. Yep. Also, and this is a chronic issue, dude's somehow a midfielder. I don't know. Did we select striker? We did, right? We did. He, this guy can't play striker. I don't know why he's here. Wait, let me confirm. Oh, is it or? No. No. Why? What the hell? Whatever. Okay, I'm assuming everybody else here is going to be able to play striker just fine. That was weird. What's this goofy man? Marco Benassi. Oh, his long shots are 14 to 19. This dude's a problem, but he's also a midfielder. I feel like we, uh, it's actually glitching out. We need to reselect striker. Some of these guys just aren't strikers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that narrowed it down a little bit. Let's uh, lower this cap to one. All oh. right. All three of these guys have a chance though. They're all from good countries. Uh, Belgium, Italy, and the Netherlands. Love me, Belgium. You wanted a fast guy. Look at this guy's acceleration and pace. Holy shit. Shoot. <laughs> oh, and he's 6'3". So he is not only fast, he is also large. And he's played for 75 different teams. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of experience in a lot of different uh, leagues or something. So he's not a blow away. This guy's amazing, but I think he's definitely worth a trial. Have him come okay. hang out and see if he's any good. Because we need a star striker. Let's look at the other two guys. We're looking for a KOC. Broken foot. Is that a big deal? Uh, looks like he's almost over it. It'd be a big deal if it just happened, but he only has nine days to three weeks left of recovery. So, Got it. Um, this dude, all of these strikers are tall. This dude's six, two, and also quite quick and quite technical. There's a lot to like about this guy. I think we might just end up trialing all three of these guys and just basically holding a tryout for striker. See if we find a guy that we want. This Mar guy's 35 big deal. Um, uh, if he's bad, then yes. Yeah. He's not 
based off those ranges, it doesn't look like he's as good. Um, and we hate him. And we hate him. As a person. True. Change to doubtful. Yeah. Uh, there is one thing we could do that maybe gives us another option. So to check striker again. Mm. And click OK. And so we're going to drop out of that. And then go up towards the transfer checkbox that we were just looking at. Or that yep. we looked at. And there's like a oh, settings loan. wheel next to us. Yeah, we oh, can use it. the loan thing. Try doubtful. These are people that probably don't want to play it for us, but they're not sure. Yeah, uh, it's just one more person that's 36. But he's better. Likely. What does this mean? You're just on the agent screen. You can just click on Oh, it. I didn't mean to click it. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, try yeah. trial this guy. He's a little really? old, but... He what, has a... what do you see in him? What is exciting about him? A lot of uh, technical skill. So the dribbling, the touch, and for a dude that's 36 years old, he's he's really agile and has good balance and like cool. He he's, it's not that I don't believe you to be clear. No, I I know it's uh, I need to explain myself. No, I I feel like I've heard his name too. Okay, so let's now that we're on doubtful, let's try midfielders again. He's played at Ajax a lot. Yeah, this is somebody that chat clearly knows who he is. Oh, Google they know who him. he is. I, I feel like I might have known this guy when I was like... Oh, he has 69 appearances for for the Dutch team. Oh, yeah, okay. So he's this a guy, real guy. He, he probably played in that World Cup final in 2010. If he's that's that awesome. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're going to ask him how that went. Sure. Yeah. Hey, man. Where were you when Iniesta... Never mind. Um, let's, try, let's try defensive midfielders with this new philosophy on. Gun can go. They give you the 10 Oh, not or. And. Okay. All right. Is there anybody we didn't look at? Mm, I don't no. think so. No. They're nope. All, right all right. Let's try center backs just for giggles. There's always an old center back somewhere. Nice catch. Um, oh, Muratore can play both. Anibal, Anibal Capella is the only not offensively old one. And he doesn't seem. No, you're right in thinking he doesn't seem that good. A yeah. Little slow, a little stupid. Both critical defects. Okay. We uh, good with what we've been trialing? I think so, yeah. I think we probably have the guys on our team that we're going to want to sign. Okay. We just continue on? Space yeah, bar? Let's, it? let's continue. Space bar. Oh, you wanted Ooh. you wanted us to look at soccer. Oh, dude, Socrates is there. Yeah, we can just let him go. He's not good. We already ended his trial, this guy? basically. Yeah, he's oh, the so guy that we nothing? went and told to leave. Remember, we went to the airport. Oh. And we're like, yeah, you you aren't good enough. So these three guys we want, hundred percent. Accept. Accept. Oh yeah. Accept. Hell yeah. He Babel <laughs> you said no. He rejected our trial. So hey guys. You got my hopes up. It's because right, you, you brought up the World Cup final. That was really, that was kind of like he a heard it. meeting. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's microphone. A little, it's a little uncomfortable. Um, it's like you accidentally left proximity chat on when you were negotiating. <laughs> uh, let's go to scouting. Oh, when, no, it's, it's fine. Whenever you're, there's one really old player that I discredited. The Jesus chat is Christ. Insistent. Yeah, he doesn't seem. Do we just See, say no to him? In that situation, you can literally go into his trial immediately. Right-click his name and just go to contract and terminate his trial. And be like, yeah, sorry, you're just not very good. Hey, hope you enjoyed your flight to Italy. Yeah, we got him. Uh, he upgraded to Economy Plus on the way down, and uh, that was all he got. Oops, out. what the heck did I just do? Clicked okay. on the name of the club. So the other guys look good enough. I'm excited about both of them. They're both big and fast and should be good strikers. The draw for the Italian cup is today. Oh, we're winning that whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. I hope we cool. draw a Serie A team in the first round. So bottom, I can't <laughs> the away day against Juventus bottom, right? There's a view draw. You can actually watch the draw. Uh, so for the f later rounds, there'll be like a nice presentation, but for this, it's kind of just a screen. You can click draw all teams basically. And we play for mana. They're a third division team. 
So that's our level. We're going to destroy them. We will. Okay, what are we supposed to do? That's it. We we got our draw for the first round, and then I think there's I think they draw the first three rounds, so there's just going to be another draw. So if you go, no, back, I know my bad. I meant like a wasn't there something else you wanted me to do before we oh, ended up doing that? Oh yeah, I pressed totally the space bar forgot. accidentally. Yeah, I okay. I see, the streamer doesn't know. So go to scouting, and then player search. Okay. Oh, this is the Serious C Cup. Oh, dude, I didn't even know what cup that was. So in in the player search, not the search bar, but just the the thing oh, we read earlier. Yeah, go to players and Socrates Papastatopoulos. His what? name is a freaking Scrabble board, but the, um, just oh wow, just, he's like a Greek legend. Yes, I, oh he played in Dortmund. Yeah, this dude was legit. Like he, many he, now he's old, but allegedly he's actually interested in playing for us. Chat picked him out while we were i ignored him because of how old he was but this is socrates like the original one uh just offer him a trial because we have no idea how good he is and he might just be so slow that the fact that he's going to be really smart and technically skilled uh won't matter because he'll be so slow but if he's still fast enough he could be really good so this is the serious c cup well, then I'm not going to know any of the teams we're playing against. You can just skip the draws, and it'll tell us who we're playing. The Copa Italia Lega Pro, whatever. Why is there a cup just for Serious C? He's in. Sweet. Let's do it. Socrates Papastatopoulos. If he signs, you have to actually learn how to say his name. I will... Adore him for the rest of my life. He's at like, 35. That's a pretty good starting star rating. I will. I'm going to give it to Socrates. All right. Iggy of Virtu. We can beat this team. Whoever we're about Wait, to we have play. four new recommendations. Yeah, you can click on that. On the, yeah, uh, just click on on the right. You can click on where it says recommendations. It'll take you right there. You oh, it's the same. It's the same guys. Oh. Okay. Because we, we had already. Ronaldo. We're not interested, pal. Hmm. No, it, and he's Brazilian. That's literally R nine. <laughs> Reborn as a below average defensive midfielder, as he always dreamed of being. It's perfect. Twenty teams. Okay, game. so somebody's explaining that cup to me. There's also a cup for Syria D only. Okay, twenty teams in North Italy, twenty teams in Central Italy, twenty teams in South Italy. Okay, so it's it's like a regional. It's a regional thing that they're participating in. I okay. Well, no idea. Well, because, okay, I could be wrong, but from what I've learned about Serious C is because they, it's basically three leagues, right? By, by region. So it's like the top area of Italy is Siri, Serious C A, and then the middle of it is Serious C B, and then like the bottom part is Serious C C. And I think that this is the one time that we would play against the teams in Serious C B and C A. Chad, is that right? It sounds right. Yes. That's my assumption. Okay. Ch uh, the Italians that are present, he's right. Okay, so it's three groups. By Jove, he's got it. Somebody bring that phrase back. <laughs> oh, dude, we got Dermizi. Whoa. He picked us over the team in the league above us. Wait. He believes in us. He rejected the offer from Reggiana, and he said, I want to be a part of this project right here. He likes it. He digs it. He's down. Uh, um, there's a couple Nimrod's trials coming to an end. Shane Long was the guy that we decided. As much we as I love him. Shane Long, he was we hate weird. Him. And then Alexander Prajevic. You can add him to the short list for a couple months if we just want to keep track of him. Oops. Probably. I'm going to do it the right way. Short just list. Three months. Him in there for a few months just in case he we don't find a better option. But Riza Dermisi, this guy. We needed is, him. He's a stud. Our stud. defense was lacking. Let's be honest. Yeah, he he is absolutely a stud. So, I'm a big big signing, big signing. Just in time for our game, right? Will he be here in time? Yeah, he'll be here. Oh, he's right here. Full four stars. So you gotta set his position, send him on a language course. You can't give him number sixty nine again, but you can figure something else out. Where is he? There he is.
ninety nine, of course. Okay. Reese or Misi, and then yeah, welcome Ask him. Handshake, captain, and and go to the playing position and just make sure he trains with the other defenders. So we'll have him train as a left back. Because that's what right we here. were thinking we'd want him to play as. Attack. Oh, complete wing back and attack. This dude's a modern day marvel. That works. Team registration? Uh, yeah, we want to make sure he can play in league matches too. Uh, oh, he didn't confirm Chorich either, so we need to get both of them. Where? Oh, boom. And, and then... Maybe a little where? scroll up. I think he's probably higher. Yeah, there he is. Confirm. Beautiful. We're right, in? He's in. He's in. Reason or Mies, he's on the team. And this is our scouting update. So these are going to come from a lot of different areas. 12. Yeah, this is... Uh, when, when you're in the Premier League, I usually, you usually get like 60 to 70. Uh, oh. But you, 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 be, you get comfortable getting through them a lot faster because like where they come from makes a big difference. Mm. Um, so this is the agent is coming to you. So it says like, I'd like to state the availability of my client. He's available for 76,000 or whatever. Um, you then just kind of look at his attributes and how much he would cost and go, I want to do this or not. We don't really want to buy people. We just want to sign people for free with the type mm -hmm. of club that we are. So let's just acknowledge this guy and move on. Unless this guy. So anytime you see a team right here, that means, so we just acknowledge any, I'll just speed run it, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Inle unless you see some attributes that are really good. Like, this guy, I feel like is not that good. Guy, he's, he's not that. Why good. are they he's saying good. excellent signing? Yeah, because our sc our scouting reports and staff just aren't that good. This guy's not that good either. He's an excellent signing because of his potential, but we're not signing people for potential right now. We're just trying to get Got the it. best players in that we can. That if, makes sense. If you're a bigger club, then you'll sign guys and be like, oh, in a couple years he'll be great. But we're not doing that right now. Perfect. Vedran Sayak. This dude's a long throw merchant who is. Now we can just. He's another fullback. I feel like we're fine. Yeah. Fullback. We have plenty of left backs, that's for sure. Uh, this guy doesn't have a. T or wait, he does. But he's, I think, loan listed or something. He's available for 115. I hit fully scout this player. He looks like he's actually decent. And we do have a little bit of money. So we might be able to buy somebody like that. This dude's 37, so just acknowledge because we're ageist. Um. Charpentier is already on your report. So this is also where you're going to see guys that come in from your recommendation just from your scouting. So that's Luca Mora, that's Ronaldo, that's Ingeya. This guy... And now we're back to... Is Wait. really good, I think. Well, his pace maxes at 12. I don't know if that matters. He's a central midfielder, of course, because every good player we find is a central midfielder. Oh, um, he does but... look... Yeah, his work his work rate just generally he's he's a mentality monster and his long shots are super entertaining. To be fair, I think Delhi just had a good game and he's not actually that good. Okay, well then we could try and replace him with Marco Bonassi. This guy's twenty. He does have a bid. Uh, yeah. Oh, who, click click that button. So they're in the. Oh, they're below us. No shot. They're in the fourth or fifth division of Italy. But the Colorado Rapids have interest. And they would be able to outspend us. So if we want this guy, we need to go now. Oops. Oh, wait, go, wait, go back real quick to the inbox. Go to the intermediary suggestion thing. That is uh, when agents give you really good recommendations usually. But I don't love this guy. Just fully scout him and we'll be. He's like cool. pretty good, but those ranges really determine how good he's going to be or not. So let's... You're thinking right. Let's go back to that other guy. Uh, he's definitely better than Delhi. At least we don't know for sure, right? Obviously, it's a gamble, but he looks like he's better than Delhi. We're also aggressively already over our wage budget, but we can push that even further and then sell a player if we need to. Someone they're saying he's actually in the sixth tier. Wait, that's the sixth tier. Cheese and crackers. Uh, that almost makes me like him less. No, he's 
that that's that team is trying to make the signing of a lifetime because if we're yeah. we're like a good team in Serie C at least according to what our coaches think, and they're trying to grab this dude. Well, where did he play? It's Fiorentina, which is uh, pretty yeah. cool. Empoli, it's all He's, Serie A stuff. Yeah, Inter. So we don't like that, but he was only there for six games, so we forgive him. I mean, I, he was making Serie A appearances last year. Yeah, I, I mean, he's 28. There's no way he's gotten that bad. He's in the prime of his career. Do we approach the sign? Yeah, let's see what he wants. What position is he? Center mid, that's right. Okay. Try and get regular starter. So click that playing, because we already have a few important players. We don't want too many of them. Because then players will start to get mad at you for playing time. Oh, that's annoying. Go to so go up and drop it to regular starter again, and then go add promises, playing time in twenty twenty four twenty five. So that's like playing time next year, and then set that to important player. Just that, yeah. So okay. all we promised him is that if he's on the team next year, his playing time will go up. I mean, he doesn't want that much but i'm worried our board might nope board's not super limiting us yet so we can do whatever we want um so he wants to go there he wants he says no lots of patience lots of patience or, going on with this guy or we add those uh release clauses if you want yeah this is very patient so no matter what we offer he's not going to like instantly release reject clause. it or get mad we don't want to add the non-promotion release clause yet right no, because then if we like, like, let's say we make the playoffs and lose like a tough match in the playoffs. We don't want our team to disintegrate because that happened. You know, um, Did I down one more. You could try. This guy's really patient. Go all the way down to 200. Oh, well, and now you cannot go below what you previously were at. They'll get mad. What was I just at? Uh, I think I, this 273 one. will be all right. Try it. All right. He's moving. Oh, playing hardball. Give him a little. Yeah, Boom. there it is. All right. Now let's hope. This is about to be the best decision of our entire life. This guy might actually be the superstar. Well, here's the thing. You've got you've got your two perfect types of midfielders. You've got Chorich, who's that super creative guy that doesn't play any defense or work hard. And then you've got this guy with all this work rate who's going to run all over the place on the opposite side. We'll play a big part. Oh, it's your you're introducing Dermisi to the, the yeah. All right, I'm gonna go pee while you do this. Sweet, oh. I'm gonna G, I'm gonna read it out. But if you guys want chat, just let me know if I should speed run it. I might just speed run it instead. All successful teams are built on a strong defensive foundation. Do you see Dermisi as a defender who can bring that to the club? We have no doubt the quality he possesses and he produces when we need him to. I'd say yes. Everybody's saying speed run. I'm down. What do you see as his best position? Oh, shit. Okay, chat. What the heck do I speed run? Left back. That's what I thought. Defender left. Oh, wait. Wing back left, right? Okay, I'm just letting it run. How will you get the best out of Riza? We know what he does well, and it's my job to make sure we support it. Um, yeah, see, he's a left back, by the way. My wireless headphones made that a fun trip. Was that upsetting? Did I do wrong? No, looks, uh, he's fine. Everybody's fine. The we moved up to indifferent. You're making friends now. That's what it's all about. The best day of my life. Yeah. The, the media cares about me. They do. No, you actually, I've, I've watched people get fired because they had serious fallings out with the media. Um, that's how you can speed run getting fired. By oh my gosh. Like there's that. so much that came up. That's fine. Most of it is. Oh God. It looks like, no, that's fine. We didn't want him. Remember we hated him. Oh, yeah. 
So the, all of this is just Pryovich news. It's just people offering Pryovich a contract, and he accepted a contract. Uh, that guy who we liked we him, kinda, but another team came in and offered him a deal, and he took it, and that happens. And that happens. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I don't – see, here's the thing. We haven't really met the guys on our bench yet. This is just some guy that's – click on him. Let's see if he's good. I mean, he just got hurt, so hopefully he's – he's definitely a backup. He's not terrible, but – so he's, he's got a little I'll more. I'll say it. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> the best part is when you say stuff like that, and that guy happens to be watching the stream, and you're just like, yeah, this dude's an idiot, and he sucks. I'm just they're kidding. Like, I don't know. Like, the joke is, I actually true. literally don't know anything. Like, I actually can't. I'm looking at these numbers, and it's still sort of gibberish, but I'm starting to understand a little bit. Bigger number, better player, uh, better person, better player. You know, it's the Ludwig ideology. Like that. Um,. Oh, match prep. Okay, so this is something we didn't go over last time, but essentially you can set what you really want to prepare for a match. So like you can prepare your set pieces and attacking free kicks on the right, and then what type of tactical preparation you want to do. This is all just manager choice, whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, the preset is actually fine. It's totally okay. You don't have to. You don't have to mess with it. We like this. Wait, where's our guy? Is this him? Uh, oh well, wait, he hasn't accepted the deal yet. Got it. Yeah. Who did we just? Oh, this guy's no. Um, but we didn't play him last time. I uh, no. They're just recommending adjustments to the team that we're not going to do. Basically, got it. That's your assistant coach trying to get all involved in somebody's business. So we can just continue. This is your reserve match, which we like barely have a reserve team to begin with. So, oh, look at him. He's in making moves. Well, this is going to be fun because we actually don't know how good this guy is until he joins the club. Then we'll see his attributes. We welcome we, aboard. Yeah, he, can I he's click in. Him out? Hit continue once, then you can. Perfect. Looking good. Looking good. Have him work box as a midfielder. Support. Yeah, that's a great style right next to an advanced playmaker and attack. We'll go. I'm I'm just feeling 30. Sounds great. The 30 jerseys are gonna be flying off the shelf. Um, then I'm gonna click back. I'm gonna ask. Our bloke. And get out of my face. Team registration. Well, so here's where it gets spicy. We have to Oh, we're out kicking who, somebody. Yeah, we're kicking somebody. So sort by ability. Oh, it's this um Well, let's look at Marco Chiarella because we need the 18 year old, which is annoying. He sucks. He's a bad player. And we hate him. Yeah. So we we can drop him and then add the new boy. You Where'd can sort go? by unregistered guys on the left if you wanted to do that, or just sort by ability. He'll be at the top of either. Banasi. Welcome aboard. Water's fine. So now click on him. I want to see them attributes. <coughs> I mean, he's, he's good. He's not, like, unbelievable, but he's definitely really good. He's a great team player. He's not short. He's a good athlete. He does. He, he does everything. He's a quintessential box to box midfielder, and we did it. We did it. We've <laughs> signed actual good players that can carry us up the leagues. Perfect. He, he can be the DM. True. We can teach him a new position. Oh, the defensive midfielder. So then we yeah. have him. Our other guy. Wait. Does this so matter? That's, just, uh, that's your recruitment meeting. You can just attend that real quick, and then we'll focus on that other stuff. So this is just showing you all your transfers in. It's a lot of trials, but that just shows you're getting the hang of football manager, honestly. Uh, skip the recommendations at the bottom, and there's no new recommendations. There are two near matches if we wanted to check them out. But Davide Di Molfetta. They're both in... On teams in Serie B. Yeah. 
Well, that's because the it's for loans. Remember, so oh yeah, you're guys, so right. We I might was just try kidding. to sign for loans. Let's just click on them real quick. Oh, they so they're not done scouting them yet. That's fine. I'll just go back. Okay. Show other recommended players. They're not done scouting these guys either. But two of them are A minus. This is from Lazio. Hey, we're fine. Click on him. He is, he has twelve to nineteen acceleration. He has some giddy up. As the kids would say. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we'd just let our guys finish scouting them, honestly. Or That's what I figured. The, yeah. Okay, we can just end meeting. Okay. Uh, the Go down to the Benassi signing thing. We're going to teach him a new position. Where it says box to box. Go to defensive midfielder and just try and get him to learn... Uh, just defensive midfielder. We don't need to get fancy with it. The Either border one. defend. You want him to be a little more aggressive, a little more laid back. Everything else already set up. So he will be here today and we'll be able to put him out there because it's match time. This is the best. Wait. Who's this guy? Oh, he's the guy that broke his Yeah, he's body. just he's just on trial. He's a he's one of them green men. Okay, so we swap this guy for our Drew Missy? Uh yeah, Dermis no, is gonna come gonna in go right for Mazada. And then that the way that works is Mazada is now not on the bench, so we want him in there. Um yeah, Benassi. And then you want to change his role to defensive midfield on support, which is what you're working on. There you go. Good deal. And then where were those blokes? We got a couple guys that have injuries that we're gonna need to mess around with. Um you can just Wait, where are the guys that we I just pulled off of the they're probably so not. They, they in. go into the bottom. So, like, Landonetti and Maza, uh, Mazada are right there. So, I should probably switch him out with the guy that's injured anyway. Yep. And then Landonetti can come in. So, our right wing is Kurt uh, Chirico, that star player that we have. So, scroll up okay. on the right side, and we can find out how bad that injury is. There's that injury status thing. Um, just two days. So we don't – let's not make his injury worse. Let's just uh, – so where it says inside forward on the right, you see, like, there's a – I'm just trying to teach um, – go go further right, sorry, on the squad. Oh, my there. bad. Yeah, and then right, yeah. just right-click. So that just yeets them out of the team immediately and opens the spot up. Oh. Um, And then you can click the drop down where you were looking before and then find a guy that can step in and play that position. Oh, what about this guy? That's the guy. <laughs> no. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was actually so ready to be like, no, nah, dude, that's the guy that we just got. <laughs> um, let's try Milos. Well, let's hover over that eye. You see that eye just to the left of uh, Milos? No, there's oh. like a little gray eye. There you go. So we in the bottom right of this, we can see like their footedness. So like he's actually right-footed. So if he's playing on the right, we're going to want him to be a winger because if he's an inside forward, then he's cutting onto his left. So we'll just switch him up the winger. Attacking? You can do either. Yeah. Uh, we can look at his attributes and figure out exactly what we want him to do. But in a friendly, let's just see how he does out there. So we have one open spot on our bench. We can go down and get somebody else if we want. Glad to know. Hell Let's yeah, go. brother. Yes. We're going to win this one. You understand that, right? Here, yeah, I, I do. I honestly, I think we were a little unlucky in the last game, but now we've got our tactic more figured out. So let's set our out of possession defense a little higher. Uh -huh, which is there. And boom. then the kind of the changes we made last time, let's be a little more aggressive. Gets, um, uh, we don't was need it to trap. Do, uh, oh, don't, yeah. Cause don't we don't do know that. that was, that was based off the tactic that they had specifically. So um, Submit. Just just for future reference on this screen, you can go to opposition and see the tactic the other team's going to play. It's above uh, on that kind of top bar. There's an opposition button. You can kind of see what they're playing. So against this, general rule of thumb, tight Jesus mark. Christ. Yeah, yeah they're, they're parking the bus so hard right now. They're parking the bus excruciatingly. Oh, okay. wait. There was another change we made. It was in possession. Uh, we lowered the passing directness. Oh, yeah, play out of defense, too. We're Italian, for crying out loud. That's what we do. 
uh, below. Yeah, there you go. So now we'll try to like man city it out from the back. Cool. Build the play up a little bit more. And uh, turn off, uh, turn off, distribute to flanks. That was the other thing we did in possession on the left side. There's like the three sections and then we have the in possession section. There we go. Oh, wait oh. here. Nope. Down one. Oh, there you're right. You go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cause we don't have like a big guy to aim for up top. Really? Okay. Perfect. Now we're ready. That, those are the changes that we needed. Let's win this freaking match, dude. We need it. Everybody's pleased and <sighs> satisfied and encouraged. They don't even know what's about to hit them with this team talk. We're also. back. Catania. Dressing room. I don't care to see them. Look. We pumping some fists. Heck yeah, we are. Where the f ooh. Impress oh, me. There's places up for grabs. Yeah. Felipe Lorenzi understands the assignment. <laughs> he's like, all right. I'm picking up what he's putting down, you know? <laughs> right, I so. hate this guy. Oh, they switched their tactic from their last one. Yeah. They, oh, they... it's based off of the last one. Uh, or like, it, it's not 100% accurate. It's what they think you know they've been playing recently or whatever based off who's there so this is it that makes sense fog of war i keep forgetting yeah there it's holy cow i have like a oh all right we're rocking the, the the white kits today yeah we are there he is get in there <laughs> and he's already starts <gasps> oh where, where oh. uh <laughs> where are you where, looking with that one <laughs> Wasn't the best cross, but he's fine. Oh, look at Chorich. Look at the hustle. Jeez, is he near center mid? He wanted the ball, man. He's a he's a prime time player. Oh, here comes that midfield. Delhi. Delhi. Come on, play it through. Oh. There was there. Oh, he just mm. that's corner. corner. Oh, blocked. Okay. We're good. Oh, I feel so good. Watch this. First corner of the season. Oh, it's Dermisi, our new boy, playing the ball in. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, that's a good start. Now pause. Where am I quick. seeing like pos Yeah, oh. Yep. So go to the bottom right. You can actually pull the tablet up again. There's like a little tablet looking thing. Yep. So where it says shots, click the drop down arrow to the right of that. And then go to um, visualizations. And there should be something called match momentum. That's always really helpful. So we're the white team. So that's good. We have the momentum right now. Perfect. Um, I just wanted to have that. You can close it. What were you going to uh, What were you going to ask? Like, uh, oh, yeah, so I'm trying to learn this a little bit more. Okay. Possession, for instance. Right. Like, is that, is that what we're looking at with action zones? Yes. Like, the more so, white bars are up, the better? What this means is 50% of our progression of the ball has been on each wing. For them, 100% of their progression of the ball has been on the right wing of their team right now. And the whole action zone thing is the percent of overall game possession in each third for each team. So, like, 50% of the entire game has been spent with us having the ball in the middle third of the field. That's what we're looking at right there. Cool. Which is good. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, got it. Ooh. George. Come on. Deli. You know what to do. Uh, Deli, you take those. I don't mind. That's, that's not a bad look. The boys are playing a little bit more. Look at 81% possession right now. That's crazy. Oh, oh. well, that was... It was early what in the game, happened? but... They just, like spell, was, they just had a spell. They just had. It's so position. volatile. Or well, early, early in the game. The more the game goes. Oh on, yeah, we're literally data. thirteen minutes in. I yeah. guess. Oh, love the wave of. Oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, it didn't take him long. Look at that ball. Watch this. Seize him. Gosh. Great touch. <laughs> I mean, the goalie, we won't talk about it. No, what a goal. No, no. The keeper was, uh, he got a new condo in Sicily. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. The, the team looks it, more awake today. Oh, it's Bocic, that new guy. Nah. That's our, I don't mind that. This is the first time we've ever been in the lead. It is. In the sure to be illustrious history of oh, oh Lord. Well, he already scored today. That's our new left back. 
Got it. He's, Bit oh, of a stab, though, wasn't it? Oh, well. All skill. Congrats. <laughs> exactly how he drew that up defensively <clears throat> i can't believe we're scoring this right now there he is ah! what did i say oh! it's lauren cd <laughs> he picked that one out Yes. I mean, we're in friendlies right now, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, not so friendly for the other team, though. No. This is on the road. It's kind of mean. I feel like we're about to score again. Bocic. Still Bocic. Always Still Bocic. Bocic. Oh, easy. oh, my. Oh, Didn't the... want it. Oh, he was offside. He said, that's all right. It's not even halftime. I don't want a third goal. <laughs> We're in 22 minutes in. It's highlight. That's factory. ridiculous. Yeah. Marsura. Deli. Oh, <gasps> take that space. Just shoot Torrance. it. Just rip it, dude. Have a day. Have a day. Have a day. Oh my god. Yeah, this will get the morale back. You We're know, the best team that's ever existed on the planet. <laughs> I think. Champions of Italy? Question mark. I mean that he tucked it right there. Great signings. I mean, all That's, of our signings are just doing it. Yeah, it's those magic transfers. Chorich. Oh, that, that's our striker that we're trying to replace. That just threw it in. Terrible effort, really. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah, he just uh, <laughs> he, he looks old and slow. Even the throw in, just arms moving with a weakness apparent. Oh no way. Oh. Oh, I know we're set to long throws and we don't have our long throw guy in. That's why it keeps looking stupid like this. D karma. And watch him score. Okay. He wanted a banger. He wanted the banger. He heard us talking. This is the kind of dominance that we were hoping to see. Remember what we said? We intentionally lost that first one. Yeah. Now they've clearly underestimated us in this second game. Let I the really, doubters set in. I really think our midfield is just nasty. Like the guys we it, brought in already. Yep. They, they, the, the way Boom. they're passing, the way they're bossing it. I like, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Oh. 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 Sure. I, uh, I mean, not much. Nah. Fine. Not much he could have done. Ooh. There you go. That's a good header. Win those headers. Gets us going. Marsura, the unsung hero. Delhi. A lot of a lot of people calling him that. Oh! oh like that turn, son. Jeez. Took him to the cleaners. What was his name? Bocic. For a second there, it looked like Ronaldinho. <laughs> we gave that an anime wow. That was good. That was nasty bit of skill, though, from a guy that we didn't start the first game because we wanted to inspire him, obviously. Okay, now, we're, now we've got him backed in. We look like Manchester City playing a bad team. I mean, it's awesome, though. It's open. Delhi, jeez, man, have a day. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, good save. Credit where credit's due. That's fine. That was a... Uh... Nasty little touch through that. Look guy at this again. possession. Oh, they actually are getting a ton of possession. We're just getting every chance in the game. They're at like uh, fifty-five percent, I think. Oh, like, oh I feel oh, like I'm. Re oh, I'm just oh. reading it wrong. Got to be reading it wrong. Uh, there's so much information on that screen. I still don't remember to look at the different stuff there. Sometimes. Uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, Delhi. just, I mean, just <laughs> clean it up. You know what I mean? Eight. He eight. Well, Bocic. I just hate yes. him. Yeah, what a Oh, pass. I love him! I w oh. Standout player of the game, Bocic, so far.
All right. Let's get an assist right here. Off the corner. Boom. Didn't want it. Well, it would have been it would have been look at these expected greedy. goals. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a, how many shots is that? We had 17 shots in the first half. So I'm happy. Yeah, I, I definitely encourage the guys after that. I think our passing has been good so far. Let's keep it up, in my opinion. Yeah. It, it, the, it, the, the, the way, there you go. There we go. The thing you want to do with that team talk is, like, what do you want your team to focus on, passing or shooting for the second half is kind of what you're leaning. Got it. Passing makes sense, though, in this case. like, Because we had great possession early, but we started to lose the ball a bit more. Oh, sorry, you're making substitutes? <laughs> Can't relate. Let's encourage the entire uh, team. Don't oh, let's hold off. Yeah, don't encourage. You can praise. Do a, do a praise shout. So if you encourage when you're leading, your team just gets confused. Because they're like, where huh? are you leading? <laughs> it's like all so like unmotivated. and. I read like, encourage, like keep it up. Yeah, yeah, the the shouts are not logical at all. You have to Ooh. it's like a, a language. You just kind of have to know what shouts are working when. Oh, Ooh. that is pretty. Oh, that is Dermisi. Oh, Dermisi. Goal! I think it's a Serie D team that we're playing. Yeah. I think so, yeah. But we're still absolutely flattening them. That is. Oh my gosh. That's Give great. me Juventus. Send Juventus our way. Honestly, please. We get a couple hundred thousand dollars from that ticket. No, that's, that's, the way, that's what you want is like the magic of the Coppa Italia or something is to play yeah. like an away game against Napoli or something and you get a ton of money from that. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why teams like in the English FA Cup always beg to play away against like Arsenal because they get ha you get half of the ticket take. Oh, that's actually crazy. The game. So you just get a couple hundred thousand dollar check. We're sunning these people. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. They're oh, that's we five. are sunning them. Delhi got his turn. Good for Delhi. All right, we're up five nil. Let's make some subs. Let's just get some other guys in the field so they get some minutes. Quick subs. Uh, yeah, I never really use that, but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, um just tactics bottom left. Oh, you're and right. You can. I was making sure you knew. <laughs> Honestly, this has been like a test for me too. like trying to remember different things in the game. So I put him in. So, yeah, I mean, you can do the whole drop down off their name thing and just bring in a couple of guys. Oh, you're so right. Who like, why is there somebody I should be focusing on swapping? Right. So typically... In any other season but the first season with a club, you already know how good the guys are on the team. But we mm -hmm. don't, really. So I would say drop Lorenzini, the defender, for that other center back that we haven't been starting, Silvestri, because he looks like he might be good. Um, you really just want to get fitness to guys, too. So anybody that has, like, the downward thumb that we think might be playing. Like, I think DeLuca's pretty good uh, down on the bench. He's the winger. So let's cool. bring him in for like Marsura or Bo Bocic, whichever one he's able to play. There he is. And we can bring in Dubikas for D Carmine, the striker, uh, because we don't really like D Carmine anyways. All my all my homies hate him. Uh, we all hate him. So you're really just looking for like fitness and to kind of see how good people are. That's basically what we're thinking about here. So if there's anybody else on the bench that we know has a decent star rating or some good attributes. Uh, Roberto Zamorini, I think, is one of those guys. Zamorini, yeah, I think he was a starting in yeah. somewhere in the mid department. So we, can, we just like bring him in for Delhi or uh, Trich. Just give him time. Doesn't really matter which similar type of role. Um, oh, and La Ladinetti was <laughs> the lad. One of these. All uh, right. Well, he. Let's just take Trich because Benassi. Uh, we want Benassi to play a full 90 because he just got here. So that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Or actually, let's try, let's try David Bua. The, he's like number two on the sub bench. He plays right back. Let's bring him in for Rapisardi. 
Because that, that that's the long throw guy. I just want to see. I just want to see. Oh, him throw absolutely. The ball. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I just see confirm him throw subs, the ball, dude. Uh, yeah, confirm. We're ready to go. Oh, it's a highlight. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's no! The oh, yes! <laughs> That's our guy. He it's just like launched an, it. It's an extra corner, dude. <laughs> the keeper barely got to that in time. That is a legit chance. Oh, yeah. Bo Bocic is my god. I am going to start praying to this guy. Just oh, come on. <gasps> Jesus. Woo, baby. He could have had it himself. You see that? He said, no, let me bring it out and just just place it on your foot. Do you mind that? Do you want a goal for free, <laughs> Zamorini? That's what he said. He's serving him up. It's like oh, here we go. dinner. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Freaking trebuchet over there. Oh, yeah. I want a ball in. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know anything except just launching. Oh. He doesn't even speak a language. He just understands the art of throwing the ball. Oh, you know, the bright side, if they score, we don't have to pay out clean sheet bonuses to all the defensive players. We should just help out everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's the bright side. Oh, my boy DeLuca with the first time. Sure. Sure. Yep, run it right into the corner that the defender's holding. Oh, it works, though. Oh. Oh. Dude, the team's that would have been uh, oof. disgusting. We've got some swagger in this team. There's some style. Lad Nettie. <laughs> he gave up. Yeah, well, when you're up six. He, well, he knows, he knows who's throwing it in. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh. That would have been an all-time call if he just launched in a goal immediately. 23 shots to three, 2.5 XG to 0. 0.6. This is a, How many goals? Six to zero? Yep. Or did you mean, oh. <laughs> you got real confident after you called that first one, didn't you? Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have. <laughs> Wait, you can't call that on a corner? They did call? they just call game on a corner? Yes. Am I... Am I crazy? Who does that? I guess you do that whenever you're winning 6-0. Yeah, I suppose. And in a friendly. But that is... Boys. Boys. That is that right there. That's the business. Great work. I understand um, your career now. You do? Like, I understand this is the most addicting thing of all time. Yeah, it is. Uh, neck, it, one more continue syndrome is absolutely a real thing. But I, I, I do have some bad news, Carl. Remember that thing I talked about that I had at five forty-five? I was hoping that you were going to do one of those. I forgot about it <laughs> things, and I wasn't going to remind you. Yeah, I. Is I, there like I, a I saving? Uh, yes. So go to the Z logo that you love so much, and then you just yep. save as. You can save it as whatever, Carly Jacobs. You just yep. hit save. Yeah, you're good. You have an auto save on too, but that just snatches it over. Well, Carl, I don't know about you. I had a lot of fun today. This is a good time. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm I'm excited. I'm not I'm gonna be like gone for a week out of town, and then we gotta get right back into this. Oh, 100 percent dude. I'm I'm down to play this whenever you're down to play it. I think oh, I'm also excited because I think our team's actually really good. I, I, to be I feel like we cheated a little bit on accident. But we didn't do it on purpose, and that's all that matters. But uh, chat, say bye to Carl. Thank you to Carl for agreeing to be taught one of the most complex games of the planet. And I am really excited to win the Champions League with Catania because we will we will do that thing. It's going to happen. It's Thanks for having me, guys. Bye. Uh, bye, Carl. All right, guys. I do have to run. But thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, huge thank you. I, I've been on for like eight hours. Thank you guys for hanging out the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
We like trying different stuff. Carl had always wanted to play football manager, and I was really happy to have him. Uh, and we're going to keep playing uh, football manager with Carl whenever he's got free time, which is awesome because he's he's a big soccer guy too. He's a big football guy, and so we'd always wanted to do something together around that in the first place. We're going to raid somebody else playing football manager, so stick around for that. Thank you guys for all the subs. I feel terrible. I wasn't able to thank you guys for all of them. Brazilian Fury, uh, Westbrook, Pow Pow, Mr. Big Head, just the last couple. Thank you so much. Uh, but love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you for letting me do this. It's a job. It's the best job of the world. And uh, I, we, we got some very, uh, this being among them, we have some very fun things planned uh, that hopefully you guys will enjoy. Maybe with all the subs today, we'll be able to let the editors out of the basement. Uh, but, you know, that's, we're going to have to have a meeting about that. We'll see. Yeah, we're raiding somebody. We're going to keep the vibes going. We're going to go make somebody's day. Let's, uh, who are we thinking? Let's raid somebody. Uh, see if I can find somebody we have never raided before. All right, got it. Got it. We got a copy pasta. When we get in on the raid, be sure to spam the copy pasta. Really make it hype. Make it their day. Then throw them a follow. You never know when you're going to find the next streamer that you love watching. And, um, you know, ask them how they got into stream and how they got into football manager and whatever. All the good stuff. Behave yourself, chat. Don't be weird challenge. Because hey, so I can't stick around with you. I got to go. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Carl will be back sometime next week. Uh, but have a great one. See you guys. Nowhere to the day. I'm actually quite late.